present here, quality expert and all the participants. I'm Jasmine Karanjit Shrestha and I'll be your host for province number one. As rightly said by Professor Dinesh Chapagai, think like a genius, work like a giant and live like a saint. World Quality Day is celebrated annually on second Thursday in November to increase worldwide awareness for the important contribution that quality makes towards organization and national growth and prosperity. This year, Quality Day falls on 12th November and is celebrated with the theme, Creating Customer Value Worldwide. On this special occasion of World Quality Day, we, the quality professional and quality leader from different walks of life, have come together to join virtually in this quality relay race one of the largest, leanest, and longest event in the quality movement in a single day. This is the nonstop series of awareness, knowledge sharing, and celebration program from Mechi to Mahakali. The program is organized by the organizing team consisting of 10 dynamic quality leader and is supported by various quality organizations such as Kathmandu University, Thruvan University, West Nepal, NQPCN, Nepal AOTS, NBSM, DDA, DFTQC, ORSN, Pharmaceutical Producer Association Nepal, Nefosta, and other organization. So the whole idea of Qualithon is to bring the borderless collaborative learning in quality landscape in Nepal. We started our program at 7 a.m and we shall pass across the country and our plan is to reach Mahakali by 7 p.m. this evening. In this run for quality, we have seven international keynote speeches, seven best quality practices from Nepal, seven students case studies, seven lightning talk and lot more. We're hoping to reach among 3,500 delegates as we move from province one to province seven. Not only this, as we go along with our quality race, we will take you to different touristic destinations to make your journey delightful. Now, without wasting any time, I would like to call Mr. Sagar Shrestha, Principal of Dhapa Model English School and Ambassador of Province 1 for Qualithon 2020 for his welcome speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for the technical problem. Namaste and good morning from myself. Honorable dignitaries, guest speakers, quality experts, quality practitioners, academicians, media personals, and my dear students. I, Sagar Sreister, ambassador of Province One for Quality in 2020, would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all in this event. Thank you for taking off your time of your busy schedule to attend this virtual seminar. Today, in this occasion, I want to share a small incidents. Um, uh, I'll be using both language uh, in, my, in my speech. Uh, 1905, uh, 1905 uh, there was a guy called Option Sinclair in the United States of America, and he was a journalist. 1905, he wrote an article called a jungle, the jungle, uh, the article named the jungle, where he mentioned about Chicago meat packaging industry. Chicago meat packaging article where he described about unsanitary conditions in which animals were slaughtered, selling of rotten and diseased meat to the public. Meat were contaminated with remains of poisoned cat. You articles will say Kina Legotio and Dakiri Banache, two time matching. Topical immigrants are to a massive factory, my camp or two. The Udako Diani or Stala, it's a Ulitay, Bichar, the articles in 1905, my public scurry But fortunately, his small effort and that article placed an important role in the formation of US FDA in 1906 which is considered as one of the stringent regulatory body in the, in the, in the world. So is it a sound incident like a highlight of the US FDA formation by ago. After 115 years of this incident, we are gathered here virtually to discuss about quality. 
Quality is never an accident. It is always the result of focused intentions, sincere efforts, intelligent direction, and self-motivation. Today's event is also our small but sincere effort towards quality, and your presence in today's virtual session shows your commitment towards quality. I hope today's session will make us more aware towards the quality and its implementation aspects. Are you able to hear me? I firmly believe that you will join the session from experts. I firmly believe that you'll enjoy the sessions from experts from different walks of life. Quality is a journey, not a destination. Let's start our journey to, towards quality from province one. Let's share our insights, experiences, best practices with each other and learn from each other. Once again, I would like to welcome you all. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you, Saga, sir, for your warm welcome. We now have an opening keynote speech by our international speaker, Ms. Mangalika D. Silva. Mangalika D. Silva is a locally and globally recognized leader in international management system, namely quality, food safety, environment, and occupational health and safety in the capacity of system auditor, trainer, and consultant. Currently, Mangalika is the president for Asia Pacific Quality Organization, APQO, headquartered in New Zealand, and the president for Sri Lanka Association for Quality. Previously, she worked at Sri Lanka Standard Institute in various capacities as National Quality Award examiner. She is a recipient of a number of national and international awards for her contribution in promoting quality management. May I now welcome Mangalika De Silva, ma'am, for her keynote speech on quality improvement and food safety in tea industry. Good morning, and uh, I want greetings from uh, Sri Lanka. <clears throat> How shall I? Okay. Um, first of all, let me wish you all success uh, in your uh, this uh, Colliton uh, relay race. Uh, thank you. And I hope you can hear me, right? Can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Okay. Uh, my topic today is uh, quality improvement and uh, food safety uh, for tea industry in Sri Lanka. Uh, can I have the control of slides or you will be making uh, Um, uh, maybe you can say next, then I can help you to proceed. Yeah, next, next, yeah. <coughs> so first of all, we will see what is food safety. Food safety uh, is about people and their safety, uh, assurance of safety. People have the right to expect the food they eat to be safe and uh, suitable for consumption. Foodborne illness and foodborne injury sometimes fatal and are at best unpleasant. At worst, they can be fatal. Outbreaks of foodborne illness can damage trade and tourism and lead to loss of earnings, unemployment, and litigation. Uh, next, we'll see. Uh, um, see, have you ever been like this? I'm sure all of us would have at least one day experienced this thing, having the bad stomach. So the first question we ask when we have this kind of a thing is, uh, definitely it must have been something I ate. Next. Next slide, please. So why food is not safe? There are hazards involved with food safety. What is a hazard? Hazard is a biological, chemical, or physical agent in or condition of food with the potential to cause an adverse health effect. Um, the categories of hazards, biological, chemical, physical. These are the main three categories. Biological means 
a problem or a hazard caused by a virus, um, maybe a bacteria, parasites or fungus or mold or something like that. <laughs> then chemical, chemical hazards are caused by uh, chemicals used in uh, uh, factories or any places for different purposes like uh, 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 detergent uh, used for cleaning and uh, pesticide residues as for, for example <clears throat> in the tea industry pesticide residues insecticides that they use uh, uh, in um, uh, for the pest control that kind of thing can be chemical hazard Physical hazards are basically uh, um, glass pieces, metal pieces, uh, wood pieces, uh, like that. Why I have added quality here is for a special purpose, um, since the today topic is about the quality improvement as well. Quality uh, of the product or a uh, food item can be largely affected by the uh, presence of some, uh, um, um, uh, say, for example, presence of a hair presence of a cigarette bag that will not cause a health effect on you but uh, you will not like to eat that and you might feel sick if you see something like that so next uh, so we are going to discuss about the tea industry and how what are the key areas that we should take for uh, improvement and we will see from next slide uh, what are those key areas taken uh, for improvement we know i know that this province is uh, largely involved in uh, tea industry and um, we know the main ingredient or the raw material for tea production is the green leaf so it is very important for us to uh, maintain uh, green leaf quality. And remember, uh, today discussion, I'm taking the Sri Lankan experience and the orthodox uh, manufacturing process. Quality of the green leaf will decide finally the product quality uh, that you will be manufacturing. Uh, uh, so we say uh, the good quality uh, uh, leaves are decided by number of leaves in the bud, that the tip uh, of the uh, tea. So we call it uh, two and a half. That means two young leaves and the bud. Sometimes uh, it may be three young leaves if you have a tender leaves and three and a half also may be there. But if you have mature tea leaves included in uh, uh, um, your green leaf, definitely you are going to have more fiber at the end of the production. So more fiber means you are producing waste uh, at the same cost as your good tea. So we, from the beginning, we should avoid that. So we should collect uh, and uh, use um, only a good green leaf for the production. Then the other biggest problem is the impurities that you may have in the green leaves from the uh, plantation. The twigs can be there, metal pieces can be there. Some people uh, may have even the household use items like batteries, that kind of thing can be there. Then the third point is the bag type that we use uh, to put uh, plug tea or uh, to collect uh, uh, plug tea. Uh, you can see the ladies are carrying baskets. Uh, this is one good way to uh, collect tea leaves because you once pick uh, tea leaves should not allow that to be crushed. The moment you crush the leaf the process of oxidation will start. By the time it reaches the uh, factory um, process has begun and the quality of the tea uh, will be dropped. So the, this is very important uh, to have a um, proper bag type. Uh, then quantity and capacity. Uh, we know um, in Sri Lanka, of course, uh, there is a big competition between tea factories for good green leaf. So sometimes, and most of the time, factories are running under, cap under capacity because they don't have sufficient uh, green leaf uh, for the production. And so that, that's a productivity issue and the factory efficiency and uh, effectiveness. Then handling. Uh, 
from the tea plantation until it reaches the um, factory, the, this has to be properly uh, handled uh, to prevent crushing the tea leaves. And during the transportation also, that has to be properly done and to safeguard the quality of the leaf. Next slide. Next slide, please. Uh, you can see some of the bad practices um, uh, see uh, how these ladies unpack uh, the uh, tea in the bags and they are carrying that in the polypropylene bag. So they are just uh, uh, putting them on the ground and there is high chance of uh, these tea leaves getting crushed. And the bottom picture is they are carrying the tea leaves uh, in a packing polypropylene bag and stack one over the other. And on top of that, they are sitting uh, on that. So that means by the time it reached the factory, it's crushed. Next slide, please. Next, please. So uh, once, um, so I forgot to say that in Sri Lanka, most of the uh, factories now use the plastic crates to uh, put the tea uh, and transport in lorries to the factory. So that will not crush, uh, that will uh, help preserve the uh, condition of the quality of the Leaves. So after receiving um, uh, the tea leaves in the factory, it will be um, sent for withering process. That's the first step of the uh, tea manufacturer. I'm sure that you also have the same thing. That is meant to reduce the, take out the um, uh, moisture and uh, prepare it for the next stage, uh, the rolling. So in this area that you put uh, the tea in the large trough, and it is very important for us to have proper temperature and the, especially the humidity control because we want to have the moisture, uh, take away moisture through the air circulation. So the windows mesh and the air circulation are the very critical thing and uh, the window should be properly covered to prevent bird entry. And remember, I mentioned about the biological hazard. So biological hazard could come uh, from the birds. Then all the light, uh, should be, there should be sufficient lighting and should be covered. So trough should be in a very good condition. There is a mesh, that mesh should not be broken and should be in good condition. And under that um, mesh, there is a chamber that is meant for uh, air circulation. Uh, most of the time, people like to use that chamber to store uh, many things. So it should not be done that way. That should be free uh, and clean. Then the floor, roof, walls must be uh, uh, clean. Then from this wither, uh, withering uh, the trough, the withered leaves uh, will be transferred to um, a rolling. Usually troughs is located on the top and the rolling is on the bottom. So the charging uh, will be from this, uh, 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 this area. So that area has to be very clean and uh, nobody should walk over that. So that has to be properly controlled. Next, please. <clears throat> So in the rolling, there's a special process. This is a very important process. Uh, it, it, it requires the correct temperature and humidity control. We know that the rollers uh, uh, will uh, slowly roll the tea leaves. So when it happens, the cells inside the leaves will be broken and then the immediately oxidation process will begin. So uh, this area, humidity control and the moist level has to be uh, controlled. So then the, again, windows uh, must be protected for uh, preventing bird, birds entry and then proper air circulation and adequate lighting. And machinery and equipment, we use a lot of uh, machinery, um, rollers, roll breakers, like that. So all the machineries must be uh, properly uh, maintained. And if you are using any paint on this uh, machinery, it has to be only food grade paint. Uh, so industrial kind of uh, thing can be it cannot be used because of the chemical um, uh, uh, migration of chemical into the food product. Then uh, you will be using a lot of water in this area for cleaning and all that. That water has to be drinking quality water. And at any point, the 
the tea should not be product should not be put on the ground before because people might walk over it uh, and the biological hazard could be there next next please and <clears throat> so once the uh, rolling is completed you have to keep it for a particular time for oxidation process to be completed and it should not be continued beyond that particular time. So we have to immediately arrest the oxidation process. How we do is, is by, uh, by drying it. So the raw uh, tea will be uh, transferred to um, uh, dryers. Remember that from the time of uh, uh, collecting from the plantation, you have to have the proper identification tag where it comes from. And then in the rolling uh, room, uh, there will be different kind of uh, grades of roll tea. For example, first dual, second dual, third dual, big bulk like. So this uh, identification should be uh, uh, continued. And then it goes to the dryer. Dryer and it should not be under fired and but uh, under fired you can rework but there is a cost and then uh, can you hear me suddenly in and uh, the moisture uh, content is the most important thing that we are uh, trying to achieve this particular point when it comes from the uh, dryer uh, moisture must be at a particular point so that is very important next slide please uh, from the dryer now we have control the moisture level and it goes to the sifting area means that is for grading or sizing uh, the, the grading depend on the size of the uh, tea uh, um, that we produce uh, very important to have a proper temperature and the humidity control because now we have brought down the uh, moisture level to a certain level. So we have to maintain that without letting it go uh, up. And then the uh, area must be properly covered and proper air circulation should be there. No birds and adequate lighting. And product should not be at any point on the floor. And as I mentioned earlier, that the previous identification and traceability should be continued here as well. This is a final processing stage and uh, we will be uh, using different sizes uh, to uh, grade it based on the uh, size of the tea leaves manufacture. And this point, uh, uh, we have uh, winovers and the color separators where we will be further uh, doing sizing, uh, the grading based on the size. And those two steps, uh, winovers and the um, color separators, we have to install magnets. That means if there is any, uh, by chance, any pieces of metals present there, it has to be removed. So the magnet is a very, uh, that's a critical control point. That's very important. Next slide, please. Next. So, uh, as you know, we have uh, once the uh, size grading is done, we have number of uh, grades. I mean, uh, we have three kinds of, uh, um, largely three types of uh, manufacturing: up country, mid country, and low country. You get various um, uh, grades. So, the finally, these various grades has to be bulk to meet the customers. Uh, uh, specification so bulking should not be done on the ground because people might walk over it it has to be done on the elevated uh, ground then need to be very careful in uh, using ink because uh, so to put marks on the craft paper bag people use ink but uh, if you spill ink that means a chemical hazard then again the uh, proper identification has to be there then proper sample sto storage Next, please. Next. 
So when we talk about the storage, packing material used for packing has to be properly stored without uh, contamination. And the finished product has to be properly stored and uh, to retain the moisture, the low moisture level and um, to prevent any contamination. And then the uh, chemical storage must be under control and only the authorized people should be able to access it. And then the, another important area is the refuse tea. As I mentioned earlier, if you use bad quality um, uh, tea, green leaf, you will be ended up with a lot of non-conform tea, that is refuse tea. In Sri Lanka, of course, we have a, a regu special regulation to control this uh, refuse tea to keep it uh, away from the good tea and disposed uh, as per the regulation. Next, please. And apart from the main factory facilities, and um, uh, we have to think about the, um, the other facilities related to workers. Uh, so there should be adequate clean um, uh, toilets. We have a, a, a scale uh, to have so many people must have so many toilets. Then change in rooms, then uh, hand washing facilities, food dips must be available. Next, please. Okay. Apart from the food safety aspect, and there is another very important thing is the tea industries uh, that use a lot of energy. So we have to think of the alternatives and to protect environment and also not to use uh, so much uh, energy. So in Sri Lanka, there are three options available, electricity and firewood and sawdust. Next. Okay, all these start from the plantation level, very important. So good agricultural, agricultural practices must be implemented. We have a regulatory requirement to have this uh, uh, practice implemented. And especially when you apply fertilizer, pesticides, that kind of things. And also from tea plucking to collection and transport, there's a good uh, agricultural practice. So if we make uh, use of uh, these agricultural practices, we can ensure that we have the good quality tea. Next, please. So what I try to do is to just give you an overview of what we do in Sri Lanka in a very short time. And uh, key areas where you should pay uh, attention to. So I hope that I, should, I was able to share something with you all. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your participation. And uh, <clears throat> Uh, and I wish all the success for the rest of the uh, uh, relay race uh, until nine o'clock today. And uh, once again, thank you. And thank you for the opportunity given to me. Good luck. Thank you, uh, Mangalika ma'am for your insight on quality improvement and food safety in tea industry. From, um, from your presentation, it is very clear that how challenging it is to maintain quality in tea industry. Thank you, ma'am, for your insight. Now, as we're discussing about tea industry, let me take you to two tea states of our country, Ilam. An excellent gateway from city life, Ilam is famous for its tea. It is district largely covered in tea bushes with a hill town right beside a plantation enjoying views of pristine landscape made up of sloping tea garden, mountain stream, dense natural forest, holy site, and a unique culture. Now I would like to call upon Mr. Buddhi Balrai, um, our next presenter, production manager of Gorkha Tea State to share with us the best industry practice. And the title of his presentation is Implementation of FSMS and HACCP in Organic Tea Cultivation. Namaste. Morning, everybody. I am Buddhibal Rai from Gorkha Tea State Private Limited. So today I am going to give a presentation about implementation of food safety management system in organic tea cultivation and productions of Gorkha Tea State Private Limited. 
so first of all we would i would like to say that we are producing organic tea as well as in following food safety procedure so organic cultivations has their basic rules also so in the basic rules uh, first we have to register our dairy farmers and we have to document their records and other details gps mapping and during the harvesting of the green leaves we have to segregate organic and in conversion green leaf also and for this all implementation we have to form the ics organizations that is the most important and we are accredited by Pudipal sir, are you there? Looks like there's some internet problem on his side. Meanwhile, we wait for um, our speaker, uh, Budhibal Rai, sir. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank NRNE for technical support. Uh, they have support. They, they are supporting us uh, in this event for our Zoom sponsorship and Facebook Live. So without wasting um, any time, Okay, so um, I would like to request our technical friend if you could inform me when uh, our uh, speaker Budibal Raisa would join us again. Meanwhile, I would like to call our next speaker. Um, a quality expert in pharmaceutical industry. Today we have Mr. Jayabir Karmacharya, sir, Chief Factory Operation Omnica Laboratory, to share with us the general quality concept. He has served Nepalese pharmaceutical industry for more than three decades and is an expert in GMP and quality management. Furthermore, he is the recipient of Colombo Plant Scholarship and Mahendra Vidya Bhushan in 1985. May I please call upon Mr. Jayabir Karmacharya, sir, for his speech. I would like to request our host Nirajan sir, if you could make um, JB sir co-host so he can share his um, slides. He has to unmute him for himself first. Thank you sir. JB sir, you're on uh, mute. If you could unmute. Is it okay now? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you. Okay. Shall I share my slide? Sure, no, sir.
Okay. So I shall be talking in general concept of quality and I'll be briefing a little more focus on medicine quality. And first of all, I'd like to thank you all. Thank you for, for the organizer for giving me this opportunity to talk about the session. And first of all, I'd like to say good morning to you all and happy Diwali 2020 from Nepal. Let's begin, start it. Quality, if we just see the quality of what it is, it's a customer's perception of a value of a product or service in general concept. But there are well-known definitions on quality given by various quality gurus. In general, this Crosby says the quality is something which is having the conformance to the requirements and the, the efficient production of the quality that the market expects is considered quality is what Deming says. And as per Juran, it's called, it's a fitness for the purpose. It's considered as a quality concept. And in continuation to this, Taguchi says something which doesn't impart loss to the society. If you make something which may be of good quality, but if it is making some loss to the society, then the particular product or service may not be considered as a quality product or service. An American society of quality says the totality of features and characteristics of a product or service that bear on its ability to satisfy a given needs. And dictionary meaning says, goes like this. So this is how quality is defined, but different people define quality in different ways. Just because why it happens is not like science that we define the term in fixed way. It happens because concept of quality differs in different approaches. Some people take it on product-based approach. Some goes with manufacturing-based approach. Some goes with value-based approach. There are cases, even a product, some similar product, people think that if it is manufactured in some good country or good places, it is considered good quality. Even if the two products manufactured in different places may be of similar quality, but people perceive it in different way in the concept of quality. And in quality management is the assembly and management of, of an activities aimed at production of quality by organizations of various kinds. And this implies quality system to implement and the system needs some policy and objectives to be done. And this statement also identifies the internal organization and responsibilities for the effective operation of quality system. And in quality management consideration, it is said that the scale and operation of organization may vary according to the size and resources. But every organization must have a positive attitude to get things done up to the appropriate quality level. The second attitude has a strong significance on quality. And experience revealed that even with limited facilities by maximizing effort, it is possible to have a good quality. However, on the other hand, the excellent facility with Negative attitude may result in poor quality production or poor quality service. In this consideration, excellent facilities, if you have a negative approach, may not achieve a good quality. It gives a poor quality. So positive approach is required for excellent facilities. <coughs> Sorry. But even with limited facility areas, if we can maximize the effort and we have a positive approach, we can achieve a good quality. So this concept is very much applicable in case of Nepalese context, but because we do not enjoy excellent facilities, but we enjoy limited facilities. This is where we have to have a positive approach and we have to maximize our effort to achieve the good quality. When we go look at the medicine, we said the quality should be built into the product and the testing cannot be relied on the, to ensure the product quality. So in the concept of medicine quality, for any medicine in a dosage form to call a good quality, these are the basic characteristics. Medicine should be safe. It should have a potency that means presence of correct amount of active material. Then it should be pure. That means it's not contaminated with potentially harmful substances. It should be uniform and it should have a effic effectiveness. Then it should be stable until its storage period, until the stated period of expiry, and it should fulfill the pharmacopoeial standard and regulatory compliance. Pharmacopoeia is a guideline, guidebook prepared by different countries 
to give a specification and standards to justify the quality of uh, medicine in dosage forms. And the regulatory means government bodies. So why medicine quality is important? Because quality, efficacy, safety, availability, and affordability of medicine have always been a matter of concern for the public health. Medicine being a very important component of healthcare system, these parameters are very much of significance. And for any common person, public, a medicine fulfills its quality, efficacy, and safety at one end, and its availability and affordability of is another aspect to get overall benefit at a time of requirement. Say, for example, there's a recent case is Remedisivir. Remedisivir is considered as a very good medicine uh, injection. But if it is not available at a time of need, then even if the quality medicine does not serve the betterment of public health, with this, which has happened recently in Nepalese case, now it is being made available. So quality, safety, and efficacy is not only of concern for the public benefit. Availability and affordability is also equally of good concern. This is the just example of remedy severe. And the requirements in quality, these are the parameters which are required to be made good for the public health systems. And quality is of concern of good manufacturing practices. Efficacy is a matter of concern by viability and bioequivalent studies. Safety is taken care by pharmacovigilance studies. Availability has to be taken care of by logistics management. And affordability is a matter of concern of pharmacoeconomic study. I'll just briefly go through these points. And for the regulatory bodies who manage the quality standards and specification for the medicines are these in different countries. And in Nepal, we have Department of Drug Administration for this. And in quality of medicines, requirements are taken care of with effective implementation of good manufacturing practices norms. In Nepalese context, we follow the WHO GMP norm. This is one of the standard practices. And what WHO GMP says is GMP is a part of quality management system which ensures that products are consistently produced and controlled to the quality standards appropriate to their intended use and as required by marketing authorization, clinical trial authorization, or the product specification. And the GMP is aimed primarily at diminishing risks involved in manufacturing the medicine not to go for wrong quality production. In the quality of medicine, there's a system of detailed review by Department of Drug Administration to provide WHO GMP certification as required standard for manufacturing medicine. Our DDA in Nepal has initiated, initiated WHO GMP certification from 2004. And this certification was not mandatory. This is a voluntary requirement. But however, DDA has made enforcement of medical man medicine manufacturing good practices code 2072. This is also called as national GMP certification as compulsory requirement since 2016. And about the safety of the medicine, safety before marketing taken care of clinical trial studies, just like which is going on for this COVID vaccine now, because vaccines are considered as the quality, but now matter of safety is being undertaken by clinical trials. Then safety after, after marketing is undertaken by the pharmacovigilance studies. In Nepalese context, we are yet to have an effective work done on pharmacovigilance studies. So the solution is government should establish a pharmacovigilance center for the study to conduct. About the efficacy of the medicine, this efficacy is before marketing is taken care of by clinical trial studies. Then efficacy after marketing is done by bioavailability and bioequivalent studies in medicine. Again, in this Nepalese context, our BAB studies are effective work are, is yet to be started. Their BAB study center are in the process of establishment on the Ministry of Health. And by DDA is in active role to establish this BAB study center. And for the availability of the medicine at the time of need is much to the benefit of the public. As I said, if medicine is good, but if it is not available at the time of need, then that goodness has no, not of any significance. So in Nepalese context, Minister of Health's Logistic Management Division is mainly responsible for taking care of this aspect. At time, we hear about the shortage of medicine in most places of country's health force at the time of need. So needs to strengthen the logistic management system. And about the affordability is again, uh, medicine is there, medicine is of good quality, but if it's not affordable to the public, again, if public cannot use it, then for the general public, that medicine may not, may not be of any significance. 
So again, in this Netflix countries, I would say most of the cases, the cost of medicines are not in the range of affordability to common public. At times, we hear about the artificial increase in price of medicine in case of crisis, and governments fails to arrange the required medicine in reasonable in case in such cases. Just like the this recent cases are in COVID cases, there were the rumors that remdesivir which were used for the COVID patients are available, not available in the market and people are paying 40 to 50 thousands per vial for the medicine, which is actually costing seven to 8 thousand rupees. So this is where government has to take care of affordability to the public. If you, if we really want to have a quality medicines to be used by the people. Here, the solution is it needs, we need to develop the pharmacoeconomic studies about the alternate doses from our medicine in case of high prices or if there's alternatives available. Just like in, even in COVID cases nowadays, Fabi, Piravir, 200 milligram also is considered as a good medicine for the 14 days and it is saying it costs 12,000 rupees. Whereas Remdesivir for five to six days may, might cost much more. So this cost and benefit analysis is generally done by pharmacoeconomic studies so this has to be strengthened for making affordable medicine to the people for the public benefit. So in the case of life of the medicine, we say our doctor give life to the patient through medicine because patient's life is taken care of by the medicines and our pharmacists give life to medicine through his or her knowledge and skills. So the healthy medicine can only take care of patient's life. Healthy medicine means good quality medicine at affordable and well available things can take care of the patients. In conclusion, I would say quality is never achieved by an accident. It's always the result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent directions and skillful execution. And in other words, quality doesn't happen. So we have to work for it, work at it. And it is an attribute or characteristics whose dictionary meaning is degree of goodness or worth of a person, place or things. As I said, it becomes worth to the people. If it is available, quality is always there. Good quality is always there. If the good quality things are available, available for the person at the right time and right place, then only it's, uh, it has a significant meaning and sense. This is what you have to consider. And in general, quality is not something one inspect into a product or service. It is a result of a mental attitude of the person who is producing and delivering a product or service. Either one have the mental attitude or one do not. If one do not, he or she can be trained to have it. Some people choose to, some do not. So if some choose to get it trained, then he or she can develop a good attitude for the developing good quality product or services. So developing attitude and concepts are of significance for the quality. So thank you very much. I will conclude my presentation here. Thank you. Thank you to all and happy Deepavali and I wish for the success of this Polyton Marathon for the whole day in all the provinces. Thank you very much. Thank you for organizing committee for giving me this opportunity to share my views on quality. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Joby, sir. Yes. For your informative session. Thank you. So could you please um, stop the sharing so that I can share the other one? Yes, okay. Thank you. I'll just... Sir, I'll just let you um, yes. Zoom could you stop sharing on the sir. Okay. Yes. Um, Stop sharing. Thank you, sir. That's that's good. Well, it has to. Okay. Oh, boy, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So two of our presentation we had, we hosted that from refreshing tea garden of Nepal Ilam. Now I would like to take you to to majestic Sagarmatha National Park a well-known destination for mountain tourism. Sagarmatha National Park is a combined place with nature and cultural inception on Northern mountain of Eastern Nepal. Sagarmatha is a Nepali word derived from two words. Sagar means sky and Matha means head. The name represents the glory of the Mount Everest, which increases our pride as high as the sky. It is the home of the highest peak in the world. So from 
the majestic Sag Sagarmatha National Park, I would like to welcome our next speaker, Mr. Buddhibal Raisa, Production Manager of Gorkha Tea State, to share with us the best industry practices and the title for his presentation is Implementation of FSMS and HACC Organic Tea Cultivation. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you very. Thank you very much. So I would like to repeat. Hello. Yes, sir. So I'm going to uh, share your slide as okay. per your request. Okay. Thank you very much. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Next. Hello. So thank you. So in the organic cultivation, so first we have to do the some basic rules. I uh, just uh, telling about it. First we have to farm registrations, documentation, GPS mapping, segregation organic and conventional conversion products, ICS organizations, and I told already about organic standard also. So safety measures also should have to be followed uh, during uh, harvesting time. All workforce in the field, safety precautions, masks, rubber gloves, keeping social distancing, periodically washing hands to avoid contamination. And uh, we provide to the farmers, this next sec, we provide to the farmers for different colored uh, nylon agronets so that uh, it can segregate uh, different states of uh, organic products or like in conversion products and organic products in different colored bags so that we can process them separately in the processing plant also. Please, next slide. So for organic or to stop the use of Gorkha tea aims to follow the wide and sustainable organic concepts and principles to stop the use of synthetic agrochemicals and increase the soil fertility through sustainable organic farming, maintain biodiversity and create an eco-friendly environment to minimize the external inputs leading to self-sustainability, value addition through good manufacturing practices, sharing organic concepts and ideology with small tea growers, promotion of socioeconomic and healthy community relations, waste management, Respecting gender quality, equality to introduce and promote high quality organic tea brand from Nepal that can and contribute to national income. Next, please. Next. Okay, so to implement food safety management systems, we have uh, created a food safety policy. So, Gorkha Tea is committed to provide safe, hygienic tea products uh, to its consumers by following HACCP principles and will comply with the statutory and regulatory requirements of food safety and will always enable to upgrade required system and machinery to meet customer satisfaction level. Gorkha tea states shall review and continually improve its food safety system to suit the changing <coughs> context of the market. Next, please. So good manufacturing practice. The environment of plant location is clean and there is no chance of cross contaminations from outside pollution. And uh, there is a sufficient spaces, surfaces are easily cleanable, sufficient lighting facilities, and the main doors are self-closing doors so that there is no possibility of cross-contamination. Uh, the factory premises also maintained, keep it clean. Trash cans are placed in different places. There are well drainage systems. Next, please. So processing stages. There are various processing stages in the factory. So receipt of green leaves, withering, rolling, fermentation, drying, grading, sorting, packing. So in these different stages, we have to follow the uh, food safety hygienic procedures. So receiving the green leaves, we check the quality of the green leaves. And after spread on the troughs, we check the if this is uh, contaminated any foreign material like weeds, twigs, threads, etc and we remove uh, manually and the uh, bins are placed over there uh, indicating different types uh, like uh, degradable, non-degradable or uh, metallic. So we separately put the waste in the different uh, types of dust bin 
so that we can dispose it uh, easily, properly in the correct places. And in the withering uh, process, uh, we are producing organic tea, so we have to uh, separate organic and in conversion. In conversion, these are those uh, purchased from the new farmers. So we have to segregate organic in conversion green leaves from the receiving until the finished product in the different stages. So in the withering trough, there are different uh, withering troughs dedicated for organic and in conversion green leaves also. And withering room are well uh, lighted and the, all windows are uh, covered by screens uh, to protect from the insect and bots. And in the rolling, there are dedicated rolling tables also, rollers also, because uh, there are uh, in the same day, there will be organic green leaves also and in conversion green leaves also. So uh, we have already uh, separate uh, for different rolling machines uh, for organic and in conversion and rolling tables are also properly cleaned before manufacturing and after manufacturing also. There are um, surfaces are uh, cleanable. Uh, and for the form next stage fermentations, for the fermentations, uh, the area is segregated by signage for organic and in conversions. And uh, after fermentation, the next step is drying. So in for drying, during drying, the first we dried organic product, then after in conversion product. So during drying process, the temperature is the most important. We have to put the appropriate standard temperature to uh, control the moisture level in the finished product. And after drying, it goes to the grading. So during grading also, first we graded organic product and the next uh, in conversion. And every uh, manufacturing, we clean all machines, sorting machines, dried, etc. properly using uh, materials like uh, vacuum cleaner, blower, scrapper, etc. And after uh, grading, there's a sorting, the removal of unwanted materials. We sorted the teeth manually and the packing uh, rigid paper bags with AQ controlled quality we use and the cartoon and teachers also. And magnets are provided, uh, placed in different places during the processing so that magnetic substances can be collected uh, uh, daily from the magnet. Next please. So all the persons who are working in the operations and the uh, processing plants have to follow uh, personal hygiene also. So their uh, clothes should be neat and clean. If any person is suffering from uh, illness like uh, diarrhea, dysentery, uh, common cold, etc., first we check before entering the plant, we check uh, the workers. And if any workers is suffering from such type of uh, disease, illness, which can be transmitted uh, through the product. It's, uh, the concerned person immediately informed to the supervisor and is not allowed to work, which is a direct contact with the product or product contact surfaces. And uh, the management provided uh, apron, uh, uniform, uh, head cover, and masks, uh, gloves, and uh, shoes also uh, during the processing. Manufacturing time, all the workers and staff have to use that facilities and um, every workers, including staff and workers have an annual checkup also for their uh, contagions and disease. And the record is kept in the registers. And for the garment, uh, the garment should be suitable for the operations, neat and clean, good conditions. And the uniform provided by the company also uh, should be neat and clean. And uh, the management had provided them lockers. So the materials which, is, uh, which can be kept in the lockers, which is not allowed to uh, take inside the processing plant. And there are separate uh, changing room for male and female workers. And the changing room also cleaned uh, daily. And there is a hand washing facility. So before entering the plant and every after absence, uh, the worker have to wash their hands uh, using uh, liquid soaps uh, so that there is uh, no possibility of contamination. The next uh, nail polish and uh, windies, perfumes, etc. are not allowed to uh, use and wear inside the processing plants and the hair must be groomed properly 
and the nice coat and all types of jewelry which uh, loose material like uh, earring and necklace bracelets uh, wrist watch etc are not uh, allowed to wear inside the processing plant during manufacturing and all these uh, things the workers have to keep in the locker which is provided with them and for the personal behavior smoking chewing splitting etc strictly prohibited inside processing plant intoxicated person will not be allowed to enter into the processing plant and cell phone is not allowed to use during processing and the signboard has uh, kept in different places to show all these uh, rules and visitor also have to follow the same procedures so next please so all the product contact surface including product contact surface of the equipment clean to frequently as necessary surface shall be dry neat and clean to avoid contamination cleaning regimen maintained regularly and uh, blowers pressure guns and vacuum cleaners are used as much as possible and in the product contact surfaces uh, uh, brooms are not uh, used because there is a possibility to contaminate that bristle of brooms in the product next please so good i think all the concept for training periodically and the supervisor monitor whether the workers are following the hygienic practices or not the sanitary facility uh, there is toilet facility for uh, the workers uh, there are uh, different uh, for male and female workers and uh, adequate water supply that potable water is used for all places and during transportation teams transport in the clean and covered trucks all transport vehicles are cleaned as per clean schedule and maintains for maintenance work instructions next please. so adequate quality of potable water is available to the entire niche of the facility and only potable water used in all areas for cleaning and in employee sanitary facilities in processing plant water is rarely used but the main use of water is for personalizing washing of trays and floors of leaves collecting places outside the plant so you cleaning washing with water and then mopping cleans all the floors during maintenance only after washing with water wiping shall be done properly to ensure that the plant is dry care is taken that no cross contamination is affected during the operations of cleaning the walls and external surfaces machines are cleaned thoroughly during change over blowers vacuum cleaners and process is used for the same the change rooms and toilets are cleaned daily the remaining areas are cleaned as per cleaning scheduled and record are maintained in daily cleaning record and dust collected from sorting machines will be collected and disposed daily magnet bars are cleaned daily or at each batch and magnet substances that's collected magnets are collected separately and the food safety team leader in the sanitation checklist for workers facility verifies all cleaning procedures next please for the cross contamination all possible ways for cross contamination products and adulterants are taken care of the facility the content layout is such that easy forward flow of operations and traffic control are effective the part is made between its processing step from other step the clear separation between the clean and dirty areas avoiding the slightest possible of the backtracking the facility of adequate size of to prevent overcrowding of equipment and personnel on the entire process into the facility is fully restricted the immediate approach to the facility is converted to private uh, wind blown dust on the raw mm, material receiving area is separated from process and packing area to prevent cross contamination of the products the interference and layouts of different sections are in such a way to prevent the slightest possible of um, backtracking and cross contamination the walls and ceilings are free from cracks and open to the floor is of waterproof non toxic non absorbent and easy to clean next please the storage and delivery of packaging matter is done in such a way to prevent any cross contamination in the products all measures taken to deny the entry of waste into facility to avoid contamination and adulteration of the product so due to filth the facility is maintained as new as possible with a well designed and protective lighting and ventilation system which eliminates all chances of cross contamination during processing
नेक्स्ट प्लीज सो टू कंट्रोल फॉर इंसेक्ट एंड पेस्ट कंट्रोल आई हैव केप्ट इन द डिफरेंट प्लेसेस इन द स्टोरेज एरिया दैट द माउसर ट्रैप्स एंड द द इंसेक्ट कैचर आल्सो हैज बीन प्लेस्ड इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस एंड ऑल द विंडोज आर कवर्ड विद स्क्रीन एंड द एग्जस्ट आल्सो कवर्ड विद द स्क्रीन्स नेक्स्ट प्लीज So the interface is examined by daily by food safety team leader using various checklist. The area is kept dry, dust-free as far as possible, or well lighted, and the responsible individual in the daily clean records of the details of cleaning. The effectiveness of cleanliness is evaluated, and the details are entered in the food safety team leader in the same the same is. verified by top management at least once a month whenever they visit the facility and recorded in the same all waste from the storage area are collected and removed from processing daily next please. so the uh, in our processing plants we have to uh, follow up the organic separation also as well as the food safety hygienic process also thank you very much Thank you, Budibal Rai sir, for your insight on Nepalese tea industry, particularly focusing on Gorkha tea state. Now, next we have a group presentation by students of Jhapa Model English School. But before that, let me take you to next destination. So earlier we were in we being the majestic Sagarmatha National Park view. Now I'd like to take you to the next destination of Province Number One. As much as Province One is famous for its natural scenic beauty, it is also very famous for uh, the pilgrims too, and that is for Patibara Devi Temple. Patibara De Devi is considered as one of the Sakti Peet. Worshippers from different parts of Nepal and India flock the te temple during special occasion, as it is believed that a pilgrimage to the temple ensures fulfillment of all that the pilgrim desires. The best time to visit the temple is from March throughout June and from September to November. With the blessing of Patibara Devi Temple, um, I would like to now welcome students of Jabba Model in English School for their presentation, case study presentation. I'm <laughs> Now over to the students of Dapo Model English School. It's not about being better. It's about being different. A very warm good morning and namaste to one and all present over here. We are the SQC team of Japa Model English School, Damake, Japa, Nepal. We are the modernized circle. Circle information. The name of our circle is the modernized circle. It was formed on 19th May 2019. The average age of our circle is 13 and average class is 8. We are all together eight members. We conduct our meeting every Friday in the school premises from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. for one hour. Our facilitator is Mr. Kamaleswar Rasbansi and our principal is Mr. Sagas Presta. The objectives of the circle are to solve the problems of school which are solvable by the students, to collaborate with students, teachers, and management, and to enhance the quality of the student. Now, I'd like to introduce the members of our circle. The leader of our circle is Kritigata Thapa. The co-leader is Prajuna Nirola and rest six of us are the members of the group. You can have a look on the tools that we have used during our case study. 
You can also have the glimpse of the important dates of our circle in the given slides. We had started our project on 19th May 2019 and the duration was of almost six months and we completed our project on 27th October 2019. Then we have illustrated the important dates in the milestone chart, which you can have a look on the given slide. Thank you. Now over to Adhisri. Thank you, Usa. We, the members, did the brainstorming for the problem identification, as you can see in the given slide. We stratify our problem into three groups, A, B, and C, where A refers to the problem which can be solved by us, B refers to the problem which can be solved partially, and C refers to the problem which can't be solved by us. Here we will focus on only section A because these are the problems that can be solved by us. Based on the problem stratification, we have selected some of the problems from A categories, as you can see in the given slide. Here, we did members voting on six problems, as you can see in the given slide. And after that, we selected five major problems in which problem number one, poor concentration, got the highest point, followed by problem number two, cyber addiction. Identification of major problems, poor concentration during class hours. Thank you. Now over to Ms. Insani Kathiora. Thank you so much, Adishri. After identification of our major problem, we, the Modernet Circle, decided to do our case study on poor concentration during class hours. Problem definition. The ability to focus on a particular subject is called concentration. When one student is not able to give complete focus while the teacher is teaching in the classroom, it's said to be poor concentration in classroom. Characteristics of students having poor concentration. They are sleepy eyes, unnecessary gossips, and unable to answer the question being asked. Procedure of initial observation. In order to obtain the initial observation, we prepared checklists to record if the students would be able to answer the question being asked in the class or not. We then collaborated with the teachers and provided the checklist. After every class, teacher asked the question and fill up the checklist. This is the picture of the checklist we gave to our teachers to obtain the initial observation. We collected data from class 6 to 9 and the total respondents were 80. In the initial observation, we observed that 62.5% of the students could answer the question of being asked in the class while 37.5% couldn't. So we set up our target to reduce the number of students who couldn't answer the question from 37.5% to 10%. Thank you. Now over to Ms. Kwitakita Thapa. Thank you, Insani. Effects of the problem. As we all know that every problem has its own effects, so some of the effects of our problem are students cannot concentrate during class hours and poor grading examination. Ishikawa diagram. This is the fishbone diagram of our main problem where we brainstormed all the possible causes and stratified them into four parts. They are under friends we have, bad company, gossip and aimlessness. Under school we have less monitoring, lack of orientation classes and boring lectures. Under home we have no planning, unmanaged routine and carelessness. And under self we have lack of sleep, side talk, lack of motivation and less, and less participation in class. Causes stratification. Here, all the causes that we listed down in the fishbone diagram, we have stratified them into three boxes. They are tackleable, non-tackleable, and beyond our control. Here we will be only focusing on tackleable, where both two others are beyond our control and non-tackleable. YY analysis. After preparing the cause of stratification, we have prepared YY analysis to find out the main root cause of our problem. Our first YY analysis is on lack of sleep. Lack of sleep. Why? Busy schedule. Why? Unmanaged timetable. Why? lack of routine. Our second YY analysis is on side talk. Side talk, why? Lack of concentration. Why? Distraction. Why? Lack of discipline. Our third YY analysis is on lack of motivation. Lack of motivation. Why? Unaware of importance of education. Why? Unaware of career perspective. Why? No proper guidance. And our last YY analysis is in last, less participation in class. Less participation in class. Why? Lack of understanding of the content. Why? Boring lectures. Why? Lack of interesting activities during class. Thank you so much. Now over to Ms. Prajuna. Thanks so 
evolution of major causes. Based on the viva analysis, root causes of our viva analysis, we selected some of the causes, and you can have a glance of the causes. Right? Members voting on causes. Then we, the members, give vote to some of the selected causes, and you can have a glance of our members voting in the given slide. Potato table. Then we pre selection of five major causes. After members voting, we selected some of the five major causes where lack of interesting activities during, during the class got the highest point, which is 53, followed by lack of discipline with 37 points. Potato table. Based on the top five major causes, we then prepared potato table where we calculated cumulative frequency for each major causes. Potato diagram. Based on the potato table, we then prepared potato diagram, and you can have a glance of our potato diagram in the given slide. PDCA cycle. After that, we prepared PDCA cycle where P refers to plan, D refers to do, C refers to check, and A refers to act. What we planned was to make students able to concentrate in class. What we checked, what we do was conduction of mind games and various meditational program before second and fifth period with arrangement of meditation. What we checked was ability of students to answer the question at the end of classroom. And what we act was continuation of meditational games and my meditational program and mind games. Now over to Samana. Thank you, Prasuna. After PDCA cycle, we prepare five W warnings to effectively implement the solution of our problems. Here, five W warnings stands for what, why, who, where, when, and how. What? <coughs> To collaborate with the teachers, why requesting teachers to make classes interactive, who students were in the meeting room, when in second week of August, followed by twice in a month, how conducted meeting with the teachers and requested them to make the classes interactive. Next five of the one you chart. Why to play mind games? Why because it refreshes the mind and to increase concentration. Who students were in the class. When in the beginning of second and fifth period for five minutes, how basic instruction in each class prepared a box containing all the required things. Next five of the one in chart. What? Meditation. Why? Because yoga and meditation refresh mind and body as well as it increases concentration. Who? Yoga instructors. Where? In the school premises. When? Every Friday from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. How the yoga gurus will teach us the meditation and its importance in our student life and we students will practice it. Countermeasures. So we effectively implement our three 5W1 as, as mentioned before. We also organize a meeting with teachers requesting them to make classes interactive. We also organize mind games and meditation class for the students. These are our photographic evidence of our implementation. Final observation. In final observation, we came to know that 83% of students were able to answer the question being asked by the teachers, whereas 17% of students were not able to answer. Thank you so much. Now over to Ms. Ahana. Comparison between initial and final observation. So as we all, so as we clearly see that in initial, initial, in, Initi in initial observation, we can see that the percentage of students who could answer the questions being asked in the class has increased from 62.5% to 83%. Similarly, the percentage of students who couldn't answer the questions being asked in the class has decreased from 37.5% to 17%. Comparison between target and final observation. So as we all know that in target setup, we had set up our target from 37.5% to 10%. Although we couldn't reach our target to achieve 10%, there has been a significant reduction in the number from 37.5% to 17%. Future plan. We, the modernized circle, would continue this project in our school in upcoming days. We would organize similar types of meditation program to increase the concentration of students during class hours. Similarly, we would also organize different talk program to motivate students regarding importance of education. 
We have also earned many benefits from our case study presentation, and some of them are, we learn to work in a team, we learn to tackle different problems using quality tools, and rest you can have a look in the given slides. Conclusion. Our school has provided us the platform in the form of case study. By doing this small project on poor concentration during class hours helped us to uplift our creativity level. During our case study presentation, we faced lots of obstacles, but we didn't give up and keep trying, and we all hope for positive results. I'd like to give special thanks to our teachers, students, facilitator, and, and school administration team for our proper guidance and support. We would like to thank the students for participating to make our case study successful. Lastly, we would like to thank all the viewers present here. Thank you. If you have any queries, we'll be very happy to address them. Thank you, SQC group from Tapa Modeling School more tonight. Uh, that was a wonderful presentation. Due to lack of time, we will not be able to take the question from the floor. Uh, I would also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, SQC for their um, nation marks, making the student a total quality person. Uh, the students not only they learn about the regarding the problem solving skill, but they, it, this kind of case study also prepares them to for their um, industry for their future career and prepares them for future industry uh, as they are working collaboratively as a team. Now, moving forward, we have experience sharing. In order to share the industry experience, we have a successful entrepreneur who started his career with a humble beginning and now is an inspiring personality for all the youth. He is none other than Mr. Bhulish Dulal, Managing Director of Purvanchal Lube Oil, PLO. Mr. Dulal was the National President of Nepal JSIS in 2013. He is also the promoter of Nepali Rika Hotel Private Limited. Now I would like to welcome Bhulish sir for his experience sharing. Thank you. Sabala uh, Namaskar. Suni Rahun Vacha. Suni, Suni yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, thank you. So, we are welcome. Good morning. This is Gari Azago Malaysia Sanma, Dere Ura Kuraru, Dere Janako Kuraru Sune. More basically, industry line, my boy, go manse, industry line go as a mirror piece for Soko and Bob, my lay Rapis Borsama, Ura quality like Cossary management, Gornos, quality bio, when Cossary Zanasakinsa, a quality Binakiunsa, when the Kuragosim, Rapis Borsago, his three as much Rodiagosa, Molly Pielo, lubricating aisle, Vanego, Patila Tano, Nobunisaka, lubricating aisle, Vanego, the Pile Gadima, Indian Indian Mapu Gurney lubricating aisle, Ho, Rayuzi Hamile, Nepalma Lons Gorego, as a twenty one years bio, when it or brand site, Molly the Mikosi Nepalma, as a thirty years the Himo business career, Hagosu, Rayesco. Main focus say Amro Nepal ma iti dehre lubricating khapat huna apni Nepali brand na huno ra Nepal esko Nepal ma udyog nahi mansele sansaran gar na gar ne bhai ko karan lega tha mile ji yo padan roje the ti bala ra illa hi to main kosi quality maintain gar ra ma old bazar ma bisu ko bazar ma pratis pata gar na chance ho Nepal ma tha ma pratis pata gar suni Nepal ko ta sarvak trista ban suni ra esko old pratis pata apni gar suni bala ra mile aile Nepal ko aaja ma number one brand ko rupa istapit su aaja sabi banda badi lubricant Ping oil base nee lubricating uh, lubricating udyog ma ra grease banana nee udyog ma aza Nepal ma number one brand group ma istabit ki yellow lubricant sa bani oil nee kar dwa visse mei ami oil atta shoda mulu karu ma export karne taiyari ma so ra oil amro export ko complete taiyari bhi rahe ko sir ami quality lai zain a ansar le agadi badaega so ma next year slide ni agadi badai dinon lagi onbud karna chance ra a ansar le 
इसलिए हम कर इसमें सब भाग बड़ी चाहिए हम इंडस्ट्री को मेन फोकस जैसे क्वालिटी में रहो क्वालिटी भित्तिक अगर मैं धेरे एक्सपेन्सियर सुने हम स्पीकर जो जो कुछ इसमें बेसिकली हमें सब भाग महत्वपूर्ण रही अलगसम देखे कुछ के भादा खेल सब भाग बड़ी महत्वपूर्ण कुछ हम क्वालिटी मेन्टेन में इसको क्वालिटी मेन्टेन करने उद्योग कंसेप्ट में हेने दस पर्सेंट भी छाइन टेन पर्सेंट बेगर को उद्योग नाइ नाइन्टी पर्सेंट उद्योग बिना क्वालिटी मेन्टेन चलि रखे अनुसार को हम ग्राहक खाल ग्राहक में स्थापित वहाँ को चेतना को स्तर हमें बढ़ा न सकू रहा चेतना में हमी वृद्धि कर न सकू क्वालिटी नहेर पैसा को उस में मत हेने पैसा में वहाँ कंप्रोमाइज करापी बेचने सेलर बदमाशी कारण कति कुछ क्वालिटी वाइज नामी पाया छो रही तब को हिस्ट्री को ब्रांड एंड मेनुफैक्चर कुछ ट्रेनिंग को अर्गनाइजेशन को चार्ट को मेन पावर को क्वालिटी एसुरेन्स को इसलिए कसरी क्वालिटी मेन्टेन कर करेन्ट एंड एपीआई सर्विस को हमी सब भाग बड़ी चाह फोकस हमें क्वालिटी में बड़ी फोकस कर क्वालिटी फोकस संगसंगे हमी हम इंडस्ट्री हेन आने मानेले ओ वा इंडस्ट्री भी यो होने खाल हमी जैसे भी भन्न क्योंकि हम धेरे स्टूडेंट धेजना धेरे ठाव कलेज बाहर बड़ी आएगा हम इंडस्ट्री हेन भाषा तो इंडस्ट्री हेखे तो इंडस्ट्री को क्वालिटी तैंब इंडस्ट्री को प्रवेश देखि नहीं देखि तीन देखिए उन्हें इंडस्ट्री खोले मत हो इंडस्ट्री में क्वालिटी भी दिन सकू और क्वालिटी पिछाड़ी तेज सब इसको मेन फोकस मैं मेरे आपको अनुभव में मैं सीम्पली तब अति सुने तो भाग मेरे फरक के मैं अभी सब भाग महत्वपूर्ण कुछ मैं देखे क्वालिटी मेन्टेन कर इम्प्लाई सब भाग महत्वपूर्ण कुछ होद रही चाहे सैटिस्फैक्शन भैन इम्प्लाई चाहे सैटिस्फाई भैन रम्प्लाई तब को यदि ठीकसंग उसे काम कर सकेन क्वालिटी मेन्टेन जीसुक मैनेजमेंट ने जस्तुसुक टाइट रूल राखे क्वालिटी में कहीं न कहीं बिग्रिद रहे सब भाग पे इम्प्लाई को स्वास्थ्य छि छेन इम्प्लाई चाहे काम करना कोग्य छेन इम्प्लाई को चित्त बुझे कि छेन इम्प्लाई चाहे यूजफुल हम कि उसे कति हमें टाइम दी रखे कति जान मानेह ओवर टाइम इम्प्लाई एवट इम्प्लाई आठ घंटा भाग चार घंटा छ घंटा सात घंटा बड़ी ओवर टाइम देखे देखु मेरे इम्प्लाई आउटपुट दिन न सकते अवस्था भी है सब भाग महत्वपूर्ण कुछ इम्प्लाई आठ घंटा भाग बड़ी ड्यूटी नदिने रर्क यदि तब को भाग बड़ी लाने पर्यटन दुई सीफ चलाने तो हिसाब से इम्प्लाई लठ घंटा में एकदम टाइमली आठ घंटा र सटरडे एवरी टाइम र आठ घंटा भाग बड़ी इम्प्लाई उसे वर्क कर दून हुए तो उसे यदि ओवर टाइम कर लैक कहीं न कहीं लैक भैई तो एवं महत्वपूर्ण कुरा रही है अर्क हमें तब को इम्प्लाई को स्वास्थ्य परीक्षण कराने टाइमली तब को हेराने ये सब कुछ हम एकदम महत्वपूर्ण कुरा हो आज हमी क्वालिटी में जो हिसाब से क्वालिटी को हमें एस्योर कर आज क्वालिटी तब को ब्रांडिंग को हम लुब्रिकेन्ट्स ओल्डवाइज जान को जो क्वालिटी को हमें मैन एटा तब प्क्टिस तब को दस बाहर वर्ष देखि प्क्टिस तो भाग अगड़ी हम क्वालिटी महत्व तो दीदन थी रि कम हिसाब से आपने हिसाब से चलाय तर जब हमें बाहर तेरह वर्ष देखे क्वालिटी एकदम क्वालिटी मेन्टेन कर क्वालिटी कहीं भी कंप्रोमाइज नगर्ने वाले जो हिसाब से हमें अर्गनाइजेशन को फ्लो चार्ट बनाये रही आईएसओ को फर्मेट में रहा क्वालिटी मेन्टेन को फर्मेट में रो हिसाब से हमें जब हम अगड़ी बढ़ना थाल पड़ी हम इंडस्ट्री ने एक किसिम को तब को मुकाम मार्केट सेयर में सब फर्स्ट में पुगो तो एटा चाह महत्वपूर्ण हम महत्वपूर्ण नेक्स्ट प्लीज स्लाइड मैं स्लाइड अभी इंडस्ट्री को मैं यहाँ तब यो इंडस्ट्री को देखाए क्वालिटी को इंडस्ट्री में हमी तब को इम्प्लाई हमें महत्वपूर्ण पार्ट में लेकर हम ट्रेनिंग अर्गनाइजेशन को यो एटा तब को चार्ट हमी धेरेवटा ब्रांड में जोड़ रेरेवटा कंपनी को हम ट्रेनिंग भी कर इंडस्ट्री भी उत्पादन भी कर यो यो एटा तब को हमी मेनली फोकस हम जैसे के रह भादा खेल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट सीस्टम में हमें अर्गनाइजेशन को चार्ट इसी बनाएर अर्गनाइजेशन चार्ट में तब 
को बोर्ड अफ डाइरेक्टर सीओ जेनरल मैनेजर इस पड़ी फैक्ट्री मैनेजर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन मैनेजर इस पड़ी चीफ मैनेजिंग अफिशर कर इस हमें तब को रूल बाय सीस्टम बाई कम चेन अफ कम को अनुसार हमें तब को इंडस्ट्री एट फर्मेट बनाएर अगड़ी बढ़ाया छो रिस्ट्री तो हिसाब से बढ़ाऊ फैक्ट्री को एटा तब इंडस्ट्री को काम करने शैली इंप्लाई को तब को बिहेवियर इंप्लाई करने काम को तरीका रे पाने उसमें एकदम महत्वपूर्ण भर जाद पड़ी हमें क्वालिटी टाइट करते 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 गए पे आज हमें हम कुछ भी संसार को देश में गए हम लुब्रिकेट्स बिक्न सकने कंडीशन में हमें आज पुर्या चाहूँ रही हर एक मानी जानू पर्ने सीक्न पर्ने रर एक मानी पर्ने कुछ के रहे भादा खेल हम देश में अलग चेकिंग न्वालिटी बारे में एस्योर कर नपर्ने रसैले तब को कारवाही को कहीं भी ऊ न होने भाग मानी हमारा में भाई इंडस्ट्री क्वालिटी तीर ध्यान दीदेन रत्पादन में ध्यान दीदेन तर इसलिए क्वालिटी रामी क्वालिटी में यदि ध्यान दूं हमीर तब को ब्रांडिंग तो हो अलावा हमी संसार भरी को भोलि मार्केट में हम उपस्थिति भी रहता इस कारण क्वालिटी में चाहे एकदम मेजर इश्यू को रूप में हमें क्वालिटी लिख पर्द पड़ने रही है जिसका कारण आज हमें कतिवटा इंडस्ट्री कर कलेज भी चला मज होटल चलाई राखे आज तब को इंडस्ट्री में मैं लुब्रिकेट्स इंडस्ट्री में छु तर मैं जैसे भी क्वालिटी कंप्रोमाइज नगर्ने कुछ भी हालत में क्वालिटी कंप्रोमाइज नगर्ने मेन पावर एकदम हेप्पी राखने मेन पावर हमारा इंप्लाई हु हम घर का सदस्य हु उन् सैलरी स्ट्रक्चर आज सर सब हर एक इंडस्ट्री में तब को लफड़ा हर एक इंडस्ट्री में मेन पावरस झगड़ा हर एक इंडस्ट्री में तब को इंप्लाई को बंद का कारण इंड इंडस्ट्री बंद तर हम हमी आजसम इंडस्ट्री एक्कीस वर्ष को मेरे इंडस्ट्री को अनुभव रीस वर्ष को ट्रेनिंग को अनुभव में आजसम इंप्लाई का कारण अथवा लेबर प्रब्लम को कारण हम इंडस्ट्री बंद भाई छाइन रही तो बंद Looks like um, there's some internet problem. Um, I would like to request uh, the technical um, friends if you could have a look if um, our speaker Bolishudural sir comes in to join us again. Could you please inform us? Now moving forward, I would like to take you to the next destination. My Pokhari Ilam is a famous wetland located at 15 km north from Ilam district of Nepal which was designated as Ramsar site in 2008 AD. The wetland is situated in middle hill ranges of Himalayas at an elevation of 2100 meter covering an area of 90 hectares. The lake has nine corner and is believed to be paying tribute to nine different gods. Now moving forward I would like to request our technical for the technical assistance to please inform if uh, our speaker Bolishu Dulal sir joins joins us again but meanwhile I would like to request uh, I would like to move forward uh, towards our an industrial talk section today we have Mr Suyesh Pakril sir managing director of MM group of companies and the director of City Cinema Biratnagar Mr Pakril is also the senior vice president at the Chamber of Industries Moram so i would like to welcome Mr Suyesh Pakril sir for his industrial talk on the topic adopting latest technology for quality manufacturing namaste am i visible and audible yes sir Very great. Ah, uh, great. Namaste once again. Good morning. Ah, uh, sorry, I don't have a presentation. Malai, only that the you preparation got a time lag, so I like like to share my views. Ah, uh, uh, earlier presentations are one of them eye opening few, and then uh, again, uh, this is a great initiative by various organizers. It is a matter of great concern for manufacturers like us, and thank you for organizing you. This is. the first time i'm seeing uh, you uh, such a, such an initiative taken by uh, your uh, your wide group level initiative linu bhaya cha haina so this has to continue uh, 
Uh, I represent the manufacturing sector. We produce intermediate packaging goods for industries like beverage, edible oil, pharmaceutical tea, lubricants, personal care, home care products. Right? We are FSSC certified. Uh, so we are concerned with quality. Our buy buyers like, uh, are like uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, Unilever, Dava, and also domestic industry like Piolo Lubricant, uh, which is our, one of the major by Ayi Bakar Bolajiko speech, Sunio, uh, represented by Bola Dulal, who is supposed to be one of the speakers yeah, today. Representing manufacturing sector, maintaining quality standard in our part of the world has always been a great challenge for us. Line between 1700 long kilometers of uh, your long porous border with India and North in China competing on both price and quality has been an uphill battle. You try to make good, but the consumers aren't willing to pay for it, owing to more economical products from neighboring countries. Sometimes when the consumers don't wish to pay more, manufacturers try to compromise on quality to make products more competitive. So this results to unhealthy competition and nobody ends up gaining. With time and presence of both of products from all over the world. The consumers also have become very much aware. Therefore, upgrading to state-of-art technology is a big challenge and need of power. Nepal leads in construction sector like cement steel manufacturing. Probably we have better quality than, than any uh, South Asian countries because of the quality of limestones probably. And we have, and, and of course, the technology to process it. For instance, if you ask us uh, about my company, we have world-class tech. Uh, because we supply to MNCs like Coca-Cola, Unilever, Pepsi-Cola, Dava, Nepal, etc. So how do we use high tech to maintain good quality in our part of the world? The only option is states protection. See, call for strong measures to regulate informal trade. You open border, border zone trade, unsa tele garda kere chayin. Tela regulate matre garna sakyo. Government has to come up with acts like anti-dumping acts, other protection measures, so that the domestic industries could be protected and we could easily compete with uh, um, uh, larger neighbors like uh, big neighbors like uh, China and India. Uh, so my uh, concerns are that the major state policy reform or local industries are like protect the acts of the chamber of industries sector lobby domestic industries like protection competitive advantage energy energy which supply industrial sector so we are competing with China we are competing with India so competitive advantage high cost of production is very less whereas both in terms of wages in terms of electricity but a financial cost for it to some extent to make them inconsistent. Sir. So I'm not how my manufacturer governor either to be competitive and to come up with a very quality product like the consumers need is an uphill battle. So I'm uh, so I'm bro, you, you, you sector as an industrialist, we have to definitely produce good, get good uh, technology up to the technology state of art technology as a some of the latest technology that are going to your challenge. So they have you technology but of produce career and then population for example amro what i think of population like anne khalko technology lera aero this was he compete with uh, the neighboring countries uh, is a is a big challenge so actually manufacturing sectors are we struggle nigger rasa amro part of the world ma although gradually consumer awareness uh raw government could slowly uh, your stable stability only get the ic give us it's a your regulations are all the strict measures are domestic industries like production garne kehi kama rup hai ka panchan so tele garda kheri manufacturing sector uh is doing um, relatively better than before but then there's a lot needs to be done now uh, so this is one thing and then uh, apart from that, uh, since uh, I represent the, the your cinema, uh, your uh, your multiplex panisa entertainment sector, so entertainment sector, so so many people body suffer because of the pandemic. Le, uh, this is one sector probably, or so many sector open. Also, my your sector like say, open permission give or say na. I mean, concerned uh, authorities are like many also. I mean, safety measures are. Uh, apply we would like to have the permission to start resume our business in uh, so and then uh, to keep it short um, so the presentations were uh, very good something new to learn for us and then 
especially the students, Malaita, no, Waboini or Kotsai presentation, Sarani, say Monporio, Wahar Kotsai. I mean, thanks to the school and the Wahar, let's say, Tessari, Wahar, like Groom Gariko de Rekeri, we are not less in in quality and and to the say quality students, ma'am, Zunami Groom Gordeso. I mean, say, I'm neighboring countries, Arvanda, Kom, Chino, Vanikura, Eselebani, the Kamsa. So let's keep up our good work and then our best wishes uh, for this program to be taken ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir, sir for your industrial talk. Uh, we are informed that Bulisasa's internet crashed, so he will not be able to join with us. But I would like to thank Bulisasa as well for his rich experience sharing. Like I mentioned uh, earlier, this is a quality race from province one to province seven. We're now towards the end of province one and almost stepping to province two. So for our lightning talk, we have Mr. Medin Lamitani, sir, principal of Nepal's first IB school, Yulin School. Mr. Lamitani uh, pursued his postgraduate Master of Education from Bank Street Graduate School of Education, New York, and is one of the pioneer in the fields of education. Now, I would like to call upon Medin sir for his lightning talk on the topic quality education in 21st century. I would like to request our host, so if you could um, make Medin sir co-host so that he would be able to share his slide. Uh, thank you, uh, Jasmine Ji. Hazar uh, sabbay jana lai virtually namaskar. Mero naam Medin Lami chani. Yo ma PowerPoint share na gara wala. Ma pachi chahiye bane tapay wala chhe ma email gara pathe dina saksu. Ma point wise nee kura gara wala jastu lagyo. Sarva pratham yo jun karyakram organize gara nu baako sa. Isko lagye chhe ekdam hi khushi lagyo. म बयाने देखे आउन पर्ने जस्तो लाग्यो अलिकति ढिलो जॉइन गरे तर केही छैन आज चाहिँ हजुरहरुसँग म यो गुणस्तर चाहिँ शिक्षासँग जोडेर शिक्षाको गुणस्तरको बारेमा चाहिँ अलिकति कुराहरु शेयर गर्दै छु हामीले गुणस्तर भनेको के हो भन्ने प्रस्पेक्टिभ बडा हामीले हेर्यौ भने यो चाहिँ एकदमै अमूर्त चीज रहेछ हैन अहिले हाम्रो इन्डस्ट्रीको व्यक्तित्वहरुले गुणस्तर के हो भन्ने कुरा बताएर जानु भयो तर शिक्षामा गुणस्तर चाहिँ अमूर्त हुँदो रहेछ हामीले 2007 साल भन्दा पछाडीका सरकारहरु र विभिन्न राजनीतिक दलहरुले शिक्षामा गुणस्तरको कुरा गरेको हामीले सुनेका छौ हैन कसैले चाहिँ वैज्ञानिक शिक्षा भन्नु हुन्छ कसैले जनवादी शिक्षा भन्नु हुन्छ कसैले चाहिँ गरिखाने शिक्षा भन्नु हुन्छ कसैले चाहिँ देशको माटो सुहाउँदो शिक्षा भन्नु हुन्छ हैन त्यो सबै उहाँहरुको भनाइलाई गुणस्तर सँग जोडिएर कुरा गरिएको छ तर जति पनि सरकारहरु फेरबदल भए र राज्यले शिक्षामा काम गर्यो हामीले भनेको जस्तो अनुभूति गर्न चाहिँ हामीले पाएनौ न त हामीले वैज्ञानिक शिक्षाको अनुभव गर्न पायौ न हामीले जनवादी शिक्षाको अनुभव गर्न पायौ न गरिखाने शिक्षाको पायौ न त यो देशको माटो सुहाउँदो शिक्षा नै भयो यदि माटो सुहाउँदो शिक्षा हुन्थ्यो भने आज हामी कृषिमा पक्कै पनि आत्मनिर्भर हुन्थ्यौ होला हैन यदि यो जनवादी शिक्षा थियो भने हरेक नागरिक विद्यालयबाट दीक्षित भएर बाहिर निस्किसकेपछि उले केही न केही गरिखान सक्थ्यो होला त्यहाँनेर वैज्ञानिक शिक्षा थियो भने हामी हामी बजारमा बिक्थ्यौ होला हैन त्यसकारण हामीले हामीले यो गुणस्तरीय शिक्षाको यसको परिभाषित गर्नै सकेनौ जस्तो लाग्छ अहिले सम्म हैन धेरै ठाउँमा गुणस्तरको परिभाषा निर्माण गर्यौ तर हाम्रो सन्दर्भमा हामीले गुणस्तरको परिभाषा चाहिँ निर्माण गर्न सकेनौ जस्तो लाग्यो र समस्या हामी यहीबाट छ भन्ने मलाई लाग्छ यो केलाई गुणस्तर भन्ने शिक्षामा भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ केमा आउँदो रहेछ भने यो गुणस्तर भन्ने चीज चाहिँ व्यक्तिको शिक्षा व्यक्ति समाज अनुसार फरक हुँदो रहेछ हैन पढे लेखेको मानिसको लागि र नपढे लेखेको मानिसको लागि चाहिँ शिक्षाको गुणस्तर फरक हुँदो रहेछ हुँदा खाने र हुने खानेको लागि शिक्षाको गुणस्तर फरक हुँदो रहेछ शहरमा बस्ने र गाउँमा बस्ने व्यक्तिको लागि शिक्षाको गुणस्तर फरक हुँदो रहेछ 
हमरो लागी र विदेशी को लागी पनि शिक्षा को गुणस्तर ही गुणस्तर से फर्क होता रहता है अब यो गुणस्तर कुछ यूनिवर्सल डेफिनेशन से ही मायले मायले सब ये राष्ट्र में र धेरे लिटरेचर रिव्यू करता फिरी पनी तो यूनिवर्सल चीज से ही तो तो सब पे ठाउ में ठक्के अप्लाई होने भन्ने पुरा से ही तो देखिए ना त्याने रहते हैं कौश को ल अन्य कौसे को लागी चाहिए अंग्रेजी फर रब बोलने पर आचे गुणस्तर होने चाहिए वाला कौसे को लागी चाहिए विदेशी विश्वविद्यालय ले उल्लाइ चाहिए एक्सेप्ट करे वो पढ़ने जाना पाए बने तो गुणस्तर होने तरह चाहिए अन्य कौसे को लागी चाहिए मेडिसिन रे इंजीनियरिंग में नाम मिस किया बने तो गुणस्तर प्रस्तुत संग आपने कुछ राखी हो बनी वो कुन स्कूल में पढ़ने वाला है यो नानी बाबू तो स्कूल को शिक्षा से गुणस्तर होता रहता है वहाँ आर को लागी चाहिए कौसे को लागी चाहिए नानी बाबू घर में स्कूल बड़ा आई सके पति उन्हें ले घर को काम मस्सा गाए वाने तो गुणस्तर होता रहता है कौसे को बोली बचन राम र है ना तो एमिली एमिली व्यवहार करता फिरी भोगे कुछ चीज़ आरु महिला आज़र वाला भाई मो विगत 32 परसेंट देखी शिक्षा में काम करते आये रहे कुछ रा महिले महिले हजारों अभिभावक हो बैठे कुछ है ना वहाँ रु विद्यालय में नैनी बाबू भरना करने ले आऊँ ता फिरी प्रत्येक अभिभावक को लागी विद्यालय को शि� कोई अभिभावक आऊँ उनसा बस यार मैंने भरना तक गरे अब कत्ती को धेरे ग्रीय कार्य दिन उनसा भनेर वहाँ ले सोन उनसा अब ग्रीय कार्य नौ दिन जो वहाँ को लागी गुणस्तर भाई ना ऐसे विद्यालय ले धेरे ही होमर दियो बनी तो जो गुणस्तर ये विद्यालय भायो अने कोई अभिभावक आऊँ उनसा � विद्यालय ले कती उड़ा किताब प्रेस्क्राइब करे कुछ ऐ उड़ा विद्यार्थी को लागी भन्ने पुराते गुणस्तर होता रहा था कती पहले बाबा का आउन होन्चा तो मेरे को में यूनिफॉर्म था ही ना अनि बिना यूनिफॉर्म चा कौसेरी गुणस्तरी शिक्षा दिन होन्चा भनेरा सोध नोन्चा विद्यालय ले राखी को यूनिफॉर्म चा ह हमें विद्यालय में फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड छुट्टियां होता ही ना हो अने आऊं ना उनसा अने विद्यालय में फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड उनसे क्यों होता ही ना बनेरा सोच ना उनसा माने इसी प्रतिस्पर्धा करने पूरा चाहूँ आर को लागी चाहूँ गुणस्तर होता रहा अने कई अभिभावक आऊं ना उनसा तबायले चाहे आधारभूत अन्य कती पहले विवाह का उन्होंने ये उड़ा कच्चे में कती जाने विद्यार्थी रखने उन्होंने माने को कच्चे में रखी ने विद्यार्थी संख्या चाहिए वहाँ उनको लागी गुणस्तर होता रहा था माने यो ये सो आइले सम्म महिले हर दा फिरी मलाई के लागी बनी यो गुणस्तर को परिभाषा सही व्यक्ति पिच्चे फरक समाज पिच्चे फ अब हमें सब ले बंचों गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिनों पारे हो इन्हें सब पे को मांगे ही था कि हमें ज्यादा गाय पनी शिक्षा गुणस्तरीय होने पारे हो और विद्यालय वाले गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिनों पारे हो और यू गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा भाने को हो जाए क्या था इन्हें आज ऐसा मां हमें लेती हो कंक्रीट रूप में इ तपाईं नेपाल को कुनै पनि विद्यालय में जानु भाय बने सायद सभी विद्यालय वाले के बंचन बने हमें ले गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिए का छों वहाँ को गुणस्तर को मापदंडा आपने छा सभी ले आपनों परिस्थिति है ना गुणस्तर को चाहिए व्याख्या र विश्लेषण गारे को पाइन छा गुणस्तर लाई धेरे मैनिसरे गुणस्तर लाई शौचालय को व्यवस्था था, लाइब्रेरी था, अनि टाइर और सूट लगाया र विद्यालय जाना पाऊँसन, फर र अंग्रेजी में बोल्ड सन, र सात प्रतिशत रिजल्ट आए बनी, तो विद्यालय ला हमें गुणस्तरीय विद्यालय बनाऊँ, अनि कई को लागी चीज़ कोस्ट हो दरा समझे गुणस्तर बने कुछ नहीं वैल्यू फर मनी रहा था, 
तो हजार रुपया को सैटिस्फैक्शन हजूला भैदिओ हो गुणस्तर कसा ने दस हजार तिरे को हो तो दस हजार को सैटिस्फैक्शन वहाँ ने पाने भाई तो वहाँ को लगी गुणस्तर होद कसा बीस हजार तिरे को तो बीस हजार को भू पाने भाई तो गुणस्तर होद यह होद जो हमें होटल तीर ह्यौने फाइव स्टार होटल को आपने गुणस्तर हो फोर स्टार को आपने गुणस्तर हो थ्री स्टार को आपने गुणस्तर हो हमी पांच रुपया कप चिया खाइने गुणस्तर आपने हो बीस रुपया कप चिया खाइने गुणस्तर आपने हो गुणस्तर लिखे निर्धारण करद हमी तिरे को मूल्य यदि हमीर चित्त बुझे तो गुणस्तर तेल प्रभाव पार्द भेखिद अब हम यहाँ के देख शिक्षा को गुणस्तर चाहे अरु को गुणस्तर भाग अलग फरक होने हो एटा इंडस्ट्री ने निने सामान रद्यालय पर विद्यार्थी जो दीक्षित कराइं तो चीज में हमी अलग फरक पाएन मैं के देखु हर एक धेरे विद्यालय आई एस सर्टिफाइड विद्यालय वहाँ भनी राख्वे मैं लग आई एस सर्टिफाइड विद्यालय शिक्षा होना कि इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर में होना सकला एटा एवं शिक्षक ने कक्षा भि गए विद्यार्थी कसरी शिक्षा दिख भूरा जांचे सर्टिफाइड हमी पाइदन तो आईएसओ सर्टिफाइड विद्यालय साँची नई गुणस्तरीय गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिने विद्यालय होने कुछ में अलग हमें प्रश्न आक मैं दुई चार वा लिटरेचर हे नोराहाट नर्वेजिंग एजेंसी फर डेवलपमेंट को अपरेशन भाई संस्था है उन्नी एटा गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा को आपको मपदंड बना रही यूनिसेफ ने गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा को आपको मपदंड बना धेरे विश्वविद्यालय गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा का अपना अपने मपदंड बना रहे मैं दुईटा लिटरेचर हजार सेयर कर खोजे नोराट ने गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा में भादा खेल शिक्षक रिक्षण विधि को हमीर वहाँ के शिक्षक दक्ष छ उसको विधि चाह बाल केन्द्रित तो शिक्षा गुणस्तरीय होने कुछ वहाँ अर्क विषय वस्तु कस्तो कक्षा कोठा में शिक्षक ने दिने विषय वस्तु तो चीज गुणस्तरीय होनी मत शिक्षा गुणस्तरीय होने कुछ वहाँ अर्क सीकाई वातावरण विद्यार्थी कस्तो ठाव में राखी सीकाइक तो गुणस्तर संग जोड़ भूमिक विद्यालय को व्यवस्थापन कस्तु विद्यार्थी को पूर्व ज्ञान को सम्मान कर सीखा फिर विद्यार्थी को पूर्व ज्ञान जोड़ी कि जोड़िदेन भाई कुरा गुणस्तर को निर्धारण कर सीकाई में हमी कर्च कर गुणस्तर से निश्चित कर छा विषय पॉइंटर दूनभक एकजा नर्वे नाइजेरि को प्रोफेसर ने वहाँ गुणस्तर को पांचवटा मपदंड निर्धारण करूटा चाहे सीकाई में यदि परिवार और समुदाय को भूमिका रहो हम हम विद्यालय अल्लेम परिवार और विद्यालय भाग समुदाय भाग हम फरक छो जब विद्यालय में परिवार और समुदाय को भूमि का बढ़् तब मत्र गुणस्तरीय सीकाई होनी अर्क सीकाई वातावरण सुरक्षित होने कुरा सुरक्षित भैन भी तो गुणस्तरीय होतेन भाई कुरा अभी विषय वस्तु जीवन रगतसंग कक्षा संग कक्षा भि हमें जो विषय को जे ज्ञान सीख हासिल करो चीज विद्यार्थी घर में आएर उसको जीवन रगतसंग जोड़िएन तो गुणस्तरीय होतेन भू शिक्षक तालीम प्रशस्त दिपो हमी कहाँ एक पटक तालीम दिए बीस वर्ष पढ़ाने चलन है तर टीचर ट्रेनिंग चाहिए हर एक हफ्ता हर एक महीना वहाँ हमें तालीम को अवसर दी राख् पर्च अत्र गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिन सकता भाई वहाँ रहो ज्ञान सीप रिवृत्ति को राष्ट्रीय उद्देश्य संगठन संबंध के भाई कुरा गुणस्तर बताऊँ भाई वहाँ अब मजूरला मैले बत्तीस वर्ष में मैं जे सिक जे अनुभव करें मैं धेरे गुणस्तरीय विद्यालय विश्वविद्यालय को भ्रमण करने मौका भी पाए कक्षा कोठा में बसे हम राष्ट्रीय पाठ्यक्रम को निर्माण में सहभागी भई रत्तीस वर्ष देखि यही क्षेत्र में बसा फिर मैं लगे गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा बने के भाई मजूरला दुई चार वा पॉइंट में मत मेयर कर आजसम हमी विद्या विद्यालय में परीक्षा को तैयारी ग्यौं है जीवन को तैयारी कर सकेन जीवन को तैयारी नगर्दा फिर जब विद्यार्थी विद्यालय दीक्षित भर बाहर गयो अली खाने नागरिक भेन क्योंकि आज को मितिसम हम ध्यान 
कक्षा कोठा भि विद्यार्थी सीप सीखा फिर यह चीज जांच में आँच कि आँदन यह जांच में सोधि कि सोधि तेरी सीकाइं जांच में आने चीज बड़ी महत्व का साथ सीकाइं जांच में न आने चीज महत्व का साथ सीकाइन अब इसो विचार कर हमी हर एक कक्षा में अंतिम परीक्षा लिख तो तीन घंटा में सोधिने चीज वर्ष भरी राखे सीकाने हो विद्यार्थी के ज्ञान निर्माण कर अब हम सीकाई चाह परीक्षा को तैयारी होना अब हम सीकाई चाह विद्यार्थी को जीवन को तैयारी में लग्न पर्च जीवन को लगी हमें तैयारी करेन तो गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा होद रही अब जीवन को तैयारी हमें कसरी करने एट सान उदाहरण में हजूला दू अ कक्षा एक में दुई हजार सतहत्तर साल में भर्ना भाग विद्यार्थी इसो विचार कर अब कति वर्ष पच्चीस ऊ विश्वविद्यालय बाहर आँच त भाग उसे बाहर वर्ष विद्यालय शिक्षा में बिताने पर्यटन चार वर्ष उसे अंडर ग्रेजुएट में बिताने पर्यटन सोलह वर्ष भो रो दुई वर्ष मस्टर्स डिग्री कर फिर अठारह वर्ष को उसे शिक्षा लिया दुई हजार सतहत्तर साल में अठारह वर्ष जोड़ा फिर तो दुई हजार पंचानब्बे होदे भाई अब अल्ले एक कक्षा में हमी जो विद्यार्थी पढ़ाई रहता छो तो विद्यार्थी दुई हजार पंचानब्बे साल में ऊ जब मार्केट में ज्यादा फिर ऊ सज में फर्क आती बेला काम लगने शिक्षा हमें दिपर् हमें यह चीज कहीं शिक्षा में सोचेन अल्ले एक कक्षा में पढ़ने विद्यार्थी अलग को लगी तैयारी करने होना एक कक्षा में पढ़ने विद्यार्थी को लगी अब आज भाग अठारह वर्ष पछाड़ी को सज कस्त हो हमें तैयार करने हो अल्ले हमी दुई हजार बीस साल में छू दुई हजार दुई साल तीर शायद हम सब जान दुई हजार दुई भोगे आ टू थाउज टू में काठमंडू में कसई को हाथ में सेलफोन होते थे लिमिटेड मैं को हाथ में थी समाज कसरी परिवर्तन भैर यो अठारह वर्ष में टेक्नोलॉजी में आमूल परिवर्तन भाषा जसरी दुई हजार दुई में हमी दुई हजार बीस को प्रक्षेपण कर सकते थे आज हम दुई हजार बीस में आज दुई हजार अड़तीस में कस्तु होगा सामज वन सक अब शिक्षक ने पाठ्यक्रम का निर्माता ने दुई हजार अड़तीस में कस्तु हो शिक्षा भाई अनुमान कर विद्यार्थी को लगी तीर तैयारी कर अब हम कहाँ के भैर हजूर हे दुई हजार सन्तावन्न साल में तैयार कर पाठ्यक्रम आज दुई हजार सतहत्तर सालसम एवट हमी पाठ्यक्रम बीस वर्ष हमें छोएन परिवर्तन कर खोज्ता फिर भी अस्थि सर्वोच्च अदालत ने जस्त को तस्त राख्ध निर्णय कर पाठ्यक्रम तो हर एक वर्ष परिवर्तन होने पर्ने दुई हजार हमें अब को बीस वर्ष पछाड़ी को नागरिक तैयार करने हो पांच पांच वर्ष में कम से कम हमें तो पाठ्यक्रम परिवर्तन कर सकू पर्थ्यो हमें तो सकेन हमी तो आज भाग दुई हजार सन्तावन्न में जे अपेक्षा राख्या थे सतहत्तर में तो कक्षा में पढ़ने विद्यार्थी हमें ते शिक्षा दी रखा छोड़ हमी कति पची छो भाई इसलिए देखा रामी अलग गुणस्तर को बेला में करस कारण मेरे पेल भनाई के हमें कुछ विद्यार्थी गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिने हो अब परीक्षा होना अब उसको जीवन को तैयारी को लगी हमें शिक्षा दून पर्च भेज पेल भनाई भाग दोसों भनाई के एक्कीसों शताब्दी को लगी आवश्यक सीप अब सूचना रथ्य हमें चाहे है हजूल हमी हमी जी बेला मेरे उमेर का जो हमी छी विद्यालय पढ़ा फिर हम सूचना रथ्यांक को स्रोत पाठ्यपुस्तक मत्र थी तेस कारण हमें घोक्न पर्थ्य कंठ गुर्थ्य अब अलग सूचना रथ्य घोक्ने कंठ करने काम में हमें विद्यार्थी लगन होते हैं तो हजर को हाथ में भैया मोबाइल हाथ में छोड़ उसे कुछ सूचना रथ्य ती बड़ उसे डाउनलोड कर सकता अब पाठ्यपुस्तक पढ़ाने होना विद्यार्थी को रचनात्मक चिंतन समस्या समाधान सीप है संचार कौशल सहकार्य विविधता सृजनशीलता लाइफ लिकाई लीवन पर्यत बनाने सामाजिक उत्तरदायित्व यो एक्सों शताब्दी को लगी के सीप चाहिए हमीर अब विद्यालय में यो सीप सीख जो सीप ने भेपी काम लग् अमेरिका गए पर काम लग् जापान गए पर काम लग् इंडिया गए पर काम लग् कई यूनिवर्सल सीप हु विद्यार्थी नसिक न होने जो सीप विद्यार्थी सिक्यो ऊँचे ग्लोबल सीटिजन हो लोकल सीटिजन होना अब विद्यार्थी ग्लोबल सीटिजन बनाने हो ती सीपर से हमें सान कक्षा देखि सीखे लैजानु पर्च तब मत शिक्षा गुणस्तरीय हो अर्क नानी बाबूला चिन्ने कुछ गुणस्तरीय होद हम विद्यार्थी हम विद्यालय में भर्ना कर सके शिक्षक विद्यार्थी चिन्न विद्यार्थी चिन्ने वाक विद्यार्थी को नाम चिन्ने विद्यार्थी को बाबू आमा को नाम था पाने मात्र होना विद्यार्थी चिन्ने वाक हर एक विद्यार्थी को आपने तरीका हो 
कोई विद्यार्थी सुनेर सीख कसले हेर सीख कसले देखे सीख कसले सीख सुने सीक्ने सुना सीखने हेरा सीक्ने देखा सीखने कर सीक्ने कराएर सीखने ये तीन टा चीज शिक्षक ने बुझ् भेन भी कक्षा कोठा को शिक्षा अब गुणस्तरीय होते अभी हर एक व्यक्ति में आपने आपने एट अंतर्निहित क्षमता हो बौद्धिकता होता कस शब्द को बौद्धिकता हो कस को अंक को बौद्धिकता हो कस को स्थान को बौद्धिकता हो कस को आवाज को बौद्धिकता हो कोई मं चाह नबोलिकन राम चीज विचार कर सकता धेरे बोले विचार कर सकता कसले एक्ल प्रकृति प्रेमी भर सीक्ने हर एक हार्डवर्ड गार्डनर ने हर एक व्यक्ति में कई न के इंटेलिजेन्स हो रहा शिक्षक ने तो चीज था पाने पर्च हमी कहीं कक्षा में पढ़ाते जांच कोई विद्यार्थी कक्षा को अंतिम में बसिराख्या हो हमें पढ़ाते जाना फिर उसे सुने को भर में सीख कोई विद्यार्थी चाहे कक्षा में चल रखे होता उस हमें चल दिएन उसे सीक्न सकते हैं हो यो चीज विद्यार्थी शिक्षक ने चिन्ने वाक तो विद्यार्थी में के अंतर्निहित क्षमता ऊ कस्तो प्रकार को शिकार हो रो पूर्व ज्ञान के पूर्व ज्ञान को उसको आर्थिक अवस्था उसको भौगोलिक अवस्था उसको पारिवारिक अवस्था ऊ कह आक भाई रामस शिक्षक ने विद्यार्थी चिन्न भाई बल्ल गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिन सकता भाई लग अर्क आजसम हमीर ज्ञान निर्माण कर लगाएन विद्यार्थी हमीर अरु कस निर्माण कर ज्ञान कंठ कर भोगन लगाए कक्षा कोठा में विद्यार्थी ज्ञान निर्माण कर ज्ञान निर्माण भेन हम विज्ञान को प्रयोगशाला साइंटिस्ट जन्मि पर्ने थी नेपाली साहित्य को कक्षा बट साहित्यकार जन्मि पर्ने थी तो भैराख्या छेन शिक्षा शास्त्र पढ़ने विद्यार्थी राम शिक्षक भैर छन साहित्य को कक्षा बड़ राम साहित्यकार निस्क रहन दुई तीनवट उदाहरण हजर दूँ हमीर अमर ने हजूले सुन्नभक हो है राम साहित्यकार हो सेतो धरती घाम पानी करण कस्तूरी जस्ता राम किताब लेख्भ वहाँ नेपाली साहित्य को कक्षा बड़ निस्कूक साहित्यकार होना नारायण वाग्ले हजूले सुन्नभक वहाँ नेपाली साहित्य को कक्षा बड़ निस्कूक साहित्यकार होना वहाँ नारायण वाग्ले वहाँ विज्ञान को विद्यार्थी हम अमर ने वाणिज्य शास्त्र को विद्यार्थी हमीर के ग्यौं विद्यार्थी को क्षमता पहचान कर जिसको जे क्षमता छेस में हमें लगन पाए भैदि गुणस्तरीय नागरिक निकालना सकिन्थ तो काम में हमी कर न सकते हुआ हमी धेरे पच्छी पड़ रख रामी कक्षा में ज्ञान निर्माण कराएन कसले निर्माण कर ज्ञान हमें घोक्ने कंठ कराने काम गये अर्क के ज्ञान शिप्र अवधारणा को जीवन रगतसंग को संबंध देखाने हमीर कक्षा कोठा में सीकाइए चीज विद्यार्थी कहीं उसको जीवन रगतसंग जोड़न सकेन मैं एट विद्यालय में गए परीक्षण कर विद्यालय में शिक्षक ने वातावरण शिक्षा में वहाँ के ये रासायनिक मल को बारे में वहाँ पढ़ाने भारे विद्यार्थी रासायनिक मल को प्रयोग होसायनिक मल को प्रकार के रासायनिक मल ने के काम कर सोने सब बता सकने अभी मैं चाहे यूरिया रीनी मल लगे देखा ये हो भादा फिर उन्हीं खै सर ये हेद्द फिर चीनी जस्तु ये कि ठा भेन भाई हो हम शिक्षा चाहे यो खाल अब इस हमें कसरी गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा भाई त हमें सीकाइए चीज विद्यार्थी को जीवन रगतसंग हमें जोड़न सकेन घर में जो हम वायरिंग कर वायरिंग फिर तो वायरिंग भि तीन टा तार हो रो तीन टा फरक फरक रंग को तार हो विज्ञान में विद्यार्थी तो चीज पढ़ना पर्च तर घर में आएगा हमें तो तार को काम सोने वाले हम विद्यार्थी बता सकते हैं है हमी विशिष्ट ताप धारण शक्ति को हम कक्षा कोठा में पढ़ा तर घर में आएर दूध रेल संग उलो कल छिटो ताप् भाई बता सकते ये सब समस्या के भाई हमी सिके चीज जीवन रगतसंग नजोड़ कारण विद्यार्थी बता सकेन इसको भैल्यू भैन तैं विद्यार्थी को लगी अब ये गुणस्तर को लैजानु पर्च भर्क सीकाई वातावरण हमी हमें अनुशासित बनाएर विद्यार्थी सीकायं उन्नीर उत्तरदायी अथवा उन्नी रेस्पोन्सिबल बना हमी सकेन अब को सीकाई वातावरण वन वे अथोरिटेरियन टाइप को होतक्रियात्मक होता है धेरे राम विद्यालय को कक्षा कोठा को हजूले ले आउट हेन भाई तैं शिक्षक रिद्यार्थी को भूमिका सामान हो तर हमी क्या शिक्षक रिद्यार्थी को भूमिका सामान छेन अब तो भाई हमी फरक ढंग ने अगड़ी बढ़ु पर्ने वाला अर्क कक्षा कोठा विद्यालय भवन रठ्यपुस्तक भाई लैजाने 
है हमारा में अलग एट जबरदस्ती अवधारणा के सीक्ने वाक कक्षा कोठा भि हो सीक्ने वाक विद्यालय को कंपाउंड भि हो रिक्ने वाक पाठ्यपुस्तक भि हो विद्यालय में सीमित कर बाहर नि हमें विद्यार्थी इंटरैक्ट करा सकेन भी अब गुणस्तरीय शिक्षा दिन सकता भेजने लगे यो बाहेक अब थुप्रे चीज गुणस्तर में हमें कुरा पर्ने विद्यार्थी को सुरक्षित वातावरण बनाने सकता कि सकि एटा कक्षा में कति विद्यार्थी राख्ने शिक्षक को पेशागत तालीम कस्त होने भाई कुछ ये लमो विषय हो इस हमें लमे कुरा सकता मैं छोट करी में हजूर मैं के अब अब हमी परंपरागत ढंग ने जसरी शिक्षा दी रह रामी गुणस्तर हमें दावी करो हम दावी कुछ हिसाब से कुछ भी एंगल बड़ हे फिर ती गुणस्तरीय होने प्रमाणित कर सकते हैं इसको लगी अब फरक सोच को आवश्यकता पर्च भाई लग रज मैं हजरसंग मेरे जो अनुभव सेयर करने मौका पाएं इसको अर्गनाइजर धीरे धीरे धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ रजरसंग भर्चुअली भी भेट भो इसको मो मौका को सबजना Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair, for your insight. Um, now we are running short of times. So we've got a very tight schedule, so now I would like to hand over the platform to Province Number Two over to Divas Dahal. Thank you, Justin, ma'am. We are now Ilam ko chia kai sangi beluga libulek ma campfire garera shoki ne amro yo kualithon lai. क्वालिथोन को हम आज प्रदेश नंबर दुई में आईपुग रदेश नंबर दुई में आईपुग्दसम हमी ऑडियस क्वालिथोन को बारे र्वालिथोन को प्लांग को बारे रसरी चलि विषय में हम सबजना सायद हम सबजना क्लियर नहीं भैस हो रब को क्रम में यो क्वालिथोन को बारे में कई बुझाऊन रहा स्वागत करना को लगी स्वागत मंतव्य का लगी म कमलेश कुमार यादव सर जो प्रदेश नंबर दुई का लगी हम एम्बेसडर होलकम स्पीच को लगी फ्लोर दिन चाहूँ द फ्लोर इज योर्स सर गुड मर्निंग एवरी वन शुभ प्रभात सब जाना वेलकम टू अल दिम गेस्ट Hope you enjoy this uh, two-hour stay in province too. Uh, World Quality Day comes up. I am going to go to this quality from Delhi race. My Swabagi will be there. Sampurna Swabagi is our life. Our best man, Swagat sir. Sat Satay. Mechi pool bar to start. Sir, Swabagi is our life. Kosi katha sir. Pradesh two summer prayer day. Swabagi is our life. Stress is zero. Sir, Pradesh is our life. Sir, Swabagi is our life. Stress is zero. Sir, साथ ही सुखद रव्य रूप में संपन्न कर प्रदेश एक बधाई दिन चाहौ प्रदेश दुई पूर्व में कोशी टपू वन्य जंतु आरक्षा सुरू भर चुरे पहाड़ को तीर तीर पर्सा राष्ट्रीय निकुंज पुगे बागमती प्रदेश में प्रवेश करद इस प्रदेश में चाह आठ जिला पूर्व में सत्तरी देखि क्रमश सिरा धनुषा महोत्तरी सरलाही रौतड़ बाहर पर्सा फैलि यो प्रदेश क्षेत्रफल में सब भाग सानों प्रदेश हो दोसों धेरे जनसंख्या भग प्रदेश हो अब प्रदेश दुई लाई अन्न भंडारण भी मान कृषि प्रमुख पेशा के रूप में देखिवे अब मेनुफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्री उत्पादन क्षेत्र में प्रगति करते गए अब प्रदेश दुई सब ठाई अर बेला धेरे गर्मी होने प्रदेश तर अ मौसम में चीसोपना बढ़ते यहाँ शीतलता अनुभव कर अब इस प्रदेश को बसाई को क्रम में विभिन्न रमणीय धार्मिक र सांस्कृतिक क्षेत्र भ्रमण करते विभिन्न क्षेत्र का प्रतिष्ठित व्यक्ति हम सुन्ने आशा छहाँ को प्रदेश दुई को यह बसाई सुखद होना का साथ ही सीकाई भरिपूर्ण होने अब म हम कार्यक्रम संचालक श्री विवस दाहाल हम क्वालिथन को सहभागी प्रदेश दुई को भ्रमण कराने हु अनुरोध करद धन्यवाद धन्यवाद सर पक्क हम प्रदेश दुई को भ्रमण करते संपूर्ण का संपूर्ण 
प्रेजेन्टर को प्रेजेन्टेशन हे हम प्रदेश दुई को भ्रमण पक्की करने अब को क्रम में म यहाँ टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट इन मेनुफैक्चरिंग भय में सिंगापुर क्वालिटी अर्गनाइजेशन को तर्फवा मिस्टर हर्नेक सिंह लीनोट स्पीकर को रूप में आपको प्रेजेन्टेशन प्रस्तुत कर दिन होना हार्दिक अनुरोध करना चाहिए हर्नेक सिंह सर द फ्लोर इज योर्स Very good morning. Namaste, Shubha Prabhat. I'm Hardik from Singapore, okay. and I would like to thank uh, Sri Janardhan Ji, and also very good morning to Professor Dinesh and Mr. Arun Dongal for this opportunity to participate in this Qualtong Nepal 2020, and uh, I would like to congratulate all of you for the World Quality Day, which is today. This is a very innovative uh, approach of celebrating the Quality Day. I'm happy to be participating together with you. I understand there are seven organizations hosting it, so congratulations to all the seven for this excellent initiative. And uh, cut short in the next uh, 15 minutes or so, I hope to cover quickly on the TQM, which is my topic in manufacturing. The concept, as we know, I think all of you are experts in quality, is very elusive. Different people tend to interpret differently, and of course, uh, in the measurable time of terms, I mean, not many people are able to do that. People working in different industries will define quality a bit differently. So, as you can see, the bankers or the healthcare workers, even the hospitality, hotels, manufacturers, will typically uh, will talk about quality of the product. So when you define quality, I think all of you know normally these five things are there. I think uh, usually it's uh, conforming to specs and fitness to use. Depending on the service you are, so it can be psychological, it can be a supporting, or it can it can be value for money. You don't mind paying so much more because you see value in that, and that's quality to you. So TQM, if you may say, what does it mean? Uh, I think uh, what I have here. Is to say is typically a holistic approach of continuous improvement, and it helps to transform the organization because you progressively are making changes to many aspects, to people in terms of attitudes, the practices, what you have, the systems, the work systems, and the structure in the organization. You are really improving processes to ensure that customers are delighted, and in most cases, we adopt. Uh, Plan, do, check, act, cycle to do that. So, in um, in the summary for the TQM, uh, what we will say that it is an integration of all the functions and processes within the organization, so that you can achieve continuous improvement. It doesn't matter that you are in a manufacturing, even if you are in a public sector, in the ministry, or in the armed forces. It is it is the same whole approach of continuous improvement, so you can deliver more. The seven principles, I think, which all of you know, uh, I just just to very quickly tell you that quality can and must be managed. You cannot leave it to uh, natural and autopilot. It will not work like that. Processes and not people are the problem. So your processes must be correct so you can deliver what you have planned to deliver. And we should not treat symptoms and then try to fight fire about the symptom. We must look for the cure. Which will be lasting and will deliver what you want, and total employee involvement is very important if you want to have quality. And uh, quality must be measurable. What gets measured gets done, and what gets measured gets understood. So then you know what you need to do. And quality improvement must be a continuous thing because the requirement, the definition of quality, or the expectations all keep improving and changing. So we also must know that quality improvement is a continuous improvement process. It is a long-term investment. We have no choice because this is how we are to be in business, and this is how we want to service our customers so they are happy. I think we know that typically when we talk about seven basic tools or seven TQM tools, these are the seven which I think most of you might have used at least a few of it. But it helps to this if you use these tools effectively, 
uh, correctly the way it is uh, designed to help you analyze or use to, to get the outcomes will help you to solve maybe 95% of the qualitative problems. So the implementation of TQMS per se, uh, the key implementations can be invited into four groups. If we talk about the house here, first of all, you need to have the foundation. Integrity, very, very important. You must have the integrity, the ethics which you agree with, must follow the ethics, and you must trust. Trust is a very important element. Once you break the trust, you can never build it again. Many people don't understand that. They use trust for their own benefit, and then they have issues and challenges after that. Then the building break. Leadership, no excuse. They must be leading. People together, teamwork. As a team, you can deliver much more. And of course, continuous upskilling, training, reskilling is an ongoing thing because things change, requirements change, process have now incorporated technology. So how do you do that? And you need to continue to equip your people with the right competencies. And then the roof recognition, which is the motivation. You must keep people motivated. They want to continue to contribute and they want to continue to make sure that the customers remain happy and the business remain and continue to survive. And communication, which is the main thing I'll say, our biggest problem in many countries and places of businesses is short of communication or lack of communication. Communication is an ongoing thing. Many people take it for granted. I've already sent you one email. That's it. I've communicated to you. I've already told you one. I put it up on the notice board. That is not enough. There is no end to communication. It's an ongoing thing. And for success for TQM, communication is really important. Not only for your colleagues or your team, also out with your partners, suppliers, and of course, with your customers to understand their concerns. So TQM is a lot goes into delighting customer. Because in the process, you make your processes more robust, able to deliver what you want. And your responsiveness to continuous feedback is useful. So all feedback get considered and the relevant one get incorporated. And so this will bring about constant improvements uh, based on the feedback which you have received. Because feedback from stakeholders is really very important. You cannot go around and tell them, I know what I'm doing, I've, I've, I've learned this, I've done. That is not, you know. You must get feedback from your stakeholders, partners, employees, and their feedback must be based on these improvements. New know-hows can be incorporated. If they do not know, then communication get into the way, of, uh, get into play as to how you tell them. That's where employee engagement is important. The more engaged they are, the more motivated they'll be to contribute. And of course, then you need to take your daily work management practices into, into account because if you're a manufacturing sector, your workplace, your operations place, there are a lot of things which are happening there. So typically in the manufacturing, you will have uh, exactness, which is one of them. So you need to do a gap analysis so that you can work on it to eliminate these gaps. So you understand exactly where and what has been said and what the gap is all about. Next is a simplification. How do you simplify the process so people can understand? And then the work conditions can be improved. You can adopt best practices or you can even adapt your best practices. You can bring in modern tools which are introduced and proven to work. And of course, now with the uh, emphasis on digitalization and uh, transformation and the embracing of technology is very common. So when you bring this into the workplace, how do you build it in together? It's very important to take it into account because if you do not do that, then you may waste the whole uh, cost that you have paid for acquiring technology or the cost incurred in bringing on new modern tools or in fact, ineffective way of rolling out best practice is not going to be useful for you. So you mean, simplification is the best way. Then the standardization process. Here is, you need to have tools so you can make standardization easy. People can, uh, can actually apply it. In your operations, how do you do that? How do you lay out? So the sequence of your operations is understood, the different roles and the output and the quality levels, we have uh, different sub-processes is understood by everybody. The products, the product details, so people know and that this is the product details and if it's two, three different parts or even 10 different parts, the specific sub details can be put together into a product detail. 
Then the control plan, what do you have? So the control plans must be deployed, communicated, understood, and then people can work in that plan. Then the key points for performing work correctly, how is work done in department A, in section B, in department B, in section E, so and plus wherever the work needs to go through. So there are different points and how do you ensure that this is understood and correctly carried out? And visual management, I think we all know, we have the board, you know, where we have a shadow board or whatever other drawings on the wall. Because nowadays, I think many things uh, can be perhaps looked at the board and you can really uh, remind yourself if you have missed anything. Because many defects are due to human errors. Because you overlook something or you forget, you're in a hurry, whatever. So you need to develop a system or a process which gives visibility. So you people will tend to quickly remember, it will recollect. So it will prevent human errors. So we need to establish a method by which errors can be prevented proactively. If you work in the aerospace industry or you work in an industry, in electronic industry where accuracy is very important, so you'll find that there are many visual management approaches uh, to help people know or understand if there's an error happening. Uh, this is just a uh, continuous improvement. We think that it is very important for us to make sure that whatever inputs go to the processing element, we then work on it and then the outputs go there. So the feedback in terms of the quality, in terms of uh, whatever wastage, you know, all that get taken into account and goes back to understand where things was not done correctly. And opportunities can be identified. When the opportunity is identified, then you have teams, work teams who can work together to see what we need to do. Or if you are short of knowledge, you can get an expert to come and share with you how to do that. And in fact, you may even need to go back to the inputs area where the quality of the materials or the information accuracy or the people's competencies and skills or inadequate uh, perhaps uh, resources to help you to do the right thing is actually affecting your, uh, your, uh, I mean your output. So the continuous improvement cycle needs to be really put into place and it will help you to be better. So as a systems concept, so we know that from the inputs, whatever you need will be provided and then you work in a work system where transformation of that inputs into what is required and the output get taken into account. At the same time, this helps to ensure that you have the right levels of, of um, productivity because without productivity, an organization is not going to be effective. Productivity is key even today with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic situation. Uh, whatever you do, however you do, productivity still plays an important part in terms of whether people are being saved or people are really doing the right things. So the definition of productivity has to be defined. Then you at the end of the day, you have satisfied customers or certified stakeholders. It actually depends on what you're doing, and then we we'll, we'll do that. So as a system, you can find that uh, there are basically four things. One is you need to have a management of your process quality and also to engage people to get innovation on board. You need to make sure that your people are developed, they're engaged, and of course, where good work is recognized, and they see them themselves as growing and benefiting, and of course, they'll be happy. And then you must have a strategy quality planning process. In your ISO 9000, you've got quality objectives and, uh, to, and, your, and your strategic objectives and your policies also help you in your planning and your target. But that is not all. There's even a larger picture, which may not be perhaps captured in your ISO 9000, uh, perhaps uh, quality or um, objectives and strategies. So there may be a larger picture which you take into account, which may be long term, so you will take that into account. And of course, the information, basically your knowledge management. How do you manage knowledge? And how do you make sure the knowledge is really used effectively? So the senior leaders play a very important part to make sure the system is there, deployed, and working well. And this will help to bring about customer focus and also ensure that your, your customers are happy. At the same time, also to help you to make sure that quality is delivered and your operation results uh, actually will show whether how you are actually uh, 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 achieving all that. So normally we say that TQM is so simple and so straightforward. 
Uh, for so many years, uh, TQ has been around. I remember in my Air Force days and Air Singapore Technologies days, we used to have TQM and we have a QMS, but still we have reasons sometimes why TQM efforts will fail. First is a lack of top management support and commitment. They mean that the top management somehow or other uh, sometimes do not actively get involved to see what has been planned and endorse it and ensure the right resources have been made available and give time to do review to look at the outcomes, perhaps uh, kind of you know, periodically. Lack of imbued quality culture. The culture of an organization is a very important pillar. And even today, we will find that many organizations are unable to articulate what is their organization culture. And in the organization culture, there will be an element of quality. And quality is built inside there. So how do you imbue? How do you make that part of your day-to-day -day, uh, way of working? Uh, your desired behaviors are evident uh, from the kind of culture that you have in place. Of course, then the next is the over or under reliance of SPG or poor usage of the QC tools. Sometimes um, some people will somehow or other they get carried away by SPC, but that may not be an effective uh, process for them for that work that they're doing. Or there is SPC, they're trained, and you know uh, how to use it, but they don't use the SPC process to understand, to analyze, and whatnot. And also other QC tools. Yes, we talked about the seven basic QC tools. There are many organizations when, uh, I mean, I have a chance to assess so many organizations, we find that their, uh, their staff or their colleague, they say they use the QC tools, but then when we ask them, how do you use it, and how do you use that to analyze, and what kind of data is used, you'll find that there's not so, so correct, or not so robust. So it is a poor usage of the QC tools. These are some of the challenges we have. And of course, the absence of a structured approach. If you don't have a structured approach, uh, you do not know whether you actually balance way of actually trying to do something. A systems, a kind of a systemic way of doing something. So it's very important to have a structured approach and then every organization is different and how do we put all of that together so, so that we can actually deliver what the organization wants to deliver to its customers. Even with the ISO 9015, which is still there now, they find that in the different, if there's a, a high level structure and in the different uh, areas, there is focus where TQM comes in. Even for the leadership, in setting the direction, they have a part. Planning and setting of targets for quality also they have a part. You know? So uh, in item 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all this helps you to actually make sure that there's a systemic approach in doing it. Because even though ISO 9000 is a quality management system, QMS and TQM, I mean, the, uh, the principles of TQM and the principles of QMS, they're almost similar. Maybe one or two of them are slightly different with the focus because uh, QMS asks you to be more structured and complete, but the TQM uh, may not uh, really call for that, but it's good to have a structure. But these two of them are really uh, almost 90% uh, clear mirror of one another. So in the, if you use the ISO 9000, and I think in, uh, if I'm not wrong, Sri Lanka has about 90 uh, organizations which are 9,135 and about 100 over work sites which are actually. So these organizations can look at their, at, their, at their ISO 9000 quality management system and see how DQM can be embedded inside. So it become really like using one framework for both. Right. The other one is uh, as a holistic approach, we normally have three things that you need to do. We're talking about continuous improvement. So to assess, you can use your TQM tools. You can use the ISO 9000, or you can use the 9004, because that is the tool that talks about TQM approach, uh, maturity level one to five. And we can talk about good manufacturing practices standard to help you to see whether where you're not meeting the standards. And then you improve yourself, you can adopt best practices, you can have a quality improvement or productivity improvement tools that you may want to use. And you may have innovation where you unleash creativity of your colleagues to see what we can do. Uh, you can have project teams, you can have Kaizen teams, you can have Lean, Six Sigma. So all these are various approaches and tools of how you can do the improvement to the opportunity that was identified. And of course, to control it, your standards which you have set in your 9001 or the standards which are there in your GMP or your various other management system standards like 14,000, 45,000, and it depends on what the business you are, you're in food, you have a certain standard, you are in IT, you have another standard. So all these standards, uh, they, you can set your own standard uh, which you use to audit itself. 
And once you do that, it becomes like a, like a standard for your, or for your organization. But there is a foundation which must be there. The first thing is you must make sure that the organization context is clear, comprehensive, and understood. If not, then your whole assessment process or what you're trying to uh, do and approach doesn't support or the organization context do not include that. Then there is an issue or a challenge. When the auditors assess you, let's say for 9001, they have this challenge as how they're going to align what you think is important to you in your context and what you're actually doing. Then the more important thing is total leadership commitment. So you're going to decide the number one man, and the number two is number one and one downs all need to have a role and they must be committed. It's not just by verbally saying I support, but they must be involved in either chairing meeting, providing direction, uh, well, perhaps doing uh, the assessment, maybe the audits, no? to, be, uh, to show that they are actually involved. So in conclusion, if I may say that TQM in manufacturing, if done right, there are three magic pills to deliver quality products, to achieve customer delight, for continuous improvement and to enhance productivity and innovate with effective TQM implementation. First, it's a hands-on leadership. And you must, be, you must embrace the TQM principles, very, very important. So you look at the seven principles, we are there, you can add your own one more, or you can find some of the principles may not be too important for you, you decide. But the seven principles are there to help you. And of course, you need to engage your customers to understand their expectations, their needs, or perhaps their, their, their wish, so you can understand whether you're able to meet their wish or their needs. Their and then your employees want to contribute. How do you engage them, help them unleash their creativity, help them to feel a sense of ownership, to want to contribute more? And suppliers who are very important to your supply chain in the whole ecosystem, how do you engage them to understand their challenges, how do you train them, how do you equip them to make sure that their, their, uh, I mean, their input in quality helps you, supports you. And so that end of the day, the whole, uh, all the parties involved are engaged. So you become uh, really above the situation so you can find the answer very quickly. And thirdly, this will help to bring about robust processes. Processes are there to help you to get an outcome or to deliver something. But you need to review where you are missing the opportunity or where you're possibly uh, unable to perhaps uh, deliver to the performance expected and where is the opportunity. And this can be done by continually reviewing and also having clear measures, process measures, quality standard measures, outcome measures. So when these are there, so you're actually able to measure and get the outcomes correctly. So with that, I must say that thank you, Anwar, and wishing everybody in Nepal the very best in quality and your TQM journey. Thank you. Thank you, Anixa, for your valuable time, presence, and this eye-opening presentation on quality management. I would like to thank you for your present eye-opening presentation. That was a very good presentation indeed. Now, for the next presentation, next presentation about uh, is about the quality assurance in nursing education, and this will be presented by Miss Menuka Bandari. She is campus chief of Biratnagar Biratnagar Nursing Campus, and she will be discussing about quality assurance in nursing education. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, you each talk Sir, 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 Province number one, my state, Biratnagar state, Biratnagar nursing campus, so, and you can campus, or your campus from the group, my career, sir. Yes, character, my Malay quality and risk, my research group, my honor, Gornu, my Goma, Yala, Tony, but the Miracle presentation, Sulu Gana Chancho. A nurse is one who opens the eyes of a new one and gently closes the eyes of the man 
dying man. It is indeed a high blessing to be first and last witness, the beginning and the end of life. Save one life, you are a hero. Save a hundred life, you are a nurse. Now I'm moving toward the introduction. Nursing is the most valued public service oriented profession. The quality of nursing education and for future of nurse remains a growing concern with the international standard in Nepal. The perspective of nursing education educationist reveals the scholastic, academic, and practical side to understanding the advancement in nursing education. Nepal has been running nursing education in the government as well as in private sectors throughout the country. Institutions responsible for nursing program in Nepal are Tribune University Institute of Medicine, Kathmandu University, BP Koirala Institute of Health Science Dharan, Urbanchal University, Pokhara University, National Academy of Medical Sciences, Patan Academy of Health Sciences, and Karnali Academy of Health Sciences. Planning to start. Uh, what is the quality assurance in education? Quality assurance involves the systematic review of educational provision to maintain and improve its quality, equity, and efficiency. It encompasses school self-evaluation, external evaluation, the evaluation of teachers and school leaders, and the student assessment. Quality assurance is one of the key educational issues. The process of self-evaluation is one of the most important tools to ensure and promote the quality in education. The main objective of the self-evaluation project is a systematic and continuous monitoring and improvement of the quality of educational institutions. Now, why do higher education institutions need quality assurance? To meet statutory requirements, to satisfy professional obligations, to meet stakeholders' expectations, to get internal and external confidence, to meet the accountability for the development. Why quality is important in nursing education? All over the world, nurses represent the largest group of health professionals. They are constantly in touch with all the hospital staff. They stay longest with the patient performing dependent, interdependent, and independent function. Nursing education is directly related to the public health well-being. Increase, now, increase in public awareness, nurses have to remain updated. Nurses has to work in complex system. So in order to deal with the complexity, expectation of the different field, quality education is most. Nursing, a human caring profession, is a complex, complicated, coordinated process of interpersonal interactions, individual, staff relationship and group, cultural, political, social, community connection that must ensure the quality assurance to their service recipient. In Nepal, Nepal Nursing Council is a governing body for ensuring the quality in nursing education and practice in Nepal. And University Grant Commission, UGC, provides the QA certificate to the campus who meet the criteria of quality component. Now I'm going to discuss about how the quality can be ensured in nursing profession and nursing education, ways of maintaining quality in nursing education. Uh, here I am discussing some point I feel. Uh, national quality assurance system in higher education. There should be organizational policy. There should be the provision of training opportunities for the teachers, transformational leadership, professionalism among the nurses, continuous revision of curriculum as per the demand of the society, more reliance on technology, preparation of the global nurses, transnational acceptance, promising career, increasing opportunities for higher studies, enhances student status, research and innovation, and continue monitoring and evaluation system. Regarding the national quality assurance system in higher education, national coordination by an independent center and agency, internal evaluation resulting in self-assessment reports, intermittent evaluation by external experts partially based on establishment of self-assessment findings, publication of evaluation outcomes, including recommendations for improvement, implementation of the recommendations, and assessment of the appropriateness and effectiveness of the quality assurance methods and procedures. Regarding the organization policy, this involves quality of leadership, institutional philosophy, mission statement, vision statement, goal, objectives, management structure, 
relationship with staff, financial management, staff development policy, public relation and publicity, equal opportunities policies as well as other quality assurance systems such as maintenance of safety and risk, at risk management where practicum are carried out. Regarding the training opportunities for teachers, there should be the provision of adequate training for the teachers in Nepal. In Nepal TITI and CTBD carries training for teachers for the faculties teaching in technical education and continuous professional development opportunities should be provided. Uh, TUIM provides some of this uh, CDP program for the teachers. Pre-service and in-service education opportunities should be provided. Upliftment of the teachers for higher ed education opportunities by university and institution. There should be adequate job opportunities. Nursing is highly labor incentive profession, so there should be adequate job opportunities with attractive salary and facilities. Need of transformational leadership. Leadership grasps the input to renovate the nursing society and transformational leadership is a noble leadership paradigm that includes the sensitive and touching character of people by placing importance on interpersonal relations. The leadership of Nepal Nursing Associations and Nepal Nursing Council can, can play main role in pressuring, pressurizing policy makers and planners in intensification, superiority and treatment perspective of developing nursing education in Nepal. Need of professionalism among nurses. In every profession, there should be the professionalism for the development of the profession. Similarly, in nursing, professional nursing practice is a devotion to empathy, compassionate care, and well built moral ideals, consistent progression of the identity of the self and others, responsibility and accountability for the perceptive performance, indicative of strength of teamwork and limberness. Professionalism means that all nurses care for everyone similarly and do their finest to guarantee that the utmost quality care is being given. This consists of the commitment to ideology of impartiality, truthfulness, respect, and reliability. Professionalism means strong nursing leadership, recognition and respect, professional networking, supporting management, and continuing professional development. Now, regarding the curriculum change, everything is changeable. Society is dynamic, so flexibility in curriculum designed to facilitate the diversity of education opportunities has involved. It is often competent based focus on the outcome and emphasis student participation and responsibility for learning. And it should be changed according to the changing need of the society and changing need of the learner also. Innovation in teaching and learning. A lot of innovations are taking place in the areas of teaching and learning. These innovations lead to intellectual development, personal development, and career development. The teacher must communicate enthusiasm, drawing upon scholarship research and professional activity to support the student in developing their academic skills. More reliance on technology. Technology exerts greater influence on nursing education as a tool for teaching and learning. Judicious use of educational psychology in the development and practice of education technology has increased its user-friendly nature considerably. Educational quality assurance, it is high time to prepare a quality index of nursing institutions all over the country by categorizing them into different grades based on infrastructure and faculty profile. Emphasis on high-tech, high-touch approach. Present-day nursing education is preparing students maintain the human element of nursing while carrying the patient with the high help of with the help of sophisticated gadgets. Preparation of the global nurses. Globalization will continue to impact in the so economic, political, and social aspect of life. Nursing education in all see to on benefit created by globalization and liberalization by way of preparing global nurses. Many institutions are preparing students with a global perspective through providing learning experiences to enrich students' knowledge in English along with the attainment of the other objectives. Increase opportunities for higher studies. Different from the past, many institutions are offering programs such as PG, BSc Nursing, MSc Nursing, MPhil, PhD, where eligible candidates can easily pursue higher education without much time lag. Research and innovation. This is the mandatory in quality in nursing education. The nursing profession has devoted great effort to developing the unique specialized body of knowledge using delivery of the healthcare client, which is essential for fostering a sense of commitment and accountability. Provides, it provides the basis for professionalism. 
research and innovation helping to improve the standard in nursing education, discovering new measures for nursing practice and enhance decision making and improve nursing administration. And there should also be the provision of continuous evaluation. The staff member must be appointed after a thorough process of evaluation of their qualification and past experience at work. The institution must ensure that also that an annual appraisal of each member of its staff is performed for development and formative process purposes. It is also important for the institutions to provide staff development opportunities so as to maintain the quality of services. And there are eight criteria for quality assurance and accreditation of the institute according to the university grant commission. Uh, criteria and policy and procedure, criteria to curricular aspect, criteria three, teaching, learning and evaluation, criteria four, research consultancy and extension, criteria five, infrastructure and learning resources, criteria six, student support and guidance, and criteria seven and eight, information system and public information. And I want to provide suggestions some recommendations for the institute in Nepal, nursing institute. There should be three level of quality assessment in the area of input, process, and outcome. The way things should be done according to some administrative criteria, guidelines, or protocol. Outcomes should be assessed for the quality and quantity. There should be strong internal evaluation system, peer evaluation system, and quality assurance system on nursing education. There should be health professional education or medical educationist in nursing council. There should be nursing education department in every college or institution to facilitate quality education based on innovative process. Government should develop appropriate policies, strategies, and criteria for standard legislation and regulation in relation to provide sector involvement, private sector involvement. Should promote research on the impact of public-private partnership on academic program in the health institution. There should be study regarding the ratio of demand and supply of different level of nursing manpower. There should be policy decision as regards opening of the new educational institutions and this be taken only after examining its needs and feasibility. Accreditation should examine the strength and weakness of the curriculum proce processes right from the vision, mission, goal and entry criteria of educational methodology and assessment system to general administration. All faculties must be trained in teaching and should have teaching skills. There should be increased sanction post according to the need of the country. There should be close coordination between different council to facilitate rather than control. Social accountability of private institutions should be maintained. There should be practice of evidence-based practice. A revision of curriculum according to the feedback should close progress assessment during program and there is high time to advocate with policy makers on the role of nursing council in accreditation to include additional role in regulations uh, despite all quality things there are some issues uh, there are some challenges in uh, nursing professionalism in, in nepal uh, number one more production and less utilization Number two, frustration, stress, and exploitation. This is too much in the present context. In COVID situation, there is also discrimination in nursing professionalism. Migration of nurses, nursing shortage, patient satisfaction is questionable, transcultural nursing, information is globalization, legal is issues in nursing, terrorism, bioterrorism, disaster in nursing, and evidence-based practice. Thank you very much. Maile ekura like Nepali ma pani elaborate song sangi gorula banana thiyo. Tera hamro yaha raigo group malai pakti pani quality ma bishwas karne group ra quality bhako group bhako karan lega ta kiri mere presentation sa understanding level ko ekhujo so laksa malai kiti further explanation gorna na paun da thore dissatisfaction raigsa. Ma ante ma kiy banana chance bani yo quality and risk Nepal purva dekhi pashim sama jana isa. Bibinna chhetra ka manuva verga ya upasit sa. Ra aile ko context ma Nepal ma nursing ko status aji bine apni tona sagya sai na. Ra jab sama social awareness, social relevance ho dai na, tab sama professionalism develop ho dai na banne mania ta sa. Ra yaha upasit sampoona adaniya bhakti to arlay nursing professionalism Nepal ma apni tma inga na kalagi ek jo thau. Ra aile ko bishan paristhiti ma nurse arlay. कम से कम हर एक क्षेत्र बड़ा इनकरेजमेंट को वर्ड्स प्रोवाइड करूं वहाँ लाई इनकरेज करूं क्या मार अब विदेशी नर्स है लाई प्रमोशन आई मी बॉडी गर्स वाले नेपाल के नर्स है लाई एक बार तो प्रमोशन कर रहे हैं ना नेपाल में कत्ती को क्वालिटी नर्सिंग शिवा पाइंस हो बंदे यहाँ लाई यो कार्यक्रम में सब ये रब भव्य रूप में सफलता को काम ना कर दे मो आपनों दूसरी सब दिया ही तुम यहाँ सुरे यहाँ लाई धन्यवाद दे रहे मम्मी डांस वास धन्यवाद नमस्कार
धन्यवाद मैम फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल प्रेजेंटेशन अबाउट नर्सिंग एजुकेशन इन क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस इन नर्सिंग एजुकेशन अब हमी मेनका मैम को कुरा सुंदा सुंद अवटा बहुप्रसिद्ध मंदिर में आईपुग प्रदेश दुई को बहुप्रसिद्ध मंदिर प्रदेश दुई को बहुप्रसिद्ध मंदिर कंकालिनी मंदिर में हम आईपुग कंकालिनी मंदिर कंकालिनी मंदिर प्रदेश नंबर दुई को बहुप्रसिद्ध मंदिर हो रो मंदिर चाह महेन्द्र राजमाग को वारी रारी पर्ने बारदह भाव में पर्द रो महेन्द्र राजमाग महेन्द्र राजमाग एकदम छिट्ट एकदम छिट्ट देखिने मंदिर रह रो पांच तले पांच तले मंदिर महेन्द्र राजमाग हो जाने हर एक व्यक्ति ने सजील नोटिस कर सकू यो मंदिर में जान को लगी चाह राजविराज राजविराज बट उत्तर पूर्व सत्तर किलोमीटर को भ्रमण पश्चात हमी इस मंदिर में पुग्न सकस रोशी बट पांच किलोमीटर जी पश्चिम लगे हमी इस मंदिर में प्रवेश कर सकस मंदिर हिंदू धर्मावलंबी को लगी र दुर्गा को दुर्गा दुर्गा को अवतार को रूप में यह मंदिर स्थापना भे हुना यो मंदिर हिंदू धर्मावलंबी एकदम धर आस्था का रूप में हेने गे मंदिर हो धन्यवाद अब अब को क्रम में हमीसंग लोटस एकेडेमी जितपुर सीमरा दुई बाह का विद्यार्थी वहाँ एसक्यूसिव प्रेजेन्टेशन कर रहा को एसक्यूसिव प्रेजेन्टेशन को टपिक मस फोबिया रहने वहाँ हो रशिका श्रेष्ठ रूपम शर्मा कृति तिवारी रिजल राकल द फ्लोर इज योर्स थैंक यू सर आई होप एवरी वन इज लिस्निंग दिस हजू सर सुन यू मे कंटिन्ू हमी से लोटस एकेडेमी सिमरा बारा बट दुई नंबर प्रदेश बड़ प्रतिनिधित्व करते एट सान केस स्टडी प्रेजेंटेशन छोड़ केस स्टडी सर स्क्रीन सेयर ओके सर अब से मो फ्लोर स्टूडेंट दीदु लुरू हाई तर नमस्ते एंड गुड आफ्टरनून जी ऑल वी आर द ट्रांसफॉर्मर हु कैन कंप्लीटली चेंज समबडी और समथिंग फ्रॉम नोडस एकेडमी जितपुर सिमरा टू बारा हियर इज आवर सर्कल इंफॉर्मेशन द नेम ऑफ आवर सर्कल इज द ट्रांसफॉर्मर एंड द डेट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन इज 13 बैसाख 2076 द लीडर ऑफ दिस ग्रुप इज श्रीनाथ थापा मगर डेप्युटी लीडर नेहा राम एंड सेक्रेटरी ऋषिका जी एंड अदर मेंबर्स लाइक Sujit Rakal, Kriti Tiwari, Rupam Sharma. Uh, we completed our case study presentation through the help of our facilitator, uh, Rosa Dahal, SQC coordinator, Pooja Devkota, and our uh, principal, uh, Mr. Ram Prasad Adhikari. To make our case study effective, we use various tools like milestone chart, check sheet, bar diagram, pointer diagram, pie chart, Isikawa diagram, etc. Various works were done on various days, and some of the important days are shown in the slide. Two important days we made milestone chart, which you can easily see on the slide. After milestone, we went in brainstorming session in which we listed the problems of our school, and they are absence of morality, improper use of dustbin, high expectation from teachers, mass dressing phobia, lack of discipline, etc. After collecting the problems, we again did brainstorm to stratify the problems under heading A, B, C. Where A important and can be solved by ourselves, B important and can be solved with the help of others, and C less important and cannot be solved by us. A lack of participation in C and C C A, mass dressing phobia, lack of English speaking environment, etc. B use of junk food, unwanted fashion, absence of morality, high expectation from teachers, etc. And C media craze, electronic gadgets, addiction to internet, etc. Analyzing the problems and brainstorming among the members, 
We shortlisted the major problems and they are mass reduction phobia, late commerce, copying homework, bullying, etc. After shortlisted the major problems, we did peer ranking among the SQC members to find out the major problem, which you can easily see on the slide. And the results of peer ranking is also shown in the composite table as well as graph. So from this, we got mass reducing phobia as a major problem of our school. Some character of our problems that we found are mentioned below as swearing, shivering, looking upside or down, repeating words again and again, frequently sobbing, etc. For character observation, we did observation on some strengths. The data which we got are tabulated below as check sheet as well as bar diagram. So the definition of our problem is mass audience phobia means the inability of the person to express their views, ideas, opinions, information in front of mass. When the people start swearing, uh, looking up and down, swearing, repeating words again and again, hesitation, faint, can't make loud voice in front of mass, then we can conclude that he or she is facing from mass addiction phobia. For the overall development of the strengths, career, mass addiction phobia play a vital role. So it's a, a major problem which has to be solved at cost. Data which we obtained is shown as pie chart. From the Ebu pie chart, we can see that out of 241 strains, 162 strains are feeling mass addressing phobia, whereas only 79 strains feel mass addressing phobia. After initial observation, we again did brainstorming among the SQC members and observed the present uh, situation of our school instead of the target. Therefore, we set the target to reduce our problem from 80, 162 strains to 182. So we made a scout diagram on mass addressing phobia. Parents, strains, teachers comes under main lack of counseling, lack of CSC comes under school management. We were in use noise environment, comes under lack of increase in education, we are patient in business, lack of motivation, comes under patient. Wait, A important can be solved by ourselves. B important and can be solved with the help of others. And C less important and cannot be solved by us. After finding the primary causes, we seek our diagram. We, the SQC member, try to find out the root cause of our problem by doing Y analysis here. School, why lack of efficiency here? Why lack of participation? Why no interest? Why no rewards? Similarly, lack of confidence. Why? For being insulted. Why? Negative thinking. Why? Lack of encouragement. Similarly, teachers. Why? Teachers ignorance. Why? Lack of active participation. Why? Lack of practice. Similarly, strength. Why? Lack of seriousness. Why? Poor academic knowledge. Why? Negligence. Why? Lack of motivation. Similarly, again, students. Why? Lack of interest. Why? Hesitation. Why? Bullying. Why? Lack of awareness. After analyzing the primary causes through our analysis, we obtained the following root causes and they are no reward, lack of encouragement, lack of practice, lack of motivation, and lack of income. Awareness. Thank you, Dew, for my friend Rupam. Thank you, my friend Jessica. After finding major root cause with the SQC member, again went among the student of level 6 to 10 to find out our main root cause through voting, and the votes are shown in the form of check sheet. After after check sheet, we prepared Pareto matrix and with the help of Pareto matrix, we prepared Pareto diagram that you can clearly see in this slide. After, although we have get, got many root cause, but with the help of Pareto diagram, we have selected only three causes to tackle and they are lack of practice, lack of encouragement and lack of motivation. Then we tried to find out the solution of our major problem in order to solve it and some of the solutions that we found are visiting classes to motivate students, encouraging them to conduct a school assembly, conducting various essays, program like debate and speech, singing and dancing, showing various motivational video clips. After that, part of the one is start where part of mean what, why, what, where, when, and one is mean how. Therefore, part of the one is for motivating a student. What? Visiting classes to motivate a student. Why? To motivate the student. Who's a student? Where? In school as 
in this every secondary level class when during the school how by visiting every secondary level classes and encourage them to participate in asia and sisa program after that what do we want to talk for conducting debate and sisa program program that we can clearly see in the slide after that what do we want to talk for encouraging students that you can also clearly see in the slide after that fat on one a chart for conducting singing and dancing program that you can clearly see in this slide at us fat on one a chart for showing showing video clips that you can also clearly see in this slide thank you dear from my friend kriti thank you my friend rupam after the fat on one a chart we have done some phases phase 1 motivating is there We are busy to every secondary level classes and motivate students. Phase two by conducting singing program. Phase three by conducting debate program. Phase four by conducting speech program. Phase five by conducting dance program. Phase six by showing motivational video clip. After some uh, phases, we have done control chart, which you can see in the. You see clearly in slide. Uh, the data which we got after final observation are mentioned is a bar diagram with its nature of mass exercise phobia, which you can see clearly in slide. Status of mass exercise phobia in our school after implementation is yes, eighty five, no, one fifty six. From the bar diagram, we can conclude that the problem of mass exercise phobia in our school has been reduced from its initial level. In spite of our tremendous work, we cannot able to achieve our target. This is because of carelessness of practicing student and lack of time. Thank you. Due to my friend. Thank you, my friend Sriji. After our implementation phase, we prepare our PDC cycle, which was to plan, do, check, and act. Where our plan is to motivate the students, to encourage the student, to make the student active, do conducting various programs, showing different video clips, check observation, act, encouraging student, regular check and monitoring, working for the future. While doing our case study, we as QC member have to face so many problems such as lack of cooperation from students, lack of support. From uh, I hope I am audible. Yes, sir, you are. Good morning, everyone. As I say, I am in my field, pharmaceutical sector. I am doing a lot of work. I am doing a lot of work. अब विभिन्न टपिक आज अब इंप्रुवमेंट इन फार्मास्युटिकल इंडस्ट्री थ्रो एम क्यूएमएस ईएमएस को अब क्यों टपिक आए भादा अब फार्मास्युटिकल्स जीएमपी गुड मेनुफैक्चरिंग प्क्टिसेस गवर्न करने हो हम आईएसओ या अर ईएमएस क्यूएमएस को कति को रोल होने अलग थोड़े टाइम भी हम लेट पड़ रहा हर एक में तेरे मोड़े डिस्कसन कर अब फार्मास्युटिकल इंडस्ट्री सब क्षेत्र बड़ यहाँ हो साथी ते भर थोड़े डिस्कसन करते जाऊ अब फार्मास्युटिकल इंडस्ट्री से अब डिस्कवर कर सकता डेवलप कर बना मार्केट कर ड्रग अब बिरामी क्योर कर भैक्सिनेट कर अब डिफ्रेंट सीमटम्स क्योर कर अब या जेनेरिक मेडिसिन में डील करने ब्रांड में डील कर मेडिकल डिवाइसेस में डील कर सकता संगे ये एकदम क्रिटिकल फील्ड भारत कारण धेरे नेशनल र इंटरनेशनल लज रेगुलेसन जल्ले पैटेंटिंग टेस्टिंग सेफ्टी इपिकेसी एंड मार्केटिंग अफ ड्रग्स में गवन कर थोड़े डोजेस फॉर्म को बारे में भू अब डिपेन्डिंग अन मेथड अफ रूट अफ एडमिनीस्ट्रेशन भाई हमें कसरी प्रदान कर ड्रग कसरी हमीर दी भूरा में डोजेस फॉर्म डिफ्रेंट टाइप्स को होना सकता अब कमन ग्रुप में लार्जर ग्रुप में कुरा करने मैं लिक्विड सोलिड सेमी सोलिड डोजेस फॉर्म होने अब हमें बुझने सब ब्रेकडाउन करने सब देखा टैब्लेट सोलूसन सीरप सस्पेन्सन कैप्सूल ओइंटमेंट लोसन जेल पाउडर ड्रप्स इंजेक्शन ये सब हम डोजेस फॉर्म में पढ़ना जो अब 
क्वालिटी अफ मेडिसिन को भेरियस डेफिनेसन धेरे एस्पेक्ट हु क्वालिटी को इसको एकदम कमन दुईटा कुछ बुझने हो इफेक्टिव रेफ एवं कुछ अब हम भाई औषधि खाए भी छुन पे छोयो इट्स गुड भाई ठीक होने पे और संगे सेफ भी होने पे हम जब औषधि खाँच काम तो कर पर्यटन तर हम बडी या हमें हानि भी करेन दुईटा कुछ अब प्रेजेंट तो कंज्युमर पर्सपेक्टिव में दु तीनवे कुछ आस्तों की अब हमें औषधि ली सके कई कारण लिया बिरामी और ठीक होने कुछ होगा बिरामी छीक होते डिसेबिलिटी में बस्ना इसमें बांस पर्ने सहज कर जो हम सीस्टम में हमें सहयोग भंज्युमर पर्सपेक्टिव होना सकता अब रेगुलेटर्स मैं यहाँ रेगुलेटर्स को जानकारी जस्ट दिन चाहूँ क्योंकि अब वर्ल्ड हेल्थ अर्गनाइजेशन डब्ल्यूएचओ डिपर्टमेंट अफ ड्रग एडमिनीस्ट्रेशन डीडीए जो हम मिनीस्ट्री अफ हेल्थ एंड पपुलेसन अंतर्गत छो अब नेशनल मेडिसिन लैबोरेटरी हेल्थ रिसर्च काउंसिल इनपाली मेडिकल फैक्ट्री या मेडिसिन फील्ड में रेगुलेटर होने जैसे यूएसए को फूड एंड ड्रग एडमिनीस्ट्रेशन यूके को मेडिसिन हेल्थ प्रोडक्ट रेगुलेटरी एजेंसी एमएचआरए अस्ट्रेलिया को थेरापी गुड एडमिनीस्ट्रेशन इंडिया को सेंट्रल बक स्टैंडर्डिस कंपनी को वेरियस कंट्री को रेगुलेटर्स थोड़े डिपर्टमेंट कसरी रन इंडस्ट्री भादा फिर हम सब क्वालिटी एसुरेन्स डिपर्टमेंट होर हाउस हो क्वालिटी कंट्रोल प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट क्वालिटी एसुरेन्स ने क्वालिटी संबंधी सब डकुमेंटेशन देखि लेकर मोनिटरिंग देखि लेकर प्रिपरेशन को काम करेयर हाउस के मेटेरियल लिने सामान को क्वालिटी कंट्रोल हर एक टेस्टिंग पानी देखि लेकर र मेटेरियल देखि लेकर स्टार्टिंग मेटेरियल को टेस्टिंग कर प्रोडक्शन ने मेनुफैक्चरिंग इंजीनियरिंग ने सब यूटिलिटीज में सहयोग रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट या फर्मुलेसन डेवलपमेंट डिपर्टमेंट के कस्तों ड्रग बनाने के बनाने कुछ सहयोग अब थोड़े प्रोसेस थ्रो हे हाल मार्केट स्टडी भो प्लांग गयो र मेटेरियल पैकेजिंग मेटेरियल को अर्डर भो र मेटेरियल पैकेजिंग मेटेरियल रिसीव भो सैंपलिंग भो इस एनालाइसि भो अब र मेटेरियल पैकेजिंग मेटेरियल रिलीज भी होगा रिजेक्ट भी होगा डिस्पेन्सिंग जी जो औषधि बना जे ड्रग जे सब सब्सटेन्सेस चाहिए डिस्पेन्सिंग हो मेनुफैक्चरिंग बीच में इन प्रोसेस क्वालिटी कंट्रोल आँच यहाँ होने को हमें धेरे पर्सपेक्टिव चेक करते जानू पर्ने फाइनल प्रोडक्ट चाहे क्वालिटी को आयो कि आएन पैकेजिंग होनी फिर फि फिनीस प्रोडक्ट लाइनल प्रोडक्ट टेस्टिंग हो डकुमेंटर सीपी सब रिव्यू होनी फिर रिलीज फर सेल्स एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन जान जैसे अब गाइडलाइंस कौन कौन हमीर मोनिटर कर डब्ल्यूएचओ को टीआरएस नाइन एटी सिक्स गुड मेनुफैक्चरिंग प्क्टिस डिस्क्राइब कर डकुमेंट हो तस्ते एफडीए को करेन्ट गुड मेनुफैक्चरिंग प्क्टिस रेगुलेसन जैसे आईसिएस गाइडलाइन छि हम को डीडीए ने औषधि व्यवस्था विभाग ने निले औषधि उत्पादन कुशल अभ्यास संहिता दुई हजार बहत्तर वाले गवन कर अब जीएमपी रईसो को जीएमपी बड़ा स्टार्ट करो अब यो के अब यो सिस्टम हो जो अब तो कुछ भी प्रोडक्ट कंसिस्टेंटली सेम क्वालिटी को आँच रेफ रिफिक इफिशियसी प्रोडक्ट आँच इफेक्टिव भक्त प्रोडक्ट आँच भूरा गाइड करना हेल्प करना डिफ्रेंट कंट्री जीएमपी को अब इस मेनली के अब सब प्रोडक्ट लाइनल टेस्ट करें मत क्वालिटी को भन्न सक तो जो फाइनल टेस्ट करूंदा अगड़ी या अरु रिस्क जो रिस्क मिनीमाइज करना जीएमपी ने धेरे हेल्प कर जल्ले फाइनल प्रोडक्ट राम आँच और बीच में इन्वर्ड के रिस्क जो तो मिनीमाइज या मिटिगेट या एलिमिनेट होना जान अब पोअर क्वालिटी मेडिसिन फिर कस्त हो तो हेल्थ हेजार्ड मात्र न भैकन गवर्नमेंट हम इंडिविजुअल कंज्युमर सब को पैसा को बर्बादी होना जान एटा कुछ जीएमपी को जो चाहे कंप रेगुलेटरी को मैंडेटरी नहीं हो हर एक कंट्री को एफडीए को जो रेगुलेसन हो फोर्स अफ लून ने नहीं लगा भर तो मैंडेटरी होसओ को आईएसओ वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट डेवलपर अफ भोलेंट्री इंटरनेशनल स्टैंडर्ड्स है डिफ्रेंट कंट्री को स्टैंडर्ड बडिज स्टैंडर्ड बन ये जेनेरिक टाइप को स्टैंडर्ड आसमें जल्ले सब अर्गनाइजेशन होने खाले स्टैंडर्ड बना अब हेल्थ केयर सर्विसेस में नहीं लागू होने धेर स्टैंडर्ड आईएसओ का हम चाहिए अः क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट सीस्टम क्यूएमएस नाइन थाउजेंड वन फैमिली और ईएमएस फोर्टीन थाउजेंड वन फैमिली को थोड़े 
एलआईजीएमपी कसरी गर्न सकिन्छ या गर्दा के हुन्छ भन्ने कुरा थोरै डिस्कसन गर्ने छौ अब एउटा कुरा चाहिँ के हो भने जीएमपी चाहिँ किन मोर मोर डेप्थ छ भने त्यो चाहिँ मेडिसिन फ्याक्ट्री को लागि नै या मेडिसिन को लागि नै स्पेशली फार्मास्युटिकल म्यानुफ्याक्चरिङ को लागि नै लेखेको भएको कारणले गर्दा जीएमपी त्यसरी जान्छ अनि फेरि सिन्स नेशनल एन्ड इन्टरनेशनल जीएमपी गाइडलाइन्स आर म्यान्डेटरी फार्मास्युटिकल वन थिङ फर स्योर दैट क्यूएमएस ईएमएस ले चाहिँ राम्रो कम्प्लिमेन्ट गर्न सक्छ आई आईएसओ ले चाहिँ या क्यूएमएस ईएमएस ले चाहिँ राम्ररी कम्प्लिमेन्ट गर्न सक्छ जीएमए जीएमपी गाइडलाइन्स हरु लागि झन् राम्रो बनाउनको लागि अब आईएसओ 9000 एट दैन के हो भने यसले चाहिँ होल अर्गनाइजेसन होल बिजनेस लाई चाहिँ कसरी राइट पाथमा लैजाने कसरी क्वालिटी गर्ने देखि लिएर डिफरेंट एस्पेक्टहरु कभर गरेको हुन्छ प्रोडक्शन जीएमपी चाहिँ धेरै प्रोडक्शन क्वालिटी कन्ट्रोलमा फोकस गर्छ विथ अदर एलिमेन्ट्स टु तर आईएसओ ले पनि एउटा होलसम डिपार्टमेन्ट होलसम अर्गनाइजेसन लाई चाहिँ कभर गर्ने गरेको छ अब अब आईएस जीएमपी चाहिँ आई आईएस इज स्ट्रंगर देन जीएमपी इन द एरियाज अफ लाइक टप म्यानेजमेन्ट रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटीज फर द क्वालिटी सिस्टम भनेको क्वालिटी को मा कस्तो कमिटमेन्ट छ कन्टिन्यू इम्प्रुभमेन्ट अल प्रोसेस एन्ड फोकस अन अल कस्टमर बोथ इन्टरनल एन्ड एक्सटर्नल कस्टमर यो कस्टमर सेटिस्फ्याक्सन कस्टमर कम्युनिकेसनहरुमा चाहिँ आईएसओ अलिकति स्ट्रंगली बोलेको देखिन्छ अब यस्तो हेर्नु भने आईएसओ लाई जीएमपी सँगै यदि हामीले लिंक गरेर हेर्ने हो भने चाहिँ के देखिन्छ भने यसले चाहिँ झन् क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट त बनाउँछ नि झन् इम्प्रुभमेन्ट र इम्प्रुभ गर्नुलाई हेल्प गर्छ अब यो टपिकहरू हेर्नुहुन्छ भने क्युएमएस को क्वालिटी म्यानुअल म्यानेजमेन्ट कमिटमेन्ट कस्टमर फोकस क्वालिटी पोलिसी प्लानिङ इन्टरनल कम्युनिकेसन म्यानेजमेन्ट रिभ्यू कस्टमर कम्युनिकेसन कस्टमर सेटिस्फ्याक्सन कन्टिन्यू इम्प्रुभमेन्ट यिनीहरू चाहिँ देखिँदैन उसमा जीएमपीमा लेखेको त्यस्तै इएमएस को पार्टमा इन्भाइरोमेन्टल पोलिसी इन्भाइरोमेन्टल अब्जेक्टिभ इन्भाइरोमेन्टल एस्पेक्ट इन्भाइरोमेन्ट इम्प्याक्टहरू पनि देखिँदैन त्यस्तै अब त्यही भएर त्यो माथि लिस्टमा हामी हेर्न सक्छौँ कि म्यानेजमेन्ट कमिटमेन्ट टुवर्ड्स क्वालिटी डकुमेन्ट्स लाइक क्वालिटी म्यानुअल क्वालिटी पोलिसी इन्टरनल कम्युनिकेसन कस्टमर कम्युनिकेसन एन्ड सेटिस्फ्याक्सन इन्भाइरोमेन्टल पोलिसी अब्जेक्टिभको कुराहरू पिडिसी साइकलको एप्रोचहरू कन्टिन्युस इम्प्रुभमेन्टको एप्रोचहरू चाहिँ क्युएमएस युएमएसमा चाहिँ राम्ररी र एक्सप्लेन गरेको छ भने यो कुराहरू हुनुपर्ने चिजहरू लेखेको छ यसले चाहिँ क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट क्वालिटी चाहिँ झन् राम्रो र वर्क एक्सपिरियन्स बढाउन नै हेल्प गर्ने हुन्छ अब फेरि यति कुरा गर्दा गर्दै अब सर्टमा धेरै एक्सप्लेन नगरिकन हेर्दाखेरि पनि तर जीएमपी र आइएसओलाई त्यसरी कम्पेयर गर्न चाहिँ मिल्दैन किनभने तिनीहरूले एउटै काम गर्दैन आइएसओ स्ट्यान्डर्ड र जीएमपीले चाहिँ टोटल्ली मेडिसिन क्वालिटी र फार्मास्युटिकल्सहरूलाई एकदमै डिल गर्ने भएको कारणले र आइएसओले होल अर्गनाइजेसन र एउटा स्टान्डर्डिक स्ट्यान्डर्ड भएकोलाई वी आर नट कम्पेयरिङ बट कस्तो हुन्छ भने अब देयर इज नो क्वेश्चन अब यो हुँदैन कि जीएमपी कि आइसो भन्ने हुँदैन फार्मास्युटिकल साइड त जीएमपी नै मेजर हो जीएमपी नै लिनुपर्ने नै हुन्छ जीएमपी नै फलो गर्नुपर्ने हुन्छ तर आइएस बोथ आइएसओ पनि राख्न सकिन्छ क्वालिटी सिस्टम क्यान कन्टिन्यू टु अपरेट युजिङ द स्ट्रेन्थ एन्ड डेप्थ अफ जीएमपी फर म्यानुफ्याक्चरिङ मेडिसिनल प्रोडक्ट्स बट क्यान टु ब्रिङ इन आइडियाज दैट आर कभर्ड मच बेटर इन आइएसओ यो चाहिँ एउटा पर्सपेक्टिभ भयो त्यस्तै अब As a result of integration of GMP QMS, we obtain we obtain an integral, transparent, and efficient management system. Our GMP, the song of QMS, EMS, you all will have to keep the song and keep the integration system developed. Or else, you will run or else, you will not. Integral, trans, efficient management system developed. Or else, you will not. विच कवर्स एक्टिविटीज अफ इंटायर इंटरप्राइजेस म्यानुफैक्चरिंग अफ क्वालिटी एंड सेफ प्रोडक्ट तो भैलो इन्भाइरोमेन्टली सेफ हम इंपैक्ट कति को इन्भाइरोमेंट में जान तो चेक करना पाइयो काम मंदी लेकर सब कंज्युमर हमें सुंदर जिस कारण इंटिग्रेसन सीस्टम जिसमें जीएमपी पी हो क्यूएमएस सीएमएस या आईआ ओ ओसास होना सकता आईएसओ को अरुण स्टैंडर्ड हमें इंटिग्रेट करें काम करना सको इस अल्टिमेटली हम क्वालिटी मेडिसिन क्वालिटी र ओभरअल अर्गनाइजेसन को क्वालिटी झन राो नई बना सहयोग थैंक यू भेरी मच सुन थैंक यू कमलेश सर फर योर भेल्युबल प्रेजेंटेशन अब कमलेश सर को सुन्दा सुन्दा हमी 
अब एक अर्क ठावे आईपुगे अब हम कल जानकी मंदिर प्रवेश करते प्रदेश स्थान जानकी मंदिर साहित्य का अनुसार जनकपुर धाम राम जानकी मंदिर भगवान अर्धांगिनी सीता को जन्मस्थल भारत जनाइए रायण का अनुसार यह क्षेत्र राजा जनक को राज्य भि पर्थ्य हिंदू धर्मावलंबी को लगी तीर्थस्थल एकदम अपरिहार्य स्थल रहो रहां शताब्दी का विभिन्न विभिन्न सामान देखना सकता समय भाग धे अगाड़ी को वास्तुकला को प्रयोग मंदिर में धार्मिक सांस्कृतिक ऐतिहासिक रास्तुकला का पारिका गुणस्तरीय पाठशाला होना सकता रशा छी साक प्रदेश नंबर दुई पी जानक मंदिर अवश्य इसका साथ ही अब अब क्रम में हमी प्रेजेन्टेशन लाइन अगड़ी बढ़ा खेल क्वालिटी इन एजुकेशन को टपिक में मध्य बिंदु मल्टिपल कैंपस कैंपस को प्रतिनिधित्व करते मुक्तिराम पांडे सर हो क्यूएए प्क्टिस इन अ पब्लिक कलेज संबंधी प्रेजेन्टेशन दिखने रक्त प्रेजेन्टेशन पंद्रह मिनट को होने मुक्ति सर द फ्लोर इज योर्स थैंक यू विवास जी गुड मर्निंग टू यू अल नमस्ते परिचय कराई सकू म मुक्तिराम पांडे प्रदेश दुई में यहाँ हो गंडी प्रदेश में छु यो अवसर का लगी सब भाग पैला विजयलाल प्रधान सर लभार व्यक्त करना चाहूँ सर ने सुरू में मैं जानकारी कराने भाग तेगरी पीछे कमलेश कुमार यादव सर ने संपर्क भो वहाँ धन्यवाद यो स्क्रीन में मैं धर महानुभाव देखी रहे प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर भोजराज अरियल सर हो असैगरी मैं एंड्रेन को निराजन पराजुली सर अब हमी सब सहयोग पब्लिक कैंपस सहयोग कर हमें जूम मार्फत भर्चुअल क्लास मिटिंग संचालन कर सब सम्मान करना चाहूँ अन्न सब सहभागी महानुभाव सब धन्यवाद नमस्कार छ गंडकी प्रदेशक पालो में बोलौला भे थी पची चाहिए सेड्यूल भैस अब ये अलग सर ने समय दिपो भिसाब से मरक अनुरोध में सहभागी छु भर्खर आइसोलेसन बास्क अल बिराई बिराई भी छु खोकी अज लाइ मोक समय में आपको अनुभव एक्सपीरियंस सियरिंग मैं स्क्रीन सेयर नगरिकन ये भर्चुअल रूपमें आपका अनुभव राख्ने अनुमति चाहूँ आज वर्ल्ड क्वालिटी डे को सन्दर्भ पारे योग कार्यक्रम को आयोजना भग आयोजक सबला म धन्यवाद दिन चाहूँ र सब क्वालिटी डे को अवसर में हार्दिक शुभकामना दिन चाहूँ हमी क्वालिटी मेन्टेन करने सन्दर्भ में विशेषकर अकाडेमिक इंस्टिट्यूशन्स लमो समयदी प्रयास करेस का कई इंडिकेटर को जस्ते अब क्यूए को सन्दर्भ में अगि मेनुका भंडारी मैडम ने कई प्रोसिडर को बारे में भन्न भाषा क्राइटेरि को बारे में भन्न भाषा है आठवटा बेन्च मार्ग वन ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन्स को बारे में वहाँ ब्रिफिंग कर मतर जान्न मैं हमें कसरी इस प्क्टिस ग्यौं ररंतरता दिन का लगी के भाई सन्दर्भ में मेरे कैंपस को कई पार्ट हो रहा पब्लिक कैंपस को सन्दर्भ जोड़े मैं कुछ राखने क्वालिटी बिना हमी उत्पादन कर राष्ट्रीय अंतरराष्ट्रीय बजार में बिक्न सकते हम उत्पादन विश्व बजार में बिकेन हमारा संस्था चलतेन हमारा जो खाल शैक्षिक संस्था इन गति लगे तो हमी सब महसूस करो भेपी हम्रे संस्था में पढ़ अथवा हम्रे ठाव में पढ़ भवस्था अलग को अवस्था होना हमी हम प्रदान करने सेवा को क्वालिटी 
विस्तार करें विद्यार्थी रभिभावक को अपेक्षा अनुसार को क्वालिटी एजुकेशन दिन सक्यों मत विद्यार्थी को हमारा संस्थाप्रति को आकर्षण होने कुछ हमें नजिक अध्ययन करें लगनी कार्यान्वयन को सन्दर्भ में कई समस्या प्रक्रिया को सन्दर्भ में कई जटिलता यो बीच में हमें संस्था अगड़ी बढ़ाने पर्ने तेस बीच में अज पब्लिक कैंपस को अवस्था अलिकति फरक हमी सब अनुभूति कर सरकारी कैंपस को एक किसिम को अवस्था सरकारी लगानी में संचालित अवस्था प्राइवेट संस्था को आपने किसिम को एवं बजेट प्लांग अलग सटीक रूप में आपने चाहे योजना बनाएर तेल कार्यान्वयन करने सन्दर्भ में अलग सहजता हम देख रो बीच में रहकर पब्लिक कैंपस को अज अ जस्तु ये कोविड पेन्डामिक पीरियड में हमें बेहोर्न पड़े समस्या प्राध्यापक कर्मचारी लमो समयसम अब सेवा सुविधा प्राप्त कर न सकते अवस्था ये धेरे कुछ मध्यनजर राखनी होने पब्लिक कैंपस समस्या में सं तरपी राष्ट्रीय तथ्यांक हे विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग को तथ्यांक हे जी शैक्षिक संस्था क्यूए प्राप्त छन् तो प्रमाणपत्र प्राप्त करेस में अधिकांश संस्था पब्लिक कैंपस तो एटा गर्व कर सकने कुरा हो रहा के संगकेत कर पब्लिक कैंपस क्वालिटी प्रदान करने सन्दर्भ में अगड़ी रह कंपेरेटिवली हे रिटिवली हेखे में आंगिक कैंपस भा अगाड़ी क्वालिटी में रहकर हम तथ्यांक प्राइवेट संस्था संग हम प्रतिस्पर्धा में अगड़ी बढ़ रहा छो स्वस्थ प्रतिस्पर्धा में अगड़ी बढ़ रहा छो रो आंकड़ा देखा तेसो भरी में रहकर करीब सात सौ भाग बड़ी कैंपस में पब्लिक कैंपस संघ को सदस्यता प्राप्त कर पांच सौ चालीस कैंपस अब ते में कार्यरत बाहर हजार प्राध्यापक र कार्यरत पैंतीस सौ भाग बड़ी कर्मचारी रहेको यो संस्था अब नेपाल का छिहत्तर जिला फैलि मनांग जिला में अल्लेम पब्लिक कैंपस स्थापना होना सकते कुछ कैंपस तैं छ अरु हिसाब से हे छिहत्तर जिला में पब्लिक कैंपस रहेगा दूर दराज में रहे विश्वविद्यालय का आंगिक कैंपस पुर्यान न सकते सेवा दिन न सकते सेवा तो क्षेत्र में पुर्ई रह अति नोमिनल फी बाूला अगड़ी बढ़ाई रह संचालन खर्च तेल मेन्टेन करो सन्दर्भ में क्वालिटी मेन्टेन कर अगड़ी बढ़ाने कुछ आप में चुनौती अलग विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग ने सेवेन्टी नाइनसम में क्यूए को प्रक्रिया में नजानी पेयर रिव्यू नगर्ने कैंपस पब्लिक कैंपस अब तो निमित अनुदान दीद आयोग निमित अनुदान भी नदिने वाले अलग तो आर्थिक हिसाब से क्यूए में ज्यादा यो एचआरपी में सहभागी कराएर कैंपस राहत यूजीसी मार्फत प्राप्त हो कारण सब कैंपस अब तर्फ जाना का लगी पब्लिक कैंपस एसोसिएसन छी सब अलग प्रेरित करतातर्फ जान का लगी सपोर्ट विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग ने हिसाब से लबिंग करतातर्फ पब्लिक कैंपस अगड़ी बढ़ रही कुछ मनोध करना चाहूँ हमी दुई नंबर प्रदेश में ते जे एस मुरार का कैंपस लाहन में हमी तो कैंपस सहकार कर हमी अगाड़ी यो क्यूए सर्टिफाइड कलेज को मान्यता प्राप्त कर सके हमें तिहत्तर साल में मध्य बिंदु कैंपस ने तिहत्तर साल में प्राप्त करे पी वहाँ आएर भिजिट कर सके हमारा अनुभव वहाँ सेयरिंग वहाँ अलग अगड़ी बढ़ना सजिलो भो भूति वहाँ व्यक्त करूँ थी तो हिसाब से पची क्यूए सर्टिफाइड कलेज को मान्यता वहाँ प्राप्त कर हमी सहकार करूए सर्टिफाइड कलेज को बीच में हम एटा कोडिनेटिंग कमिटी भी बारम्बार हमारा अनुभव आदान प्रदान करने रब यह क्यूए प्राप्त कर सके तेल सस्टेन कसरी करने भाई सन्दर्भ में हमी बारम्बार छलफल करी एग्रिटेशन में ज्यादा कतिपय संस्था को गैप रहोक 
हमें धेरे तीतो अनुभव यो बीच में कतिपय यूजीसी को तो स्टाफिंग को कारण विभिन्न कारण अलग काम में सुस्थता कैंपस को कई गैप रहे सन्दर्भ में अब क्यूए सर्टिफाइड कैंपस बीच में गैप नगरिकन री एग्रिटेशन में जाने किसिम को प्लान हमें यो क्वालिटी मेन्टेन कर कैंपस एक पत्रक प्राप्त कर सके क्यूए प्राप्त कर सके बीच में गैप नभकन तेज को निरंतरता का कमती में विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग ने भी न्यूनतम कई रकम चाह क्यूए सर्टिफाइड कलेज का छुट्टर तेल सस्टेन कराने काम में सपोर्ट करोस् हम अनुरोध है विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग ने तो तर्फ कई आश्वासन दिया मनोध करना चाहिए समग्र में मैं पब्लिक कैंपस को अवस्था को बारे में मैं मध्य बिंदु को सन्दर्भ में जोड़े के भन्न चाहूँ हमी कैंपस स्थापना दुई हजार तिरसठी साल में गई सके तिहत्तर साल में क्यूए प्राप्त गये दस वर्ष भि में स्थापना को दस वर्ष भि में क्यूए सर्टिफाइड कलेज को मान्यता प्राप्त करने नेपालक पेलो कैंपस को रूप में मध्य बिंदु बहुमुखी कैंपस रहो तेस में पैला विभिन्न स्किम यो वर्ल्ड बैंक को सपोर्ट में विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग ने संचालन कर अब कार्यक्रम अंतर्गत अब चाहे अलग को एचआरपी होस् यह भाग अगड़ी का सेफ का प्रोग्राम तेस में कुने स्कीम में नपरिकन आपने साधन स्रोत बा क्यूए प्राप्त करने कलेज मध्य बिंदु कैंपस पेलो कैंपस हो तेस हमीस अलग नया तरीका लगे भो उत्साह हमीर सात यह क्वालिटी मेन्टेन करने सन्दर्भ में यह मुख्य कुरा मैं के अनुभव करें भोलि नबनीकन आज देखि नहीं लगे रीम वर्क विश्वास कर सबला कमती में परिचालन कर सको तैं रहे मैन पावर लि थोड़े समय में धे काम कर सकिद रहने खाल त्यो अनुभूति हमीर भगवान हमी उदाहरण को रूप में प्रस्तुत करने करो यूंग इनर्जेटिक टीम यहाँ रहे कारण हमें भोलि नबनीकन राता दिन जी बेला काम करना हम टीम भन न तैयार रहने कारण हमें यह छोटो समय में सफलता प्राप्त अनुभव हमीस यो संचालन करने सन्दर्भ में हमी विभिन्न कमिटी बनाये सब कमिटी बनाये यो क्यूए प्राप्त करने क्रम में गई सके विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग ने अथवा वर्ल्ड बैंक ने भाई कुछ मैं बुझे कुरा के भाग संस्था एटा सीस्टम में अगड़ी बढ़ाओ बाई लज आप निम का बनाऊ तेई नियम अनुसार तिमी चल संस्था एटा व्यक्ति को प्रभाव में होने कि विधि पद्धति में चलाऊ भूला बड़ी जोड़ दिए मैं अनुभूति करें रामी स्थापना कर सके ती कुछ सुरुआत देखि नहीं जाने वा नजाने हमारा अनुभव संस्था में अंत काम करुभवर भी हमें संस्था में लागू करण क्यूए सर्टिफाइड प्राप्त करने क्रम में अथवा एस एस आर रिपोर्ट तैयार करने क्रम में हमें तीन समस्या बेहोर्न पेन रोटो समय में हमें एसएसआर रिपोर्ट तैयार करें प्री भिजिट पीआरटी भिजिट र फलोअप को काम अब हमें संपन्न ग्यौं तो एवं हम अनुभव हो तेना क्रम में ज्यादा कतिपय के पाइं कति पैसा पाइं पैसा सित जोड़े क्यूए लेने कुछ धे पब्लिक कैंपस को अन्न कैंपस को मैं पाए देश को विभिन्न ठावर में ज्यादा तर यह क्यूए प्राप्त कर सके पैसा पाने कुछ भाग क्वालिटी मेन्टेन करने कुछ रहा संस्था को गरिमा बढ़ाने कुछ हो यहाँ बड़ उत्पादित विद्यार्थी राष्ट्रीय अंतरराष्ट्रीय क्षेत्र में ज्यादा चाहे तो फर्दर स्टडी को सन्दर्भ में हो चाहे जब सेटलमेंट को सन्दर्भ में हो प्राओरिटी पाने कुछ फर्स्ट प्राओरिटी पाने कुछ को ग्यारेटी हमें कर सक्यों रो कु बुझा सक्यों देखि समग्र इसका स्टेक होल्डर को इसमें भनम न सहभागिता रहने कुछ चाह हमें अनुभव ग्यौं रो कुछ प्रोसेस में ज्यादा खेल में हमें ती इंडिकेटर अथवा विश्वविद्यालय अनुदान आयोग ने वर्ल्ड बैंक ने बनाया जो क्राइटे क्राइटे क्राइटेर अनुसार हमी संस्था संचालन कराखे में क्यूए प्राप्त भेपनी न भेपी अब के देखिए भादा खेल में कई न के क्वालिटी हमें हम बढ़े देखिए प्रोसेस में अगड़ी बढ़ा नहीं क्वालिटी बढ़े देखिए पैला सुरू में हम बीस एक्काईस पर्सेंट ओवरअल को यो 
अब वेटेज एवरेज में निल्दा तेरी विश्वविद्यालय को अनुदान आयोग को रेकर्ड में तो देखिथ्यो अब तेरी हेद्दे में हमी अलग रिजल्ट बढ़े करीब करीब वेटेज एवरेज में थर्टी फाइव पर्सेंट भाग माथि गई ठूल मनु पर्च कल प्रोग्राम हमें चलाया छो सेमिस्टर का प्रोग्राम चला नपा सन्दर्भ में भर्खर बीबीए पाइ अब एमबीए सो तो सेमिस्टर में गई हुआ तो हमीस एमएड अीबीए भाग सेमिस्टर में अलग राम रिजल्ट होने एनुअल प्रोग्राम में कम प्रतिशत रिजल्ट होने हुना वेटेज एवरेज में रिजल्ट चाहे टोटल में प्रतिशत कम होने हो तो सन्दर्भ में हमें चाहे कई क्वालिटी चाहे इन्हांस कर सकते अनुभूति तेसो भार मैं सब उच्च शैक्षिक संस्था में संलग्न व्यक्ति र संस्था परिवार मैं के अनुरोध करना चाहूँ हमें आपको क्वालिटी मेन्टेन नगरिकन क्वालिटी इन्हांस नगरिकन क्यूए सर्टिफाइड अब नभकन हमें संस्था अगड़ी बढ़ा सकते हमी विद्यार्थी अभिभावक चाहे अनुसार को क्वालिटी प्रदान कर सके सकते जो खाले चाहे अं युवा विद्यार्थी चाहे विदेश पलायन होने परंपरा तेल रोक्न का लगी अब देश भि नहीं हमी यहीं पढ़े के सौं देश भि आप भविष्य खोजन सकने देखना सकने बना सक्यों तो मानसिक हिसाब से अरुण चाहे क्षमता को हिसाब से हमारा संस्था अगड़ी बढ़ना सकता क्वालिटी हमें मेन्टेन कर सकस हम उत्पादित विद्यार्थी राष्ट्रीय अंतरराष्ट्रीय बजार में बिग्न सो अनुभव मसित रहो अब समय सायद सकिए संगीत मैं प्राप्त करूँ अब धर प्रेजेन्टेशन यहाँ रहो मैं बुझाई तेस धेरा नगरिकन हमें अब कैंपस में संचालन कर पब्लिक कैंपस में संचालन करम को बारे में आगामी ये अन्न कार्यक्रम में मैं तस्तों अनुभव व्यक्त करने समय को अभाव मेरो कुरा यहीं अंत्य चाहूँ यो अवसर दूंभक में मन आयोजक परिवार हार्दिक आभार र धन्यवाद ज्ञापन करना चाहूँ कोविड को पीरियड बा हम इस जिते सहज परिस्थिति में चाँड आने सबला शुभकामना दिन चाहूँ धन्यवाद नमस्कार धन्यवाद मुक्ति सर तब को जानकारीमूलक प्रस्तुतिकरण को अब को क्रम में हमी एक्सपीरियंस सियरिंग तर्फ जाने एक्सपीरियंस सियरिंग को लगी क्वालिटी फर सर्वाइवल टपिक में आपको एक्सपीरियंस सियर कर मारुति फार्मास्युटिकल्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड का मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर तथा एसोसिएसन अफ फार्मास्युटिकल प्रोड्यूसर्स अफ ने एपीपीओएन का ट्रेजर मिस्टर प्रभात रोंगटा सर लो प्रेजेन्टेशन दी दिन होना को अनुरोध करद प्रकाश रोंगटा सर द फ्लोर इज योर्स सब नमस्कार पहले तो धन्यवाद मैं कमलेश यादवजी यो अपर्चुनिटी ग्रांट कर आज यहाँ विभिन्न क्षेत्र का मानव क्वालिटी को बारे में कुरा करने क्वालिटी डे सेलिब्रेट करने कुरा सो आज मैं एक्सपीरियंस सियरिंग में कुरा औषधी उत्पादक को सर संघ को तरफ बड़ी धनधे चौसठीवट औषधी उद्योग स्वदेशी औषधी उद्योग क्रम में अर्क बीसवटा औषधी उद्योग यो आर्थिक वर्ष भि आईपुग् जो लग आज भाग अट्ठाइस वर्ष पैला एवं सानों औषधी उद्योग जनकपुर सुरुआत कर नेपाल में आज औषधी उद्योग को संख्या चौसठी पुग्या अब हमी आत्मनिर्भर तीर उन्मुख होना अगर कमलेश यादव ने डब्ल्यूएचओ जीएमपी गाइडलाइंस है औषधी उत्पादक लग्न पर्ने निम का औषधी व्यवस्था विभाग स्वास्थ्य मंत्रालय लगाय का विभिन्न कुछ क्वालिटी को बारे में कुछ गाइडलाइंस को बारे में तो आज को दिन में औषधी उद्योग सरकार बड़ा क्वालिटी इन्हांसमेंट में राम सपोर्ट भविष्य में अज राम करते जाने हो बांग्लादेश में द लार्जेस्ट एक्सपोर्टर अफ बांग टेक्सटाइल वॉज बांग्लादेश आज को दिन में गवर्नमेंट ने फार्मास्युटिकल इंडस्ट्री ने सपोर्ट सपोर्ट कर टेक्सटाइल पछाड़ी छाड़े बांग्लादेश के सब भाई ठूल एक्सपोर्ट करने अपर्चुनिटी फार्मास्युटिकल में भैस ते क्रम में जबसम यह डब्लूटीओ को निम का हम लगे तबसम इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रपर्टी राइट्स प्रडक्टर जो 
विभिन्न देश में अंडर डेवलप कंट्रीज दिस्टम छो दिन धेरे चाँड विभिन्न ठाव में एक्सपोर्ट करने अपर्चुनिटी पाने क्वालिटी डजन कम फ्री क्वालिटी कम्स विथ कस्ट क्वालिटी कस्ट हो कस्ट इन्वल्वमेंट हो रहा क्वालिटी में कस्ट इन्वल्वमेंट बड़ी हो सो ने सरकार ने आज को दिन में औषधी उद्योग ऑइंटमेंट जेल टैबलेट कैप्सूल झोल नबना इंजेक्टेबल तीर आइसिग अन्कोलॉजिकल प्रडक्ट कैंसर ड्रग्स में आइसिग रईफ सेविंग ड्रग्स में आईएन बायोसिकुलर प्रडक्ट भाई इन्सुलिन भोटिन यो हाई एंड ड्रग्स में जानूपर्यो गवर्नमेंट बड़ प्रोटेक्शन रेस में क्वालिटी में अस्योरेंस स्वदेशी उद्योग संभावना देख क्वालिटी में एकदम फोकस भर काम मैं भाई औषधी व्यवस्था विभाग में एकजना था वहाँ भिदर जानु हि वॉज अ पर्सन हू ड्रोव फार्मास्युटिकल इंटू इंडस्ट्री इंटू क्वालिटी कि में क्वालिटी औषधी बंद रह हमी गर्व कर अवस्था इनफैक्ट कतिपय इंडस्ट्री जो इंपोर्ट भर आई रह औषधी को मामला में फिफ्टी टू सिक्सटी पर्सेंट भापी उद्योग को वहाँसंग दाजे हेद्दे हे हमी तिन्सग अगड़ी नई छोड़ा खेल क्वालिटी में फोकस भर काम करषधी उद्योग एकदम क्वालिटी जीवन मरणसंग बाजे दाज्न पर्ने लाइक डेली डेली लाइफ सेविंग ड्रग्स लगी रख् हमी स्वदेशी उद्योग ने क्वालिटी को मामला में कुछ कंप्रोमाइज कर भविष्य में करने क्वालिटी को कोविड को बेला में स्वदेशी उद्योग ने क्वालिटी औषधी चाइने एजिथ्रोमाइसिन भिटामिन सी भिटामिन डी जिंक का टैबलेट सजील सहज उपलब्ध करा विदेशी मूलुक आउन न सी स्वदेशी उद्योग ने सहज उपलब्ध कराया कुने कुने ठाव में कता कता नपुग्ला लजिस्टिक को समस्या नपुग सकला तर अवेलेबल चाहिए कहीं अभाव होना दिन सकता है राज्य कान में कान मिला संगे उभे औषधी उद्योग ने साथ दिएपीरियस सियरिंग में कुरा विगत में छ महीना को नाकाबंदी में स्वदेशी उद्योग ने यहाँ देश को जनता औषधी को उभाव दिन सकता छेन एक्सपीरियंस सेयरिंग के भूकंप को टाइम में लगने जी मेडिकल फैसिलिटी थे मेडिकल औषधी चाहे औषधी लगाय अरुण सामान्य सामग्री जमे में औषधी उत्पादक संघ रदेशी उद्योगी विभिन्न ठाव में गए विभिन्न कार्यक्रम कर स्वदेशी क्वालिटी मेडिसिन्स क्वालिटी कुछ पुराया ये भाई राख्ता आज को दिन में जनशक्ति को क्वालिटी जनशक्ति सृजना करने काम औषधी उद्योग ने चाहे तो मार्केटिंग को क्षेत्र में हो चाहे टेक्निक्राइट फैक्ट्री को उद्योग को संचालन में हो चाहे अपरेशन लेवल में हो क्वालिटी को एकदम अगड़ी जनशक्ति डेवलप करते लाने काम कर वर्ष में पंद्रह देखि बीसवटा ट्रेनिंग कार्यक्रम करेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी रेन्ड्स को बारे में जानकारी पाऊ र क्वालिटी स्वदेश में भर राम कसरी कर सकता अगड़ी बढ़ा सौ ये भाई राख्ता हमी हम राज्य हमी बुझ् पर्स हम मटो सुहाँदो काम चाहिए हमी पड़ने खाली लुक ईस्ट एक्ट वेस्ट भरा हो तर औषधी को उद्योग में यूएसपी यूनाइटेड स्टेट फार्माकोपिया अगि कमलेश यादव यूनियन कुरा अगर सुन भाषा यूनाइटेड स्टेट फार्माकोपिया हो भाई नहीं कें चाहिए जापानीज फार्माकोपिया कें चाहिए ब्रिटिश फार्माकोपिया कें चाहिए इंडियन फार्माकोपिया कें चाहिए होने हम मटो सुहाँदो हमी देश हम जनता के चाहे मात्र राम इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के भाईपुग्स भाई कुरा में ला रहा आपको स्टैंडर्ड ने आपने तरीका फार्माकोपिया एटा बाइबल जस्तु बुक बनाने भो औषधी को क्षेत्र में न भाई सब मात्र बाइबल जो बने थे गीता कुरान या बाइबल जे भाई जो यूएसपी बना थे यूनाइटेड स्टेट फार्माकोपिया ते मो गए हो तर आज को दिन में अगि नहीं कुरा कुशल व्यास संगीता दुई हजार बहत्तर औषधी व्यवस्था विभाग ने जो लागू कर बहत्तरी साल में आएर 
तो पक्के पनी तेज क्षेत्र तिरा उन मुखनलाई गरे को हुन मोलिक दिन में नेपाली आवश्यक उद्योग लाई पनी नेपाल को पनी ये वड़ा नेपाली पार्म को फेया हुने अवस्था आनु सच्चा की नेपाल को पनी माटो सोंदे ये वड़ा स्ट्रक्चर ये वड़ा इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर के भाई पुक्षा आंध्रो देश लाई बने कुरामत रे दांसो की नेपाल में आयुर्� जड़ी बुटी और वो विदेशी लाइफ बेच रहा हुआ है उसका फर्गेरा फिनिश गुड किन्हों पर नहीं आवाज़ आता तीन लाय आमिले रामरेडी व्यवस्था अपन कर रहा क्वालिटी को फिनिश गुड ये देश में बनाने सकते हो ने तो आमिले रामरो को ना सकते हो उनका देश लाय विश्व भरी चीन होना सकते होते आयुर्वे� quality, industry quality is the same as the industry quality. The country is not able to do the same thing. It's not a country in the same way. The people who are not able to do the same thing in the same way. The quality is the same as the quality. The country is the same as the country. 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 यो आधा क्वालिटी देखो कुरागर दागर दा आधा उस दिन में यो आवश्यक प्राप्त मलाई दिल्ली वाको में इतनी बोल दे मैं धेरे समय नले को बनाने किन्हा ने आमी शेड्यूल बंदा ऑलरेडी 20 25 मिनट्स डिले सों मलाई दोस्त दस पच्चीस को टाइम दिया से ते बनी आह उन्हें कर्म में था नेपाली स्टैंडर्ड टाइम बनी को � र बीते को दशाई को सुख काम ना र आउने दीपावली बोली को तीप दीपावली र छठ को आम्र प्रदेश नंबर दो को महान चार बर्बर को सुख काम ना दी दे नमस्कार र बीता लेने चांस धन्यवाद धन्यवाद प्रभात सर तबे को एक्सपीरियंस शेयरिंग को लागी पके बनी तबे ले बने अनुसार नहीं फार्मेसिटिकल्स क्षेत्र में क्वालिटी म अब प्रवासी को पूरा सुंदर 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 अब आमी एक और को धार्मिक अब अब एक और को क्षेत्र में प्रदेश नंबर दो को एकदम ही उत्कृष्ट क्षेत्र में प्रवेश करना लायका सम तो पर्सन राष्ट्रीय निकुंजा पर्सन राष्ट्रीय निकुंजा भित्री तरह में आवश्यक पर्सा बारा और मकवानपुर का कई क्षेत्र रू में फैलिए कुछ उन्नाइसे च भारतीय बाल्मीकि राष्ट्रीय निकुंज संघ यो राष्ट्रीय निकुंज जोड़िए कुछ ऐसा इसलाय संरक्षण संरक्षण गर्नु अगे यो क्षेत्र चार कोसे जाड़ी को रूप में रूप में र नाम में प्रक्षेप थियो यो क्षेत्र शिकारी र बस्ती बस्ती विस्तृत गर्न का लागे प्रयोग गरी गरीय को अवस्था थियो र बने जंतु र बन लाई बने जंतु र संपूर्ण चार कोसे जाड़ी लाई संरक्षण करने हेतु ले यो राष्ट्रीय निकुंज को स्थापना भाई को अब आमी दुनिया मर प्रदेश में जाता है पक्के पनी परसा राष्ट्रीय निकुंज को प्रमाण पक्के पनी करने सों अब आम्रो आमी कार्यक्रम को अंत्य अंत्य तिराई सके का सों र कार्यक्रम को अंत्य में लाइटनिंग टॉक को लागे मॉम सेंट्रल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सेंट्रल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट त्रिभुवन यूनिवर्सिटी का प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर वोल्स राज और वेल्स और लाइक इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ क्वालिटी इन लोकल प्रोडक्ट्स प्रोडक्ट्स को टॉपिक में आपने प्रेजेंटेशन दिन होना हार्दिक अनुरोध करना चाहें सु ओवर टू यू बोल रहा सर थैंक यू मैं सुनने में जा मैं सुनने में जा आरी ऑडिबल यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल मलाई यो क्वालिटी में ये वाला स्थान दिन वक्त में तब आप सब आए जाके लगते रहते हैं बात मैं ले दिनेश सर लगते ही रहे सु सुनी थी मैंने मत देखा सुर भाई बनी देखी रहा है सुर मेरा कॉलेज सरू देखी रहा है सुर ये वाला सर नमस्कार देखी रहा है सुर मुझे बयान मुझे किस वजह से ये फोन आ रहा है सुनी थी मैंने बड़े मेल आ रहा है री ये खासे मुझे तित्ती ध्यान दीने देर सुन सुन जब तक लगा थी ना पर मैडम ले हिस्से बनी फोन करने आती हो अने के सर वाले फोन करने आती हो अने बयान है देखी नहीं मौसम पास ऐसे हो म्यूट में पास ऐसे हो तो निके कुरा हर मैली सीखने मौका पाए निके निके कुरा हर सीखने मौका पाए आ रा आज अगला धैर्य धन्यवाद रा दिवस 
जे त्यो भन्दा अगाडिको जले कोर्डिनेसन गर्नु भएको छ उहाँले जुन किसिमले पूर्व मेची देखि पश्चिम महाकाली सम्म एउटा त्यहाँको एउटा सौन्दर्य त्यहाँको इम्पोर्टेन्स जुन किसिमको देखाएर लानुभयो त्यो आफैको क्वालिटी छ एक प्रकारको क्वालिटी त्यहीँ देखिए सबै सानो नेपाल एकदम सुन्दर नेपाल मैले त्यहाँ देखेँ र सबै सेक्टरको व्यक्तिहरूलाई देखेँ मैले यहाँ देखेँ कमलेशजीको प्रेजेन्टेसन देखेँ सिङ्गापुरको हर्नेकजीको भनाइमा क्वालिटीको बारेमा कुराहरू देखेँ मैले मेनुकाजीको देखेँ त्यसपछि हाम्रो हाम्रो मुक्ति सरको त कुरा सुनेँ सबै सुनेँ र मलाई आज के लाग्छ भने मैले विश्वविद्यालय पढ्दै गर्दाखेरि मैले फरक किसिमले सोचेको थिएँ भाइ बहिनीहरू पनि यहाँ भएको हुनाले स्पर्शाका भाइ बहिनीहरू देखिरहेका छु के सोचेको थिएँ भन्दाखेरि पढ्ने मात्रै होइन पढेपछि केही गर्नुपर्छ भन्ने सोचेको थिएँ र त्यही सिलसिलामा मैले पढ्दा पढ्दै सानो पसल खोलेको थिएँ सानो पसल खोलेँ खोल्दा मानिसहरूले मलाई यो मानिसले के गर्नु थाल्यो भन्थे र तर त्यो पसल खोल्दा खोल्दै जब तपाईँ एउटा प्लेटफर्म खोल्नुहुन्छ प्लेटफर्म खोलिसकेपछि व्यक्तिहरू आउँदो रहेछन् सुन्दो रहेछन् सजेसन दिँदा रहेछन् त्यहाँबाट मैले पाएको अनुभव यहाँहरूलाई सेयर गर्छु त्यसको टपिक्स छ इन्भेलप खा त्यसको टपिक्स इन्भेलप छ त्यसपछि मैले यसलाई समाप्त गर्छु एकछिन म इन्स स्क्रिन सेयरतिर गएँ विभाजी म कसरी जाऊँ यहाँ एकछिन स्क्रिन सेयरमा म गएँ स्क्रिन सेयरमा जाँदाखेरि स्टोरी अफ इनभेलप यो के हो खाम खामको कुनै स्टोरी हुन्छ म एकचोटि मैले मेरो व्यवसाय सानो सुरु गर्दाखेरि त्यो जब नाइन्टिन नाइन्टी सिक्समा सुरु गरेको थिएँ विवशजीहरू त जन्मिनु भएको पनि थिएन होला अनि त्यसपछि प्लेटफर्म खोलिसकेपछि मानिसहरू अनेक किसिमको मानिसहरू आउँदो रहेछन् आएपछि त्यो एउटा प्लेटफर्म भयो विश्वविद्यालय पढाउँथेँ पनि त्यहाँ पनि आउँथेँ अनि एउटा विदेशीहरू आए विदेशीहरू पनि त्यहाँ आए मलाई बिस्तारै कनेक्सन भयो म त्यसपछि म एक्सपोर्टरको रूपमा गएँ एक्सपोर्टरको रूपमा जाँदाखेरि पहिला मैले सामान यस्तो विश्वविद्यालयको खाममा स्याम्पल पठाएछु मैले खाममा पठाएँ खाममा पठाउँदाखेरि त्यो भेदभावको हाम्रो कस्टमर जुन थियो बाहिरको युवकको कस्टमर थियो उसले क्वेसन मार्क राख्यो तिमी बिजनेसम्यान हो कि विश्वविद्यालयको व्यक्ति हो क्वेसन मार्क राख्यो त्यो पनि म चेन्ज होइन कि मसँग त्यही विश्वविद्यालय खामहरू थिए त्यही पठाउँथेँ त्यसरी म स्याम्पलहरू पठाउँथेँ मालहरू अरू गरेर पठाउँथेँ त्यसपछि मैले पठाउने गरेको यस्तो तपाईँहरू देख्नुहुन्छ पहिलो खाममा चिठी पठाउने नाइन्टिन नाइन्टी अनि त्यसपछि गएर यस्तो खालको नेपाली कागजले मोडेकोमा फेरि अरू स्याम्पलहरू पठाउने गर्थेँ अनि ती गर्दै थिएँ मेरो स्याम्पलहरू यस्तो खालको यस्तो तपाईँहरू देख्नुभयो भने अलिकति कलरहरू केरिएको यस्तो यस्तो पठाउँथेँ उसलाई मेरो बायरले के भन्दो रहेछ सामान टाइममा पनि पठाउँछ तर यो मान्छे फोगरी छ यो क्वालिटीको काम गर्ने मान्छे होइन यो एक प्रकारको यसले के गर्छ थाहा छैन तर यसले टाइममा म्यानेज चाहिँ गर्छ भन्ने कुनाले मलाई एक्सेप्ट गरिराखेको रहेछ अनि त्यसपछि एक दिन मलाई कस्तो भयो भने पानी परिराखेको थियो स्याम्पल पठाउनु थियो स्याम्पल पठाउँदाखेरि मैले पस्मिनाको काम गर्थेँ स्याम्पल पठाउँदाखेरि मसँग कुनै खाम पनि थिएन पहिला चाहिँ पहिलो खाम ठुलो खाममा बाहिरबाट किनेर लिएर आएर छाप लगाएर पठाउँथेँ कुन अनुभव उनीहरूले मैले मेरो अफिसमा भएको त्यही त्रिभुवन युनिभर्सिटीले मलाई दिएको खाम ठुलो खाममा पछाडि पनि तल त्रिभुवन युनिभर्सिटी लेखेकोलाई मसीले काटेर त्यसलाई काटेर त्यसलाई मैले चाहिँ पठाइदिएँ पठाइसकेपछि असह्य भएछ असह्य भएपछि तिमी एउटा खाम पनि बनाउन सक्दैनौ भने किन बिजनेस गर्छौ भनेर मलाई लेखाले त्यसपछि त्यो हुँदाखेरि मेरो सात वर्ष बितिसकेको थिएँ म राम्रोसँग काम गरिसकेको थिएँ त्यसपछि मलाई त्यो दिन रातभरि निद्र लागेन एउटा झावा खाम पनि बनाउन नसके भनेपछि उसको खाम मलाई उसले पठाउने यस्तो खालको थियो 
उसके हेन सब हेन सो लेटर हेड हेन रिमांड लेखा उसको सफाई सब मैं के लिख् मैं हाथ लेखे पढ़ाऊँ मत प्रिंट में रामस कर दिन तेरी पढ़ा ते पी ये खाम में मठाथे ते पी मैं के सोचे ये पठाथे ये खाम पठाथे अस पी बिस्तारे ये देखी सके मैं आपूला तो रात पी परिमाजित करें परिमाजित करे मैं सानों तेलेचु हेन्डीक्राफ्ट भसल मतलब एट संस्था थी इसको लोगो बना लगाए कई पैसा खर्च करें अगर एट सरल भाई क्वालिटी को बारे में कुरा क्वालिटी कम्स फ्रम द कस्ट भाई पठाए पे मैं गर्व लग्न था मैं सानों खाम ठूल खाम लेवल लेवल सब बना था उसको उसने इसी पढ़ाथ्य मैं लेटर हेड इस बनाए लेटर हेड को मत कह एड्रेस राख्ने भाई कुछ मैं पच्चीस सिके कस तल राख्न कसले मत राख्छे सिके तो क्वालिटी में आदि ते पी मैं एट संस्था खोलने बीच में जो संस्था खोलता खेल माइस नेपाल होने संस्था हो तेज को अफिश नबनाईकन मैं खाम बना मन लगे अफिश नखोल तेज को लेटर हेड बना था अभी मतलब मैं चेंज होना करीब सात आठ वर्ष लगे एट खाम चेंज होने को अभी हम जो कि डिस्कसन कर धरने सहयोग तर मानस चेंज कर टाइम लगद रहे मानस चेंज करा हिड़ा मानी तो आप चेंज हो सकद रहने सजी चेंज होने मानस ने भारा को मामा उसे चेंज 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 वाल यूथ अगड़ी लेकर आए उसे अमेरिका में एवं कि फरक लिया मैं आप आप चेंज कर यो टाइम लगद हम विद्यार्थी कसरी चेंज कर क्लास में गए रटाएर चेंज होने रहें विद्यार्थी काम दिन पर्व जो अलग तब पे मैं मकूल अफ मैनेजमेंट में इनिशिएसन पीरियड में काम करें तीन टा खाम राखे मैं मैं दस वर्षसम एक्सपोर्ट करे मैं एप्लाई बीच को एमबीए त्रिभुवन यूनिवर्सिटी को एमबीए को खाम हेन त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय ने मैं पैलो खाम में चिट्ठी पठाई थी त्रिवन विश्वविद्यालय संसार को रैंकिंगम पर्च राम पर्च ये पैलो खाम में अज्ञा त्रिवन विश्वविद्यालय ने यूज करें मैं सेतो खाम रेपर को क्वालिटी भी राम को वेटेज भी हाई रेस को प्रिंटेड भी हाई मैं बना मैं देखा अलग गर्व लग् तर मैं चेंज होने को दस वर्ष लगे त्रिवन विश्वविद्यालय को स्कूल अफ मैनेजमेंट को खाम हो मैं तैं क्लास में तो लिंचु तर सुरू को टाइम में मैं काम कर चेंज होने को दसों वर्ष लगे इस कारण मैं खाम को कथा सुनाए ते पीछे ये कथा मैं सजी भी भर अब ये मैं स्क्रीन सेयर बंद कर टाइम हम आउट अफ रनिंग अब अभी मैं जी काम कर खोजु जे काम कर खोजु पैला कर्पोरेट इमेज को बारे में कुरा तीन जाना खेल कहीं बिजनेस डिलिंग जानून तक कपड़ा सफास आइरन कर जान टाइम में जान जब हम पैकेजिंग राम कपड़ा पैकेजिंग ये कुरा गये हम अगड़ी बढ़ सक भाई बहनी अथवा हमारा साथी अंजना मैडम भी देखी रहे मैं सब देखा यहाँ के देखि हमी कुरा मत कर काम कम कर जब हम एप्लाई कर हम चेंज हो डाउन टू अर्थ इस कारण मैं ये तब आज को प्रोग्राम धर लर्निंग सिके धेरे कुछ सिके सुनने मौका पाए रिटी आना को कंसिस्टेन्सी चाहिए कंटिन्स इफोर्ट चाहिए कसले बिजनेस सुरू गए तुरंत रिटर्न खोज रहा हो पांच वर्षसम कुछ किसम को रिटर्न होते क्वालिटी मेन्टेन करो मैं भाई कर्पोरेट इमेज लिया पे जब ढो ढोका खोलने बेला होनी बंद कर स्थिति देखि तो बारे में हमें सोच् रिटी मेन्टेन करूटी चाहिए कस चाहिए इफोर चाहिए ते पीछे ब्रांडिंग हो ब्रांडिंग भाई तब सब हाई कर मैं सिके कुछ तब खाम को कथ सुनाए खाम को कथ मत सुना धेरे कथ मसा मैं ठमेल में एटा होटल चलाखे एट विदेशी आर बस मसंग कुरा एकदम खुशी हो एक दिन कोठा में लड़सुना भिस इज नट अ कलर टू दिस रूम 
You have to change the color of it. This is 1973 color Time attraction. Unko color. Ekko aru sabai tere bada misikte jaan barsa. Mali gayi किनभने मलाई यो क्वालिटीको कुरा सुन्न असाध्यै इच्छा लाग्छ पाँच बजेरा सरला है हामी सँगै काम पनि गरौँ पढाइन हुन्छ हुन्छ अ म त गएको सानो पसल त्यो म्युरोर गेटको नजिकै पनि Philip Cross will be quality is free. Kino money. You clear on the words again. To man sick the handy poking money business man lay. If quality go like Kartagarno Porta, only Kuru Sutton Laven, Tain, the hit, Manchin, Unak Sorta. Kino money, Korta Kagarni, you demand your market like Poisitina, Porky Poisitina, I'm taking Kartagarni car on the butter. To man sick the water hot on the laggy, more quality go real scientific measure one two. Well, Kunebani product. Kunebuni service go. You are design quality unsa. Design girl the Kerry Kiki Ragni, Costa Costa Rani, Katikati Ragni. Or go conformance quality unsa. Do it a part mounsa. You are design girl in Bella Mounsa, Pibella Kiki Ragnunsa, component Costa Ragnunsa, till the cost demand girls her. Or go conformance quality unsa. Pibella man, Cossary defect rate got on a Cossary care and of Halle. Waste is cosary nobonone, scrap cosary nobonone, efficiency cosary bolone, productivity cosary bolone. Take up some pondra bisoda, tarikaza, just lay to waste is got on us at two cost got here. On two cost got here, the waste is got on an equality job. The second lay you man sick tama boss no day, and I'm the business man early. Money sick because Japan Matinio. Quality does not cost you money. Sabona Tulu Mondro, Ilimala Puri Alamana, Timon Mudra Sordo, Wasana, Ki, Wale Jun Kam Gornuata, Wako Menat Malatata, Wale Jati Lodi Gornuata, that I agree. Taratu Runda Sarko Poli, the Topico Poli, Eurasia Binokoja, quality doesn't cost money if you also look at the processing unit. Processing Kubelama, Topoli quality, Ragnuana, Design Kubelama, Matri quality Kuragarna Alubone. And then quality cost more. That's what I wanted to talk about it. Argopuro, Bola Sarli, Yernubo Kerakiti early present Gare, to Eura quality circle, Unerli Panara, Duja Guru Tun, the teamwork, collaborative, quality tools or Zanera, problem solve Gorna Lai, Unerli Tun Prayas Gariasan, two cheese Amru workers, some of Punjel, Unerlu, Pandre Bispers of Pugibashi, that will. Really give you result. Thinking that how can you solve problem collaboratively? This is you do the guru say more support participant la banana ho maile ki manchikta ma quality ko lagi paisa lagta na mantano. This is because more you do the normally banana banana saath baje baje. Egaar baje say. Ki wani bhoja sir sir pura karda. Apni chhe plan ko manche. Mada lagya. Ramaylo lagya. you are really genius. Genius ki to mane business karra business management pada ho nuvoge. जैसे you reject where I am doing a buyer order. Customers are satisfied where more order than your cost is all you common. So, what is come by the 
to make this program fruitful and successful without your presence active participation this program would not have been successful today 12th november marked as world quality day despite this covid 19 we are here to celebrate this special day and i would like to request the ambassador of this program mr rasik pradhan to take the respective seat similarly i would like to request all the valuable participate of this program to take the respective seats on place to run this program effectively we have mr akash oja as a timer and host mr technical host mr vivek baral and ami aru nepali or tradition yes we have culture welcoming the guest is the nepalese tradition so i would like to request the ambassador of this program mr rasik pradhan for the welcome speech rasik sir the floor is yours rasik sir your mic is off सबला भाई फिर आप बिर्स नहीं सर नमस्कार दिनेश सर नमस्कार सब रेस्पेक्टेड सर सब मेरा नमस्कार एवटे ठा में जोड़ पाए में एंड एज अ एम्बेसडर यो क्वालिथन रिले रेस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी को प्रोविंस थ्री को लगी मैं एम्बेसडर चुनी दिवन भाग आयोजक मैं एकदम धन्यवाद दिए स्पेशली जनार्दन सर मैं धन्यवाद दिन चाहे सर्ट पीरियड में हमें कार्यक्रम कर so without any delay uh, namaskar uh, warm good morning uh, respected guest of honor international speaker guest speakers respected personalities uh, experts uh, tutors students learners uh, technical team and volunteers it's my immense uh, pleasure to welcome uh, everyone today uh, in this auspicious event qualithan relay race 2020 mechi uh, to mahakali on behalf of ambassador of province 3 My name is Rasik Pradhan. Uh, heartily welcome to you all in this virtual webinar gathering. Uh, we are so glad to have you all here today, and we appreciate your presence at this difficult time. It is so wonderful to see you all here on this beautiful day. We would like to extend a special welcome to our guest of honor, international keynote speaker, Dr. No Han No. Uh, he is a uh, chairman of Vietnam Quality Association of Ho Chi Minh City. uh we, we would like to also uh, welcome to respected madam professor dr suniti swestahara professor dr anjana singh uh, reader uh, shiva prasad powdel sir uh, he is from balkmar college narangar uh, engineer manish pista a plant manager from chilime hydropower company limited likely uh, we would like to welcome to well, uh, uh, head of department quality head of uh, department quality department uh, mr janahit basukala from nepal cancer hospital and research center uh, students sqc from golden gate english secondary school wagta today is a uh, world quality day uh, 2020 so uh, 
I would like to wish a happy quality day, uh, quality day to all. And the quality theme uh, is uh, creating uh, customer value. There is no way to find a motive uh, for selecting the month of November as a, a quality month. Uh, American Society Quality ASQ and the CQI, Chartered Quality Institute, celebrates the World Quality Day in uh, November on the second Thursday. So uh, today is a uh, second Thursday, uh, uh, 12th November, 2020. On this auspicious day, we quality seekers, academicians, professionals, expert design, uh, experts, uh, the designs this whole day event, Quality 2020. As per province, we begin our event uh, from uh, 7 a.m. Uh, from province one and will into province seven uh, by 9 p.m. today night. It is almost 14 hours long event. And the objective behind uh, of this uh, quality, uh, this event is to bring uh, the borderless, collaborative, learning in quality landscape in Nepal and to bring all the quality practitioners, experts, academicians, industrialists in a single uh, uh, platform. Uh, this is a first event that we are organizing and will continue this program for next successive years too. We do hope so. And this event will be able to explore the knowledge about different quality best practices in different sectors uh, like education, industry and services, how they are adopting quality culture in their respective organizations at, and its impacts. So this event is the largest and longest event in quality movement in a single day, uh, which runs from Mechi to Mahakali. And this event adds uh, all the quality seekers from out of Valley too. I hope that this event uh, definitely create an awareness uh, and curiosity about quality in the Nepalese community. And I hope that too, today inspires ideas and discussions around the ways uh, that we can uh, make our country a better place. And at last, but not least, uh, once again, uh, we would like to welcome all the distinguished uh, guests in this grand event and wishing success of this event. Uh, thank you. Thank you, all of you. Uh, welcome once again, and thank you. Uh, it's over to you, Sunita Man. Thank you, Rasik, sir, for your wonderful speech. Uh, now, we, uh, I want to say something about Pasupati Nath Temple, as you are seeing here in the screen. It has a famous sacred Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. It is the oldest Hindu temple. The temple is a combination of religion, art, and culture. It was enlisted in World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979 AD. The statue made out of stones, metals, and uh, would a large number of national and international tourist visit throughout the day. And from this Pasupati Nath temple, I would like to welcome uh, our keynote speaker from Vietnam of this program, Chairman Vietnam Quality Association of Ho Chi Minh City BQAH, President, Institute for Quality Assessment and Development, board member of A and Q. He is the renowned personality, no ban no, for the keynote speech on EOMS in education through 21,001 to 2018. Thank you. The floor is yours, sir. Namaste. Namaste, sir. Hey, me. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. we can hear. Yeah. Namaste. Good morning, Namaste. Morning, Brother Dinesh Chaman, Mr. Ratan. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is my friend a long time. <laughs> Today, <laughs> uh, work with the quality day. I am Hono, um, present uh, and enjoy the quality tone relay race 2020 in Nepal. Uh, I appreciate, uh, thank you very much for all. Uh, so, uh, 
I am very happy when I was here. Uh, today, you can see me, you can uh, see my rings. Screen share by You can say my ring. Boran, sir. Boran, sir. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's okay. Okay, yeah. Uh, today, I would like to share the, the one paper. It's the ISO uh, 21 hour one. This is a new management system standards for education organization. The operating EOMS. Uh, in Vietnam, we uh, begin to study and implement it there. Okay, today uh, I would like to share the, the software presentation. First introduction, uh, the soft grip uh, in uh, biography. The second, why management system, stand up for education organization, then principle of an EOMS, then social activity with the help of ISO 21 hour one, structure of the ISO 20 hour one standard. The implementation methodology. That's one the training and certificates of professional in Vietnam. Why a management system standard for education? The first standard in education are not a new thing. For decades now, there have been teacher standard, standard of achievement, standardized curricula, learning standard, standardized test, and so on. Even within the re-arm of IS standard, standardization in education organization is not an entity new concept. ISO public, ISO 9001, uh, 20, and now 9, uh, 901, the 2015, get a for the education sector with the arm of helping. And the name implies education organization in providing education products and services. The guidelines were intended of education and organization at level, providing on time of education, such as elementary, medium of high education, including distance and early learning. In this context, one could claim that ISO 21, our one, is the successor of the ISO 901, the quality management system standard and up for the education sector. You can see the subtracts of the ISO 2101 standard. Uh, one scope, the second and not party reference, term and definition, context of the organization, leadership, number five, the leadership, the six, the planning, Seven the support, the eight operation, the nine performance evaluation, and the ten improvement. Uh, you can see the structure of ISO twenty one thousand, the same structure of ISO nine thousand. Uh, very similar. This is the framework of the EOMS of ISO twenty one thousand. You can see the we have the understanding, the operation, and in context, the four bond one. 
the understanding the needs and expectation of interested party the more fun to learn the and other benefit kind requirement determining the scope of ems for bond three and the four bond four management system for education question and inside you can see the leadership uh, the requirement number nine five learning number six Smoke, number seven, operations, number eight, number nine, performance, evolution, and improvement, uh, number 10. EOMS, that's mean the management system for education organization. This is a direct of ISO 2101. ISO 2101 structure in the plan do check us cycle. You can see we keep uh, also the plan do check us uh, the first plan we make the objective risk and opportunity resource and competence and awareness and communication and document information and do we have the some uh, request possible operational planning and control design develop control external provide processing product and service and deliver and control the product and service check we check what check monitor and measure conduct internal audit conduct management review and ask cheat number from it probably and see continue improve the last one we have the leadership that we need to show leadership and commitment leadership commitment very important not only iso 21000 but but also Many, many things, many standard ISO 9000, uh, uh, 14,000, and so on. Leadership did develop the policy, define the role, responsibility, and authority. About principle of an AMS, we have uh, the 11, 11 principle. The first, focus of learner and other benefit case. The second, vision leadership, visionary leadership. The first, engagement of people. The fourth, process approach. Improvement, evidence-based decision. Relationship management, social responsibility, accessibility, adequacy, ethical conduct, in education and last data security and protection this is the 11 principle for the one AMS in the education organization you can see the the detail focus of learner and other benefit the primary focus of the EMF to meet the learner and other benefit kind of requirement and to assist the expectation. Vision leadership, engagement of people, process approach, improvement. Improvement, we success organization have an ongoing focus on improvement, continue improvement. Evident pay decision. This is very important. Decision and curricular based on the analysis from data, we will make the make decision. The second, seventh relationship management. Social responsibility. So, social responsibility organizations are sustainable and ensure long term success. It's very important in education organization. Accessibility and equity. Ethical conduct in education and data security and protection. How, how about benefits to education organization of implementation EOMS? The first, better alignment of objective and activity with policy, including mission and vision. Then, enhance social responsibility by providing inclusive and equitable quality education for all. The more personalized learning and effect response to all learners and particularly to learn with special education needs, distance learner, and lifelong learning opportunity. 
the four consistent process and evolution tool to demonstrate and increase effectiveness and efficiency. Excuse me, sir, we have time limitation. Yeah. Increase risk of iron. The sick amine must enable education organization. The seven, a culture for organization improvement. The S, harmonization of region, national, open, probity, and other standards within an international framework. The nine, wider participant of interested party. You can uh, see the picture three, organization, mission, vision, and uh, strategy. The year best policy statement are from organization, culture, culture. I talk about training and service center. You know, IQED in Vietnam, we had the name this deal. Yes. Has created a training roadmap and personnel certification, training a strongly recommendation for implementing and auditor for ISO 21001. A set of individual set a document evidence of personal competences, while also providing evidence that the individual has attended one of the rated course and successfully completed the exam. It also proves that the certified personnel has the best time to assist an educational organization in successful of attending an ISO 21000 certification. IQD is the first in this deal to train and consult to education organizations in Vietnam and Asia. IQD training courses are offered in Vietnam. They are aware of several languages and including the blowing introduction, progression, leader implementing, and internal audit course. Um, in Vietnam, we have a, now we have a, a two kind of training course for ISO 21000. The one ISO the introduction, it's a one day training course. And the second ISO 21000 internal, internal auditor IA in three day training course and one now exam. If hold the bus, we will issue the internal auditor certification. This is the, some uh, UST in Vietnam, we, we train and consulting uh, ISO 21000, uh, ISO 9001, and so on. Hanoi UST of industry in Hanoi, you can see. Ho Chi Minh City, UST of food industry in Ho Chi Minh City. Uh, maybe a uh, bit uh, professor this night chairman the visit uh, this uh, UST already when NQ correct uh, 2011 in Vietnam. I remember. In the UST of Ho Chi Minh City. In the uh, Sela province, Sela College, uh, we train ISO 9, uh, 9001, TQM. CDAO ISO 210. In Indian Technical Economic College, this is the high mountain uh, in the western uh, North Vietnam. We uh, we consulting ISO 9001, TQM, AFQM, and ISO 26000 uh, social accountability. Then uh, we it just. Uh, Consulting Department of Training and Education of Senla Province. Uh, this uh, this department of uh, about uh, five five hundred five hundred school uh, from the uh, Senyuk School School and a Learning School. I train them ISO nine thousand one and miss with ISO twenty one. Colossal. Uh, because uh, the short time, I, uh, I, I would like to call some something. The system has been goal of ISO 9000 and ISO 21000 are to assess 
if the interest needs of the student and different recipient are be met. ISO 9001 and ISO 21 uh, value for a wide range of injection supplier extending from kindergarten to advanced education just as personal preparing and earning application. ISO 9001 and ISO 21000 are optional pertinent to industrial branch of enormous association, flexible department and educational training. By making available a comprehensive set of practice applied to learning service provide across the board, ISO 9001, ISO 21 will help build a stronger education sector and provide positive knock-on effect in terms of student innovation and economy. The new of ISO 21 standard is according with the plan to set up BDC cycle empower association to set up an education management system. All similarly between ISO 9001 and ISO 21000, only different between. With the ISO 9001 focus on customer satisfaction. With the ISO 21001, satisfaction of learner and other benefit care. Uh, including government, labor market, parent, and guardian. Okay. We have both ISO okay. 9001 and ISO 21. Why we have a minute to finish? It's a philosophy. Ensure, ensuring comprehensive education quality. Targeting social responsibility, human and justice. <laughs> ISO in the risk language mean a war, same, similarly, alike. Uh, quality does not mean the best, but the <laughs> synchronization creating the fairness of all members in an organization. Uh, I would like to uh, stop with uh, the picture and the object of education. It will take us to know what we mean soon. And happy teacher, change the world. Namaste. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh -huh. No Bon No, for your informative speech. Thank you, No. Now, Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. thank you. Now we are in Soembunak. We should be proud. We have so many historical religious places. We are rich in that. Uh, Soembunak Stupa. It is three kilometers west of Kathmandu. It is very old Stupa. It has numerous serens and monasteries on its premises. It is the important center for Buddhism. And one most important thing of this temple is, along with the stupas and idols of Buddha, there is a temple of Hindu goddesses Saraswati. So this place is regarded as the symbol of religious tolerance. Yes, we have religious tolerance. This place was enlisted in the World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979 AD. And we have got the next name of this temple. It is very uh, funny that a tourist has given the name Monkey Temple. And from the top of this <laughs> temple, from the top of this temple, I want to, <laughs> I would like to request Mr. Siva Prashad Paudel, 